Eh. Oh, God. Let me know if you can see and hear shit. Hmm. What's going on, Vizemen, Incromancer, Symphonia, Razor, Gouda, Pulse, Sinister, Alex, Spork, Styro, Nick Nick, QB Cube, Textbook, Sociopath, Pet Turtle, Brunner, Game Boy, Nanny, Sweet Cat, De Latte, Gauss, Tyrone, Aquazette, N7, Bishop, Idealist, Toboggan, <coughs> Sif, Leave That Piggy Alone, Skull Candy, Lucifer, Beepus, <coughs> Ursus, Conic, Dank Meme King, Gizal, Guntherkin, Vlad Tet, Monaco Ako, Zach was taken, Poles, Echo, Sif. Hold on. Alright. I want you guys to check something out. Thank you, Sif. Sif, you knocked the fucking light off! God damn it! No one wants to play piggies right now, Sif! Fuck off. God damn it, dog. Ugh. Alright, hold on. I missed something. Now is not a good time to be doing, like, subs and shit. Hold up. Let me see if I can... Thank you, Chromatic Crow. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, hold on. Oh no. Okay, I gotta go. Navigate my way to this shit. I think it's time to have like a little alert thing <laughs> so I can keep up. Thank you, Domino, for putting Bishop in the cuck shed. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Hope you like my, uh, my little rat mask. I know Sif doesn't like it. And Sif is not a fan. Sif is not a fan at all. She always tries to eat it. See, Sif! Come here. Come on. Come over here and eat the, eat the rat. You don't like rats, right, Sif? Give me your piggy, then. They want to see you, Sif. Sif, come here. Come get the piggy. Hats reflected on the table. That's fine. That's fine. I'm an ugly fuck. Everyone knows already. It's not a big deal. Just gotta wear the mask for the rest of the stream. Okay. Is my voice distorted like this? Yes? Good. Good. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's too hot for that shit. Alright, here, let me... We're gonna just move the hand cam since you can see my face in it. Alright, we're just gonna do without that for tonight, I guess. Okay, so... The reflection, I know, I'm well aware of the reflection. There's not much I can do here. Actually, there is. Check this shit out. There we go. There ain't no reflection anymore. Easy. Alright. This is what we're doing today. We're building a real grade. Literally didn't cover it. Okay. And if you say so. Tall geese motherfuckers. Nice. Can you show us how to degrease a pizza after? Where do you get the wings in Hollow Knight? I don't remember. <laughs> Why? Don't ask me that shit on a stream like this. I'm not. I'm, I struggle to keep up with shit as it is. 
I don't remember that game at all. What's going on, Rogue and Apollo? Okay. Let me get everything set up here. This is going to end in disaster. These drinks are going to go spiraling in. Is real great? No, real great's tiny as fuck. No pop. Only retards say pop. Literally only retard. Like, the only person I've ever met in real life who's referred to soda as pop was like a pedophile. Like, no meme. So, and then you also had Papa John referring to it as pop. So, you know, not, not a big fan of that pronunciation. Hello, most average, Mr. Martian. Alright. Navarre called it pop. Yup, yup. I think I found the next challenge run craze. I used to have a cat named Skuma who would live in my room before I got Sif. And before uh, Sif was a thing, she'd come into my room and sit on my lap and I'd call her the video game cat. And I'd just have her sitting there like making fucking biscuits on me the entire time I was playing video games. Everyone in Minnesota is like three people. Good shit. Good shit. Mm. Nice view to jerk one out. Yup, yup. You've met a pedophile? Yeah, I knew a pedophile. He was my friend when I was a kid before I knew he was a pedophile. <clears throat> it's just something that kind of sprung up while playing World of Warcraft. Creative? Yup, yup. So how is the, uh, does the lighting and everything look okay this time? I, the settings for the webcams resets every fucking time I do one of these streams. So it ends up being a gargantuan pain in the ass to get everything set up to uh, how it used to be, which is unfortunate. Here, now you got this, now you can see my hand. You got the hand cam. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh my god. These yaoi hands. What's going on, Temple? City of Minneapolis, fucking, no one cares, Domino. Do the thing with your thumb. Oh yeah, I can, I can bend my thumb like this. I can bend it at an almost 90 degree angle. I can only do it with one thumb though. I can't do it with this one. Uh, so shit kind of sucks. I wish I could do it with both. I like how every time I do that, someone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Please put feet on the table. I think feet are a bannable offense. I've been told that if I were to just plop my feet on the table, I'd get banned. So not really feeling it. So as you can see, if you were here for the previous Gundam streams, I now have real plants in the tank as opposed to the fake ones, so my tank looks really sad right now. Thank you for the resub, Willow11. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, hello, baby. Hello, Zacine. Eyes unclouded. So, I don't know. It's, they're baby plants. They're not growing very quickly. So, uh... Tank looks kind of lame right now. I really enjoyed your DS randomized runs. Nice. So did everybody else. Everybody loves Dark Souls, right? Hello, King Kong Palms. Creative? Yes. Yes, Window Puncher. It's the new Subnautica update. Hello, Nevada. Risu. Dark Side XD. Woodpill. Give us a foot cam. All right. Without further ado, let's get this shit over with. Let's build. All right. Let me move the drinks out of the way. This is this is the Tongis. It's a uh, it's a Roman legionnaire, which means it's going to we're gonna have to make it do do naughty things with other male Gundams. Ugh. Nubius grows slow. I have more than just a Nubius though. That's the thing. All of it's gro growing slow. Oblivion, Dark Souls. Yeah, maybe if you're retarded. Make sure only the roots and no rhizome is great. Well, look right here. If you see right here, you can you can see the uh. The rhizome is firmly attached to the driftwood. That shit's not buried at all. Hello, Brew Rip. I did my research. Okay. Got up. All right, this is ASMR right here. You get to hear all the plastic crinkling. Is that the squeaky pig in the background? Yeah, look, check this shit out. This is Sif's Toys. This is the source of the emo. Like, it's an actual thing. It seriously looks exactly like it, doesn't it? Oh, thank you for believing that at one point I was a good streamer, Domino. It means a lot. <coughs> and then see, Sif loves it. Sif, come here. Come get the piggy. 
Come get the piggy, Sif. You want the piggy? You can get it. It's on the table. Come on. Come get the piggy. Get it? Sif, it's right there. It's hanging off the edge of the table. You can get the piggy. She wants the piggy. I'm going to give her the piggy. See, she's polite. She won't jump up onto a table or anything. She'll, she waits for me to give her things. She's like that with food and everything. What's going on, Broken Fang? Ugh. She doesn't uh, jump on you or do any bullshit. She's a well-behaved little dog. Isn't that right? Hello, Valk. Mad Mank. What kind of dog is the big Sifters? You've been here for like seven grilling years and you don't know what Sif is? Disappointment. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna open all this shit to get out of the way so I don't have to... I don't have to subject you to too much plastic bullshit. Alright, we're done. Just have to throw these away. Sif is a Samoyed. She looks different, though. Like, I think she's got a little bit of other shit in her because she doesn't really look that similar to other Samoyeds. A little third world weed. Okay. So we got our tools. We got the X-Acto knife, which is, you know, we use it to make exact cuts. We've got our little, our little, uh, our, our soy boy sectars to, to snippy snippy. The vasectomy tool, as I like to call it. These things actually sound like they're going to break soon. Okay. Hello, Trinity Vince. Blind Ashlyn. Total has 99 farming. Dude, fuck farming. This is our sticker sheet. So if you see this right here. Well, I guess I should use this camera. All these little pieces, shit things are individual stickers. You got to place them to finish fucking product. So fuck that. Might as well throw that one away. Um, yeah. Hello, Melon. Long fish? Yeah, okay, so in case this is your first time in one of these streams, I'll go over the fish. This is Gobbler. If you if you hear me tell stories about the weather loach that uproots all of the plants, that's him right there doing the dance in front of the tank. That's is Gobbler. Uh, they're hard to see, but right around here are the glass catfish. They're completely transparent. You can see through them. They're very difficult to see on the camera. Thank you for the bits of mad. These little red shark ones are the tetras. And Fat Princess is around somewhere. I think she's in the corner. She's the, the Opaline Garami. She, who's, uh, that's the big fucking blue fish. There's a reason we call her Fat Princess. Because she steals all the other fish's fucking food. Are those real plants? Yeah, they're all real. I replaced all of the... Uh, the fake plants with shittier looking real life plants so the tank will be healthier. Why do you have weed fish? Weed fish? What the fuck are you talking about? Is that a real octopus? Yeah, of course. This is this is Jimothy the octopus. He's sleeping right now. Um, he's usually pretty inactive, a fairly lethargic fish until someone fucks with that treasure chest in front of him, and he, he gets a little bit upset most of the time. You're sampling shit. I'm uh, I'm going to in a minute. All right. So this shit is probably gonna take all night. Because it's a real great, which means it's small, but it's complicated as fuck. You've got, like, all these tiny-ass little pieces everywhere. Uh, it's... So, it's usually... It takes about as much time, if not longer, to build one of the real grades as opposed to, like, an actual master grade, which is one of the taller ones. So, it'll take for fucking ever is what I'm saying. In all likelihood. Offend, go fuck yourself. Go back to Discord, homie. All right, is the rock real? Uh, if it, do you mean it's a real coral rock? No, it's not. Uh, hello, Renee. It's just a decoration. It used to be a lot nicer looking, but if you, it's it's probably really difficult to see in the camera. Uh, also, hello, Noodle and Sniper Knight and Pugmire. I, not really real. Uh, the chest, the octopus, and the rock all have their little color pigments faded because the fat princess fish will sit there and like nip at the. Uh, nip at the surface of them and it removes all of the the flakes that make it colorful like at one point that octopus was golden and fat princess made sure 
that it wasn't golden anymore, so thank you for that, and thank you for the bits and mad. I didn't expect to loan me on the creative section. No? I, this is the third one of these streams I've done. It's surprising to me that there are people who were not aware of these shits yet. This Gundam looks like it would be riding a narwhal. Excellent. Picked up some glass cats the other day. Oh, thanks. Appreciate the compliment. Yeah, the glass catfish are the type of fish that I have the most success with. Um, those are the ones that I'm best at keeping alive. I'm not very good at the whole fish thing. Like, surprisingly enough, I'm not just bad at video games. I'm bad at pretty much, pretty much everything I do. Which includes uh, being a caretaker for aquatic creatures. Okay, so let me move all this over here. I gotta actually work on getting this set up in a, in a sensible manner for, like, the three people who want to watch. Are the fish talking right now? Yeah. They're hanging out. They're doing, they're doing fish things. Okay, so it's hard for me to see, but let me know if the hand cam is acceptable right now. Um, streamer, hello me, hello, Gaben. Let me show the box. All right, I'll show it again. Let me... Ugh. Yeah. Mm. Here's our box. It's very beautiful. A little higher, okay. How about this? It's probably gonna need to be rotated like that. This good? Because it's hard, I can't move it too much farther over this way. Uh, this should suffice, right? I'm watching Soda right now. All right, fair enough. I'm pretty dog shit. I wouldn't watch me either over anyone else. Okay. Thank you for the 28-month resub, Midnight Minute. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I uh, hope you're doing well. Ugh. All right, so hold on. I, whenever I start one of these shits, I'm always, like, super bad at doing it and I, I really suck at these great parts because I can't see the uh, the connections very well so we're doing the foot right now thank you for the eight month resub Mordor Baggins I appreciate it thank you very much and uh, I hope you're doing well let me I need to bring it up to my face to fucking see I'm, I need glasses honestly I'm getting to that point where fucking 25 years of video games means I'm gonna need glasses hello Glacy okay Kept aquariums for years, and I still kill everything. Fat Princess and Gobbler and all of the little red sharks and most of the glass fish are over a year old. It's pretty much like... I have trouble, apparently, uh, introducing new fish into the tank. So that's why I got a lot of real plants, is maybe they'll make the tank environment healthier and make it to where I can, I can get more Cory Catfish. Uh, cause I got a pack of six of them and five of them died. There's only one left on less than a month. And it feels bad, man, cause they're social, they're social fish, so they need homies. Um, so I'm pretty much a terrible fucking person. Um, and I'm trying to get the plants growing. I've got fertilizer and everything so that I can introduce more Cory cats as soon as possible. And, uh, thank you for the resub in Candia. Hope you're well. Thank you very much. We need F and E now. Okay, this is E. Fuck is half. Why do you seem slightly hyped for some reason? I'm not, not really. <laughs> I'm just my normal fucking self. Murdered a family? Pretty much, yeah. What's going on, XOF? Now, alkaline swamp. My tap water is pretty dog shit, too. I have to use a cornucopious amount of uh, water conditioners to make it hospitable for the fish. Right, so, this is F and this is E. In what way is this a chastity stream? I mean, I'm building a virginity protector. You think, okay, imagine a woman came into this room right now. All right, hypothetically speaking, let's say I were single. And for whatever reason, just like a random single woman came in here and saw this shit, she would run the fuck away. She'd be like, fuck this shit, I'm out. This is bullshit. That's why it's a virginity protector. Thank you, Zamat, I appreciate it. What the hell is this nerd shit? Is you know, okay, here's the thing. When you're a Twitch.television streamer, you gotta protect your virginity because there's just, you know, fucking harlots, semen demons, and fluid druids as far as the goddamn eye can see. So, every once in a while, you gotta perform a ritual on stream to repel them. And that's what this is. So, hopefully, that explains things a little bit for you. Hello, Ty B. 
We don't say that word here, Tony No Baloney. Thought is hate speech. Which is kind of interesting. That has a double meaning. Having a thought is hate speech. Being a thought, hate speech. No thoughts. This is real thought police hours. Oh, Texas smashed my ass. Thought crime? Exactly, thought crime. We don't believe in uh, your ability to be a free thinker here. If you're one of those, please see yourself out. Let me see. I gotta move everything. I'm gonna knock this fucking teacup over if I'm not careful. So how's everyone doing? What are your plans for the weekends, uh, fellow game? I said weekends. And I guess maybe you have something that's going to transpire over the course of multiple weekends. I don't fucking know. All right. So I'm going to snip these out, but i gotta, I got to bring them closer to my face to make sure I get the nubs. Because I want this one to look good. I don't want to cut corners on this bad bitch. Because if you put the time and effort into the smaller real grade ones, they end up looking pretty respectable. Mmm. Soylent? No. I'm moving on Sunday. Go fucking pack. Game Boy? Alright. Let's let's play a, a nice game of who's the real retard. Me? Which everyone is automatically going to say. But this is something... This is one of those things that you're going to know the right answer in your heart. Or you who's been trying to grab a retard's attention for the last 30 minutes with Diet Coke related posts. Is that... How does it make you feel that I've read every single one of your, your cries for attention and I've ignored all of them up until this point? Is that, is that like a, a point of contention for you? Does that make you feel good? Thank you for the 10, the 10 bits, Matt. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Aloichu. XC. Diet Coke? Yeah, dude, check this shit out. I fucking love Diet Coke. You think I'm memeing on this shit? Hell no. It's fucking amazing. Why would you get lime-flavored Diet Coke? That's like getting one of those shitty, uh... It's like getting Sweetos. You know, during Christmas, they have, like, these knockoff Cheetos that are sweet instead of spicy? That's literally what you're fucking doing. Good shit, stale meme. Hello, R2NI. Diet Vanilla Coke? I'm not big on vanilla drinks, personally. I really like vanilla ice cream, though. That's my favorite type of ice cream. Okay. And a Diet Coke too. Nice, you like it? Dude, how the fuck do I get this bad bitch on? This is kind of retarded. Sweeto. Yeah, Sweetos. What kind of tea do you drink? Just regular uh, African-American tea. What are you building? A tall geese. Hello, Sticker. Basics. What are the names of your fish? Um, Jimothy 1 through 9 are the glass catfish in the Serpe Tetra. The big blue one is, is Fat Princess, and if you see the long noodle serpent looking thing, that's that's good old gobbler. I used to have a Pleco named Cockfuck, but um, he's no longer with us. Okay. You should do a DS3 randomizer on it. The next uh, Dark Souls thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually selling out. I'm going I'm I'm going mainstream. Uh, I'm having my first sponsored stream sometime in the next week or so. Because, uh, Daddy got a free copy of Dark Souls 1 Remastered, so, you know, fuck it, right? Free money. The same thing I've been playing all goddamn week, so might as well, right? Okay. I'm like, okay, damn, like, I could... Mm -mm. That's gonna be a couple Whataburgers, at least. So, uh, yeah. I won't do, I won't ever do any, like, sponsored bullshit that's, like something I don't want to play and then thought my audience will hate just for the sake of money, but I figure it's fine if it's something that I'm already fucking playing, you know? Hello 240. I don't I don't think anyone reasonable would have any serious objections with that. <laughs> Christian Dale, nice joke. That's a good one. Right, let me see. Making sure I know where to cut this thing. Uh, because some of these these pieces are really Finicky. You like a From Software sponsorship? I don't think anyone would sponsor my ass. Like, have you heard the way I speak? Like, I call people retards. Like, that's not advertiser friendly. Like, I'm surprised I'm even on Twitch still. Like, everyone thought I was gonna get banned with the new TOS. So, like, told me I was gonna say retard and get fucked in like five minutes. You changed, dog? I really haven't, though. Sponsor you to not play the remaster, but I mean, okay, like, all right. 
here's the thing. It's Dark Souls, and I guess what? Here's the thing about Dark Souls is you have to play it for one fucking hour. So I could do something extremely cheeky. Like, for example, I could play OG Dark Souls for seven hours. And then when everyone's asleep, oh, it's, my, it's time for my sponsored stream. I guess I'll play Dark Souls Remastered now. You know? Fuck it, right? Hello, Arby's. I don't want to be sponsored by Arby's. I fucking hate Arby's. Like, it, shit. If I wanted... Like, I could go to any gas station and get an Arby's sandwich from a lot lizard for free. Like, I, I will admit that it's pretty impressive that you get people to pay for that shit, though. I gotta say, you got, got talent there. Okay. Is this where I go to watch anime? Yes. I would fucking love to have, like, a... Uh, a stream where I'm legally allowed to stream some dog shit anime like Lucky Star. And just, we watch all of Lucky Star, like a fucking 30 hour marathon. Just subject my chat to that and see who, who the real people. Like, we'll watch anything, Tolomeo. How about Lucky Star, bitch? <laughs> see, see how far I can push my luck, you know? Alright. Oh god, yeah, yeah. It would be terrible. Hey, thank you, uh, Tony Nobaloni, for the sub. Appreciate you using that Prime sub on me. Thank you very much, and uh, I appreciate it, dude. Enjoy the emotes. Just kind of boring. That's the point. It's it's anime. It's supposed to be boring. Like, me plus anime is like, holy shit. Can the world even handle that level of boring? All right. You can do it if you watch it through Welcome to the Game 2. I think, uh, I think there would... The, the problem with that is I guarantee you if I were to do that, someone would just by chance come in and be like the ultimate lucky star otaku. And be like, oh my fucking god, he's making fun of, uh, of Sakura-chan. I cannot allow this. I'm reporting him to Twitch.television, you know? So, not sure I want to risk that one. Uh, I think I'm going to politely decline. Alright, not Sakura-chan? Yeah, no, don't fuck with Sakura-chan. Can't do that shit. Alright, we need A23. Where the fuck is A23? Right, we need we need these little bad bitches, these little gray cylinders. Like, god damn, this shit turns me on so much. Fucking mm, god damn it. Hey, thank you for the prime resub, Mr. Biak Baby. I appreciate it. I don't know what Biak means, but thank you very much. Uh hope you're having a good one. On the little Twitch alerts, it, it shows me that there's, in fact, an I in your name and not actually an L. Okay. Alright. Tolo... Oh, no. I can just, bro, don't say that shit here. I don't want to get banned, homie. <laughs> I, I want to be on Twitch forever. Do you blink really fast? I'm not much of a blinker. I kind of have, like, a like the vegetable stare. You know what I mean? Like, you see someone who's in a vegetative state and their, their eyes are kind of droopy and they're like just kind of you know you know what i'm talking about i'm not doing a good job of explaining it but you know exactly what i mean you know you fucking do like that's me all the time like everyone would tell me that i look like i'm on drugs because of my eyes and my hair uh now i guess everyone calls me shaggy now on twitch that's an improvement kind of at least not everyone thinks i'm a fucking drug addict because i don't even do weed i've smoked weed like twice and the first time nothing happened, the second time I went to sleep. So I don't, I honestly don't get the appeal of marijuana. Um, so I'm really not a fucking druggie. Unless you consider alcohol, then I am. <laughs> then I am, absolutely. Alright, what's going on, Smug Skyler? It just started pretty much. I slept all fucking day. It was lit. Um, okay, so I'm, I need to read this one. Very carefully, because it has... If you see right here, it tells you... Oh, hold on, let me get it in the camera. Where the fuck to cut it? You can't see this shit, but it says, Don't cut here, your model is ruined. Alright. Alcohol is a drug? Well, I mean, caffeine is, too, so we're probably all druggies, right? Because if, if we're getting technical, then caffeine's the... Uh, that means that all baristas are, are drug dealers, basically. And I can respect that. Do you think there's like a Walter White of Starbucks employees out there making that good, good blue shit? Alright. Caffeine. That's just... I've never seen caffeine before. That's... 
That's pretty dope, actually. Hello, Femivoir. About 30-ish minutes. It's hot as a motherfucker in here. I'm gonna be sweating by the time I'm, I'm done. Alright. Let me see. Also, someone, I think it was Tybee, said I had a bruise earlier. Where, where, where you mean? Are you talking about this shit? My, my laceration scar, my anime scar from fighting someone in an anime club. It's pretty dope if you look right here. What model is good conversation during a first date? Sasha Gray. Sasha Gray. I would recommend her as the model to discuss on our first date. Okay, so I need G now. Where the fuck is G? Is this it? I think this is D. No, this is it. Right here. Hello, Ross. What's going on, man? Been free of my Pepsi addiction since September. What kind of weak-willed, impotent fuck do you have to be to get addicted to Pepsi, of all things? Like, not even a good soda like Diet Coke. Fucking Pepsi. Jesus Christ, I bet you play Pepsi, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? Everyone knows that Pepsi's only good while you're eating pizza. So unless you're also addicted to pizza, get that ass out of here. Sasha Gray was my shit back then. I'm happy for you, Bishop. There you go. Sorry, I just punched that fucking camera. I hope you don't mind. I gotta do a sticker now. I don't usually do these on stream because I don't have the, uh... I do not have the ability to do it. Actually, you know what? I don't even fucking want to do these stickers. These are like the interior frame parts that aren't even going to show. And this is the stuff that's going to be covered with uh, with the armor when we're done with this. There's not even a point to putting these shits on. And thank you for the 10-month resub, Chumpsy. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. You like my, uh, you like my tank? Okay. Transfer sheets fucking suck, dude. Oh, you mean like the dry transfer ones? Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. Just like Majin. Master Yak, this is the first time I've seen you in here, but do not compare me to Majin. Majin is a lesser Diet Coke elemental. Until Majin can drink seven cans a day and show it on stream, he can fuck right off. Majin is the inferior Diet Coke drinker, and you can quote me on that. Only way I drink Coke is if it's vanilla or an icy. I love the blue ices. The blue ices are fucking amazing. And they also used to have this type of, uh, this type of slushy. It was called a slush puppy that I used to love as a kid. But no longer. Oh, dude, my leg is so fucking asleep right now. Someone come bite me. Just take a chomp out of my fucking leg, please. Maja drinks two liters. Two liters ain't shit, though. Every time on Majin's stream, you're like, show me your Diet Coke, he'll either have, like, one fucking can of Diet Coke, or he'll have regular-ass Coke. So, he says he drinks two liters, but where's the evidence? Where is the evidence, good sir? That's what I fucking thought. This is finally the stream where you put a Gundam in your prostrate? Yes. Majin said great things about a certain Tolo. He's just fucking with you. Majin hates his viewers, so he tries to send his viewers to shit streams just to psychologically torture them and gaslight them. Like, this is a good stream. He picks the worst motherfucker he knows and sends them there to try to alter your perception of what a good stream actually is. So don't listen to that motherfucker. Hello, Melty Mortal. All right, so we need 16. Also, it's kind of weird that the first stream of mine you're coming to is a Gundam stream, but, you know, fuck it, right? It's all the same shit at the end of the day. Talking about Taj? What the fuck is Taj? What the hell are you talking about? Man, person, thingy, I am convinced that you are continually and perpetually on some sort of psychedelic substance. I'm gonna have to ask you to give me some. Because the shit you ask me is just like... I'm not I'm not trying to be rude, but goddamn, dude. Puff, puff, pass. Hey, thanks for the bits, Zimad. Has been there too often. Exactly. I don't drink regular Coke. Fuck that. I, if I have no Diet Coke, this is what I drink. I drink tea. What's going on, Recon? They're small, though. And the thing is, the plants on this side of the tank are the bigger ones I have. The, I, I intentionally put, like, the really little babies over on this end so that the tank looked more impressive on stream. So I put all the biggest ones 
on the side that you're see seeing right now. Is this your first gun to build? Fuck, no, it's not. I have like, let me let me count my shelf right now. Okay, eight, 11, 14, 17, 20, 25, 30, 38 Gundams. 38 motherfuckers. Let me count my shelf. Yeah, counting my Gundam shelf. So I, this ain't my first rodeo. I just build really slowly when I'm streaming it. That they brew tea? Are you fucking high? How else do you make tea then? It's literally called like cold brew tea or whatever the fuck when you buy it at the store. How do you change the substrate? I didn't change it, I just added it. What I did is I removed all of the decorations and took them out so there's only the, the big rock. And the big rock is connected to an air pump. That's why there's fucking bubbles coming out of it. And it's really, really hard to get that tube uh, fixated on the rock. So what I did is I would move the rock to one end of the tank and then flip it 90 degrees and have it resting on one end and then put substrate on the other and then smooth it out and then move the rock to the opposite side where I just put the substrate and did the same thing. Uh, so it was a pain in the ass. It was a real pain in the ass. It took me like fucking 15 minutes to do that shit. Wowie. It actually was not anywhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be, truth be told. Ooh, I was worried that I would accidentally bury a fish or something in the substrate, but thankfully I can confirm that never happened. But I got a, I got a special type of gravel that has, it's, it's small so that the loach and the quarries aren't going to like hurt their barbels on it. Um, it's, it's smoothish gravel and it's also, uh, nutrient rich for plants. Cook the tea in Diet Coke, true. You should know British people literally piss out tea. I mean, that explains Jack. What level of protection is this Gundam going to provide? A decent amount. Is the octopus new? No, he's been there since I've, uh, I first got the tank. He's just, you know, he's kind of hard to see. He looks like a fucking rock. A fast-growing plant. Well, these already have been in here for like a week and a half, so... We'll see. They're growing pretty slow despite fertilizer and everything, but nothing's dying. There's a couple leaves here, and they're like, this Anubius right here actually has, like, a yellow leaf that I'm probably going to have to trim off. But nothing has, uh, nothing has turned brown or bad aside from, like, a leaf here and there. Fuck me. Alright, so the best part of the, the real grade line, which is what I'm making right now, is that you have to make the interior frame, like, for the legs and shit. And it's always a pain in the ass. It's, it's one of the most irritating parts of making them. On backwards, hold on. Is this a tall geese? Yes. It also does not help that I don't know how well you can see them, but over here I have uh, money wart. They're these little thin plants that are very long and uh, tall. And Gobbler loves uprooting those sons of bitches. Hello, Hank. Uh, he loves to just go to town and fucking mongle them. Yeah, I fucked this up. I gotta... I'm gonna do this over here because I need to be very, very careful with this because I could possibly break it if I'm not... Like, I, I should probably be paying more attention than I am right now, truth be told. Because these are delicate. And these, like, the real grade models are significantly more delicate than the other ones I've done on stream. Okay. What's going on, 42B? No, there's never going to be a toe low, too. What the fuck are you on about? Did you take too much as well? Why would anyone want to be a toe low, too? That would be disgusting. Christ almighty, how horrifying. Right, I think we got this bad bitch now. Yeah, there we go. See, look. It, you got, like, the little fucking thing that moves. It's not... 100% in just yet because we don't have the armor plating and whatever the fuck, but that part's done. Whew! What about your kids? You think I'm gonna have fucking kids? You ever file down the nubs? Yes, but not on the interior frame because it doesn't matter. What's your favorite type of shark? Um. 
Probably the whale shark. What's going on, Mr. Martian? You speed run Gundam builds? No, dude, I like taking my time. Like, I don't understand rushing things when it comes to uh, pretty much anything. Like, I've always liked to sit there and enjoy myself. I've got all the fucking time in the world because I'm a worthless piece of shit that doesn't really have that many obligations. So I might as well enjoy it, right? My circulation is so good. I always have my legs just falling asleep the entire time during these. Should I stay up for the World Cup? Sure, dude. My sleeper shark is my spirit animal. This seems like far too much for my feeble mind. It's really not. It It's one of those things that seems daunting, but it's... It's whatever. It's not a big deal. And I think... That, that's the thing. If it's too daunting and it's not your cup of tea... Fucking fish tank. I got some dope ass fish. I got some really cool ones in there. Most of them are, are in the back right now, but. See, these two are assholes, these little Tetras. They fucking chase each other. And they're mean little sons of bitches. Okay. 20G115, which is this. It's just like Lego, except more delicate. And you can also like paint them and shit. And like, it's really as complicated as you make it. You can make it extremely complicated. Like some people paint their shit, like do all sorts of fucked up witchcraft to it. So it takes like months to finish a single one. I just kind of build them. I, I, I build them and then off stream, I put all the decals and whatnot on. Cause I, I don't think I could focus doing the decals on stream because that shit, like I, I have very, very, clumsy fingers so uh it would not be easy for me to do like stickers and shit on um on camera so i would, would want to look at chat and fuck the sticker up and then you have one chance so if you fuck it up it's just done so no thank you oh my god what the fuck is going on here does it go this way i think so God damn, this one's gonna take a while. I, I saved maybe like seven hours to finish this at this rate. Hello, Guido. So we got at least six more hours of this bullshit. So hopefully most of you like it. All right. Okay, so now I need E1. And this is probably going to be the last Gundam stream for a long ass time. Um, because on the 5th, this next coming month, the 5th of July, Amanda's coming over. And having all of this shit set up takes all of the free space in my room. So I'm going to have to like completely dismantle everything. And it's pretty, basically what I'm saying is, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a huge ordeal. And I'm gonna have to set it all up again the next time I wanna do it. So it's, it's probably gonna be a minute to say the least. Okay, so now we need two. I'm new, what's happening? What's going on, dog? Um, we are making a Gundam model right now. We're just chilling with the fish, chilling with our homies in chat, and just hanging out. Thank you for the bits, Matt. How many make you take? Only one, but it's a real grade, which is a small, complicated one with a lot of really tiny ass parts. So they typically take a long ass time. It's probably going to take longer than any single one that I've made in the past on these streams. Um. Maybe not, I'm not sure. Most of the ones I've done uh, that are real great are like that though. So, just make more room. I got a small ass room, dog. 38 Virginia protectors and a girlfriend. I mean, shit, dude, twitch.television, baby. What can I say? Women love uh, socially retarded man children who stream video games on the internet. It's fucking dope, right? Okay. Knock out a wall? Maybe if I lose a record or something, maybe I should start doing like a like a speed run and then get really mad and knock the fucking bitch out. That'd be pretty dope. Hold on, I need to take the exacto for one of these nubs. Yep. Alright. Okie dokie. 
So, let's put this bad bitch on here. Also, if the camera's fucked up and you can't see shit properly, let me know. If there's any issue, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna yell at you or anything. I wanna make sure that it's, uh, that you can tell what is happening to the best of your ability. So feel free to just hit me up. All we can see are hands. See, that's why I need to, like, zoom it in more, but it's difficult. Um, right. So we're gonna get this piece right here. E16. Chippity chop this bad bitch. Snippy. We're, we're gonna make a soy boy out of this thing. Okay, because I always cut towards myself. I see Tolo's hands, it's a real problem. Oh, hello, Davian. Why you gotta be mean to me? I've only I've only been nice to everybody. Why you gotta why you gotta bully me? That's fucked up. I thought we were bronies. So wait, what the shit? Is this not supposed to fit on properly? Is this supposed to be as loose as it is? I'm confused. Alright. Two identical webcams. Identical? No. One's a 1080p and the other is a 720. The hand cam is the shittier one because it's not as necessary. Because you, got, you gotta be able to see the fish. Like, the fish takes tr looks straight up dog shit in 720p like it looks terrible like today i was actually fucking with the camera settings because it always resets whenever i do another one of these streams and i'm like why the fuck does this look so grainy and, and just bad um and turns out it's because they had in 720p and then it was like a fucking flip a switch put the goddamn set uh 1080p on and it looks amazing maybe not amazing but it looks a lot better than it did the camera quality is not anywhere near as good as I would like, but at the same time, uh, any, hold on, I need to move this back up. Anything more expensive than what I got would have been overkill, honestly. I think it's one of those things where uh, I, I care about it more than the people who are actually watching, perhaps. I don't know, I don't think there are a whole lot of people like, man, this is fucked, did you fuck, why, why are you a better camera, this camera, I, I can't see this fucked up scuffed Gundam building, what the fuck is wrong with Tolomeo, you know, I just don't have a particularly big feeling that that happens a whole hell of a lot, uh, maybe I'm wrong, I, I, I suppose I've been wrong before, every once in a blue moon, oh man, we got the ratter pillars going on, alright, fair enough, I can focus on the fucking building now. Actually, while I'm fitzing around with this, let me go ahead and put what we're building in. Wait, that blocks too much of the fish tank. Let's put this back here. Oh. Fucking stay, bitch. There we go. So you got the box of what we're doing right now. Ever think about getting a bigger fish tank? I don't have room, dog. Where would I put it? Like... <laughs> I was just talking about how I have to disassemble this entire setup to uh, to facilitate another human being being in here for like a week and a half, so it it would be difficult to fit a second tank in my current uh, my current living quarters. Not impossible, but then there'd really be just no fucking room to do anything ever again. I'm not particularly keen on that concept personally. So I already feel like there's not enough space for a little Sif to run around. Thanks for putting Owenson in the cuck shed, Femme of War. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And Owenson, I hope you enjoy being cock dog. I wonder what that feels like. Hello, Sun Zero. Straighten out the tablecloth. It's mentally breaking me. No, probably not. Ugh. I fucked up and apparently people could see my hair and my face in the reflection, so I'm, I'm just, uh, I just threw the tablecloth over as a stop-gap measure. Okay. Didn't get any update of you streaming. I wanted to go for about an hour. Whew. All right. See, so, yeah, I don't know. Um... I would say that the next one of these streams will probably be, if I had to warrant a guess, it's like the five people who are concerned, um, maybe in August, like 
mid late August, perhaps. Are you proud of our mighty rat? Yes, pretty dope. Up time, you know we don't have that shit there. And I'm the only streamer of this size who doesn't have a fucking night bot because I'm stupid. What the fuck is this shit? This is building Gundams. Been looking at this since I came into the stream a few minutes ago, but what is that jar-like container next to the box? This is my tea. This is my shitty fucking mason jar full of uh, beverage. I probably shouldn't have that uh, in immediate view of the camera. It's pretty nasty. Let me just hide it behind the box. It's moonshine, not enough ice. Ice machine's broke. I It's the hottest time of the year, and the ice machine is currently not working, so... Pretty fucking thrilled about that, I gotta say. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy about that. Isn't Dark Souls true? True. Normally I don't stream Dark Souls. Uh, it's just because I've had nothing to do. Um, I'm a variety streamer. I do a bunch of shitty things, and then everyone's like, where the fuck is Dark Souls, you retard? This isn't Dark Souls. Fucking kill yourself. We only want to see Dark Souls, homie. And thank you, Guido, for putting Winter Cup in the cock shit with a tier 2 sub. Damn, now you made them the fucking deputy. That's some bullshit, homie. Thank you very much. Thank you for the bits of mad. I appreciate it, dog. Uh, but I, I don't know. Like, my, my thing is... Dark Souls is fun in small amounts for me. I don't think I could go back to being just a Dark Souls streamer again. I played too much Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 for that shit. Although, you'll be pleased to know I'm going to be doing a sponsored Dark Souls 1 remastered stream to, to cash in and, and just be a complete sellout piece of dog fuck. Um, I'm sure you're all thrilled. Why don't you use trays? Because the amount of effort it would take to have as many trays in there as I need to fill up a cup of ice would not be worth it. And it would take all of the space in our freezer, which there is, it's already a limited amount to begin with. So, it just wouldn't be good. It'd be no bueno. Alright, so yeah, most of his leg. Maybe this won't take as long as I thought. Maybe we'll be done in like two or three hours. What is he making? I'm making a Gundam. Specifically, I am making the Toggy. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good, right? Hello, muscles for bones, and thank you for the... What the fuck happened with chat there? Are you kidding me? What the shit is this? Thank you, Ghost DVL, for the 13-month resale. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. What the fuck? I don't like that. You need to stop that bullshit right now. Fuck this box. This box is a piece of shit. Used to be a rat simulator stream. True. Uh, the next game, I might... I'm, I'm thinking of doing Takesy Baxies, honestly, but I might do Baldi on Sunday. I'm not sure. Um... Because I really, uh, I'm at a point where I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel again. But we won't talk about that because we talk about that shit way too much. Uh, but that's my current plan is to play that shitty Baldi's math game. Which I've been informed will be extremely difficult for me being Texan and therefore bad at math. So it should be pretty fun to watch. Maybe. And I looked up the Harvester game that people had told me about actually. like I, I gave it a genuine look over and from what I can tell... It's one of those things where, like, the first part is funny, but it's a lot of trial and error, and the second half is retarded. It's like the Dark Souls one of point-and-click games. So I'm not really sure how I feel about that, personally. What's going on, Sozoi and Amada? Got, what, what, what do you think we need the fucking calculators for, Blind Ashland? What the fuck are you talking about? Like, what kind of logic is that? That's like saying these people fuck the best because all of their women have dildo factories. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, homie? <laughs> like, that's not how that shit works. We're, we're bad at math, so we needed to make calculators to do it for us. Okay. Made CWC sounds? I mean, I don't... People give me too much shit for that. I really don't make those as often as people claim I do. Unless... Unless I'm streaming with Russ. Like, streaming with Russ, sometimes it's just the icebreaker, you know? Like, if I'm like, okay, I need to make Russ, like, chuckle. All I have to do 
is make a CWC noise. It works fucking 100% of the time. Hello, Snowy Fluff. Or a DSP noise. Those are also effective. Okay. Can you please sculpt a Sith? Someone actually did, Anita. Uh, someone sculpted my dog Sith, and it was really fucking dope looking. Let me... I need to see if I can find that. This is fucking amazing. Hello, Sad, because I'm not funny. The only, the only humor I know is making disgruntled fucking retard noises. Like, making my, my little... Ah, yeah. mm -hmm. ah, eh. Like, you know. But I'm the lowest form of comedy. Oh, oh. I woke up at 5 a.m. to help my friend buy Yeezys. Now I'm back home. I'm going to watch Respectable Man build his virginity to protect. Save for the tier 2 resub. Parallax, I appreciate the 26 months. Thank you very much. And uh, Yeezys, really? I joke about Yeezys. I didn't know people actually bought that shit. Um, hopefully they were worth, uh, worth the shekels. What's good, man? Ugh. Fucking guy. There we go. Got his little, his little cutesy-ass leg. Do any models besides Gundams? I have one Armored Core model, but they're very fragile, and there's a fuck ton of small parts, and the fact that I built that without glue is honestly really impressive to myself. Thank you for the 200 bits, dear boy. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And enjoy the football giveaway, chat. Okay. Yeezys are absolutely not... I mean, how many of those things are, though? You got, like, Gucci, Gucci flip-flops... All of this bullshit. Like, how much of it can you say is actually worth it? It's just you're paying for the name attached. You're paying for a perceived uh, upgrade in social status. It's it's bizarre to me, honestly. But, you know, fuck it. I'm building virginity protectors, so do I really get a say? Probably not. I'm confused here. Is this seam supposed to be here? I can't see it closing any farther. Let me take the Oh, yeah, that's supposed to be there. I don't like this. I actually really hate how if you see this leg right here, it's got that little seam in between the armor pieces. I can't stand that shit. Like, that triggers me so hard. Um, and that's how it's supposed to look, too. <laughs> Fuck this. I don't want to build it anymore. My Gucci comrade was worth the price. Oh, God, I watched that video that Russ sent me about the squirt pillow. Now, and now I'm really glad he sent me that because next time some chick's like, hey, you know what? You know what, Tolomeo? Uh, squirt is a piss. I'm just gonna link that video. That's Check and Made Atheists. That's Richard Dawkins here, uh, Check and Made Atheists. You, you can't come back from that. You can come on it, you can come on the pillow, but you can't come back from that shit. Hey, thank you for the three month resub. RESP, I appreciate it. Is it RDSP or Artisp? I hope it's Artisp. And uh, thank you very much, dude. How are you? And thank you for the bit stale meme. You guys weren't there? Okay, hold on. Let me let me finish the uh, thanking people. I got. I, I'm trying to be more diligent with this so I don't miss people anymore. Thank you for the prime sub, Kelly Clovis. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for using that prime sub on my stupid ass. Enjoy the emotes, homie. Best fucking emotes of all time, by the way. Who else has Sif? Nobody does. Oh, fuck. Okay. It felt like it broke, but it didn't. Oh, man. Alright, alright. I need to pay more attention here. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Thank you, Aophilian, for the Prime sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And enjoy the emotes, dog. Fishies, yup, yup. Is Gobbler out right now? Where the fuck is Gobbler? Must be in the back. Alright. Is column 7 1? What the fuck does that mean? I always break one piece when making those stupid virginity warriors. It sucks. I mean, I've got glue, I've got cement, so if it does happen, I can probably fix it, but. I would rather it not happen, personally. Maybe, uh. Maybe that's strange. Maybe that's just me, you know? I would rather it just not fucking break. So what the fuck am I doing here? There we go. Right, right, right. See, this is the best doggo? Yeah, she's sleeping on the bed right now. 
She's knocked the fuck out. I think she's finally realized that the Gundam streams are not are not playtime. Because at the start of every one, she starts going like, and like squeaking the fucking toys at me. Uh, expecting it to be playtime. Because normally if I have my headphones off, she thinks it's playtime. But I think she's finally getting the picture. That this is serious business. Alright, looking for my fucking piece right now. Sorry, I don't even know how to swear. I don't know. I'm I'm inarticulate. If you didn't know, I have a very limited vernacular. I can only say bad mean words because I'm an edgy teenager at heart, and I apologize for that. Also, an incel misogynistic SJW cuck. What are you drinking? Diet Coke as well as unsweetened tea. And Pugmire asked me earlier. Uh, why I don't drink sweet tea or something that effect. I just don't like sugar. I've never been a sugar person. I'm not very sweet. Um, I just don't like it. I do not like it much at all. Like, in Texas, the sugar, they, they put so much sugar in tea that it feels like it's melting your fucking teeth off. It's terrible. It feels so shit. Um, and I just, I can't say I'm a big fan of that. It's not for me, I guess. Also, if I were to drink sugar, like imagine if I drink regular Coke, for example, instead of this shit, I would be fat as fuck with all the sugar. There'd be no ifs, ands, or buts. Like, I'm already kind of chunky. Like, look at this shit. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put on my, my visage. Like, look at this shit. I'm already fat as fuck. Whoa. I'm thick. Fell the fuck over. Woo! That fucking thing is hot as hell. Ooh. Oh, thank you for the 10 month resub QP, Goose QP. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, I think it was, uh, I believe it was Little Lucifer Kid. Someone asked me where I got the mask. I just ordered it off of fucking Amazon. I just Googled Rat Mask <laughs> Amazon and I, I picked like the first fucking one I saw. Hold on, I need to fix the video. Okay. Scared the shit out of me. It's a dope mask, though, right? It looks really good. It looks sick as hell. So, yeah, I'm already packing on the fucking pounds. I'm fat as fuck. I'm thick. Um, so... If I were to drink sugar, I would absolutely be obese. There is, there is no doubt in my mind. Oof. Not a rat tower? Hey, what's going on, Claire Moon? Samurai? Is mad to feel about your new statted it is a furry? I think she told me that the rat mask was scary. Um, to which I, I probably agree with that. It, is, it had, like, these fucked up redneck uh, mustache hairs on it, too, and I plucked them off because they looked retarded. Like, it, it looked really stupid. So, I, I had to get rid of those. And Sif actually bit one off for me, so that's good. She didn't like the rat mask. She tries to attack me when I wear the fucking rat mask. I think it's something about the way it smells bothers her. Okay, where the fuck is this piece that I'm supposed to be getting right now? God damn it. Okay. Hello, Joe the Master. Is your hair coming out from under the mask? True, true. Got long ass hair, dude. That's a 72 pack. What's going on, Koala Bear? Oof. We got hippie hair, and I'm, I'm like Charles Manson right now. Not like the fucking, uh, the cult leader hair. Oh, Nice rat mask, though. Thank you. 72 pack of. Oh, uh, ew. No, no, thank you. 
That's just that fucking sugar water, right? I don't even know how to pronounce that because I'm from Texas and I'm stupid. Alright. Can't stand long hair. Ah, uh, I just, I look like an asshole with short hair. I have like a fucking oddly shaped head, so... I don't, I mean, I look like an asshole regardless of how... How I have my hair. Like, it always looks bad because I'm just an ugly degenerate. Um, so I just say fuck it, dude. I'm just not even gonna... Not even gonna worry about it. Not gonna sweat that shit. My hair is so long now that if I if I put my bangs over uh, my eyes and shit, it goes all the way down past my chin. I'm not real, I'm, I'm like the uh, what the fuck was it called? Like it, the thing, the thing. That's what it was called, right? Forgetting like there was this fucked up like long shaggy creature called the thing or some shit. That's what I look like. You braid that lovely hair? No do shit to it. Alright, give me a moment. I'm having technical difficulties. There we go. Building another Gundam. Yup, yup. Finish my Suzabi model. Nice. That was my favorite one for sure. There's never... The Suzabi sucks in a way because once you build that... It's like once you go black, you never go back except with Gundams. It's fucking ridiculous. Like once you... Once you build that thing, no model of that grade is going to match up to it. It's a blessing and a coice. Okay. People saying Texas. Oh, we're doing this shit again. See, it's two degrees hotter where I live. You don't even know anything. Oh, man. When they don't realize that humidity is a bigger factor, and it's always humid as fuck here. It's like a swamp. So you just marinate. Okay. So. Let's see. Wait, fuck me. Did I fuck this up? Hold on. I guess we'll see. Be 110 in Michigan. Nice. Hair's too stiff to have that. Surfer skater haircut. That's good. What's going on, Truth of Source Rex? Come to Louisiana. You realize they're bordering states, right? <laughs> you realize that they're very geographically close. So if you're if you're seriously gonna use like Louisiana as an example of uh, why Texas isn't hot, that's a fairly retarded tactic. <laughs> Fucking neighbors, homie. I've been to Louisiana. It fucking sucks. That place is a shithole. Fucking hate Louisiana. That's what like Louisiana, Oklahoma are my least favorite states I've ever been to. I even put Arkansas ahead of those two. Just unbearable. Okay. Feel like that about Florida? At least Florida has fucking Disney Wall. You know, it's got something going for it. Like, what the fuck does Louisiana have? So you want to be like a drunk fuck in the French Quarter and just get into bar fights and Mardi Gras and shit? I, I don't know. I like alcohol, but not that much. Big Zam or Barbatos? Barbatos would probably be more fun to build, honestly. I imagine the model for that would be more recent and better designed. So that, that would be my personal recommendation. Okay. What about Kansas? Never been to Kansas. I've pretty much been to every state on the south side of the United States, but not Kansas, not all of them. I've been to Arizona, Utah, California, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana. I, I don't think I've actually been further than Louisiana on that side. Like I, I've been to Florida. Um, I want to go to Georgia for the aquarium, and I've been to Hawaii. Oh, but Kansas sounds pretty shit. Honestly, no offense. Like, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to commit any microaggressions or anything, my dude, but I don't think I would want to go to uh, Kansas. Like, what, what is there to do in Kansas out of curiosity? Like, if you were... If the hottest chick in the world were to come up to you and say, hey, take me on a date, big boy, where would you take them in Kansas? Like, what would be your number one pick? Just out of morbid curiosity. 
Eat dirt in Kansas. Okay. Walmart. Dope, dope. Walmart's pretty good. You can go whale watching there. Good answer, good answer. Women love whale watching. I do too. It's not just a woman thing, but... You know. Maybe I am a woman. Who fucking knows? Who knows? Alright. So... Let's do E22 now. Ugh. If you come to Oklahoma, you can watch the local town be blown apart by two a massive two mile wide tornado. That's sad though. Like I've I've almost been hit by a fucking tornado. So that's fucked. I remember we would go to uh, my my parents loved to gamble when I was a kid. So, they take us, like, me and my sister to Oklahoma, and they go to, like, a casino or some shit, and just, like, leave us in, like, a fast food restaurant or some shit right next to the casino while they go, they went and played the fucking slot machines. <laughs> good times, good times. So, it's, man, you know, Sister Omeo, this is a pretty good, uh, you know, double cheeseburger, right? Except for, like, three hours. <laughs> Just be stuck in Burger King for three hours. Man, that shit fucking sucks and shit. I'm articulate as hell, by the way. That was no good. I don't miss those days. Let's go on empty perspective. Thank God damn. I'll never forget our vacation to Shreveport. My dad was like, yo, dude, we're going to go to Shreveport, Louisiana. It's dope. It's like Riverside. There's like gambling and shit. My mom was excited. We get to Shreveport, and it's like, wow, it's fucking nothing. <laughs> It's like the worst place I've ever been to. Like, you couldn't pay me to go back to Shreveport. That like we went to some dumb fuck museum that had nothing in it, and that was like the entirety of what I remember besides, you know, the aforementioned sitting in fast food restaurants while my parents went to gamble. Man, the fish you like, Mr. Frost? Uh, Fat Princess is the one back there, the big blue gourami. It looks different than the gourami in uh, Detroit because it's uh, it's a full size gourami. It's not a dwarf, but maybe you'll see the resemblance. She ever gets the fuck over here. They don't... The fish don't really like the lights that much. I This is part of the reason why I don't want to do these streams too often is I feel like the lights might stress them out a little bit too much. Because I notice, like, Fat Princess is normally in the front. Um, and it's probably worse now that they don't have the shelter for the, the plants. Or the fake plants, rather. See a stone octopus? Yeah, it's pretty dope, right? At least you can tell that it's a stone octopus. You, you would be surprised how many times I've been asked if that was a real octopus. Granted, they're most likely memeing, but... <laughs> Fuck, dude. I don't... I don't understand people sometimes. I think aquariums are better than zoos, but... The thing about that, though, is good zoos have aquariums. They might, they're not as good as, like, a fully-fledged uh, aquarium. Like, the Dallas World Aquarium in particular is amazing. Like, that place is so cash. Um, and generally, I would agree with you, but there are a lot of zoos that also have aquariums. Get the, the best of every world. Maybe not the best, but you, you, you get everything. And I, you don't have warthogs at aquariums, and I like warthogs. One of my favorite animals. I like the nasty piggies. They remind me of myself. When I was a young one, oh, oh, oh. I scared one of my dogs downstairs. I have a golden retriever named Angel, and I can I can hear her clack because whenever she moves, she like her paws like have really big clickety clackety noises, and I she just got up. I heard her get up after the warthog song, so I guess she doesn't like my singing. Never been to an aquarium? They're pretty dope, but you gotta go to the right aquarium. Like, there's some aquariums that are just... scuffed. They have a whale shock in there? Shh, whale shock. Whale shock! I'm fucking Boston now, sorry. Um, the Georgia Aquarium has baby whale sharks. That's why I want to go to the Georgia Aquarium one day. That's literally the only reason I would ever want to go to that state, but it's supposedly amazing. Cifferoni and Cheese, one of my mods showed me a picture that they took there, I believe. One time that made me so jelly. Okay. And yes, that's a real treasure chest. That's where when you when you donate shekels, they all go right there. 
I'll, I'll, that's where all my sub money is. Don't tell anyone, though. So if I ever get robbed, they're never going to find it. Diet Coke. What are you making, Tola? We are making a Gundam. We're making the Tall Geese. He's, he looks like a Roman legionary. He's a big dick robot, ready ready to fuck many women. Uh, probably gonna take several hours to finish him. So far, I've only got one leg finished right here, and I'm working on the second leg. So it's a process. It is a process. You want a Gundam, homie? BBC Robo, that's some smart thinking dog. Is that a real Gundam, Mr. Tolomeo? Yes, hello, Grave Hair. Look like you have soft hands. People tell me that. Like, someone came to my stream and was like, these are the hands of someone who's never worked a day in their life. And it's like, Jesus Christ, don't, don't take out your frustration on me. I'm not doing shit. And then I showed them my Naruto scar right here. You see that shit? I'm like, look, I bet you've never been into a, in a fight with a rabbit honey badger, bitch. And they didn't. And so I won the argument. It was easy. Saw one episode. I don't watch them either. I just like building things. I like doing something with my hands. And I'm not skilled enough to do carpentry. And I don't have the space. So. Just do these little shits. And you know. It's pretty fun. And people seem to mostly like the streams. Uh, every every time. There's always someone who's like. What the fuck is this? What the fuck are you streaming Dark Souls? You little bitch. What the fuck is gay nerd shit? And I'm just like. Wow. Calm down dude. First of all, there's nothing wrong with being gay. There's nothing wrong with having a little homo lust in your life. Uh, but, you know, they're just it's they're really prickly wickly individuals. Okay. I mean, you need to stop using the word gay as an insult. And then we fight them and I win and every, and then they admit that I was right and they were wrong. And then the entire stream chat claps. And then I, I take off the mask and I reveal that I'm Albert Einstein. No, I was creative. No, I'm not. That's why I build fucking models. If I was creative, I'd be doing shit like, uh, you know, curing cancer or uh, doing, dr like, psychedelic drugs and going on a, on a bender in Florida and dying out after I eat bath salts. That's what creative people do, right? I used to be a little bit creative when I was younger, but now not so much. I've lost all creative spark. <laughs> Ugh. Creative people also protest. I don't do that shit. How much did this cost? This one was, I think, like $30. Hmm. All right. 30 some moldy. So now I'm going to be homeless. Let's see. Hey, thank you for the resub, Nakamak. I appreciate the 13 months. I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Hope your weekend is off to a good start, my man. Oh, fuck. I just fucked this. Hold on. I need to perform Gundam surgery. I, I chipped a little bit of the actual part. I'm trying to go too fast. What would you write a book about? Um, that's a good question. If I were to write a book, I would probably want to do something horror related. Uh, maybe pertaining to the ocean, but not Cthulhu shit. Not, like, Eldritch Cthulhu shit, because that shit is way overdone. Like, I hate how any horror related to the ocean is relegated to, like, uh, Lovecraftian Cthulhu themes all the fucking time now. No one can think of anything remotely original. Um, so, I would figure out something to do, like, underwater, because I have a passion for marine biology in the ocean. I think the best medium for horror is actually books. I think that the, I think that things are a lot scarier when you have to envision things in your own mind rather than having things explicitly shown to you, right? Like, so that's why that's why I'm not really big on, say, horror games because like, ah, a fucking monster comes out and like, it looks retarded. It looks like the amnesia monster, and it's like, okay, that's what the monster looks like. Whereas if you're reading a book and it's it's, it's caught you and you're compelled and you're invested in the story, you, you don't know what the fuck. Uh, it looks like and you're creating all these fucked up possibilities in your own mind um, I think that's better than say video games or horror movies like, I don't like horror and visual media I'm not big on books either don't get me wrong but if I were to read a book like for, for pleasure it would almost certainly be horror 
So if I were to write a book, um, okay. I know exactly what you talk. No, 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 no. Maybe original Lovecraft, because I've read Lovecraft. I know I've read like Color Out of Space and shit. I'm talking about people who ate Lovecraft shit, Rafa. Um, it's like, oh, it's a gigantic tentacled humanoid. Blah, 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 blah. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you that the original Lovecraft was like that, and I, uh, I respect and appreciate the original Lovecraft. I'm talking about, you know, current modern day shit, like interpretations of Lovecraft. It's all Cthulhu this, Cthulhu that, Roulette, oh no, I'm insane, and I got raped by a tentacle. You know, that's, that's pretty much uh, a significant amount of the horror genre that I've seen regarding underwater themes. Hello, Famous Wolf. Not even a giant anglerfish, just a normal anglerfish that likes... Flight. It doesn't even have to be like a creature or anything. Like you, there's so many concepts you can have in the ocean that just don't have anything to do with like a giant sea monster that you can implement. I, I don't know. I just, I think that the eldritch Lovecraftian shit in general is way overdone. Um, which is kind of funny considering, you know, I, I, I like Bloodborne, but even then it's just... I would prefer something different. Okay, so we got both of the legs now. We're actually making somewhat decent progress. Do you like sea cucumbers? Uh, yes. Sea cucumbers are pretty fucking dope. Don't sea cucumbers, like, do some weird shit with their butthole? Or was that a sea pickle? I really like the Lovecraftian theme. It's just a hard thing to nail concretely if you're aping off of someone's shit. Fish should take your legs and use them to walk on land. See, there was a Monster Hunter monster for the uh, the Japanese MMO Frontier that was pretty much exactly like that. Sozoi. Are there actually sea pickles? No, I'm just being a retard. I'm, I'm just, I'm being facetious. <laughs> do you, for us, do you know what the, do you know what the anglerfish do? Like how they reproduce? You know what a male anglerfish is like? When is the Minecraft Let's Play? Fucking never. Ocean is scarier than out of space for me. Like, being lost in it. I would mostly agree. Tell me... Okay. So, in your mind's eye, I want you to envision something. Envision the most submissive beta person you've ever met. I'm not, I'm not even saying that as an insult. Just, like, think of the person you've met in life who is the most submissive to women, or men, or whatever. Just submissive personality, right? Uh... So, when you think of an anglerfish, the big scary one with the, with the lantern, you're thinking of the female anglerfish. That's what the females look like. The females are like these football-sized, scary-ass creatures, yeah? The male anglerfish, however, are little, tiny, minuscule uh, baby shits. And so, what they do is they go up to the female, and the female literally absorbs them into their body and makes them into a semen ward. And they are basically just permanent semen receptacles on the female anglerfish's body. And so it's literally just the female extracting the reproductive material from the male. And that is the life of a male anglerfish. Um, so that person I told you to envision, that's their spirit animal. Ugh. Voriculture, no, it doesn't eat them. It, it absorbs them. It's like a little fucking protrusion on their body, I think. Um, it's really weird, but it's also really cool. Like, there's really fucked up shit in the ocean. What's going on, Jake Paul? Do nothing but breathe and ejaculate? More? I don't even know if they need to breathe, honestly. I think they might just... Like, I haven't read too much into it. I just know the general idea of it. Um, but I'm not sure how... How, uh, how necessary... The, functions such as breathing and eating are. I think they just survive off of the host. They become parasites, right? Okay. At least a male anglerfish gets some action. So what you're telling me is if you were to go to a Walmart and you were to just get sucked into a gigantic hand beast, you're whale watching a Walmart and you get a little bit too close, and just <laughs> but that would constitute action for you. You know, I mean, you do you, homie. Oh, uh, that's... I personally wouldn't, but... You know, we, the beauty of nature is that we all have different likes and dislikes. 
Some people like Naruto, some people like being bored in a Walmart. Hello, CN Tack. Have you ever considered sounding? No, that sounds like it would be extraordinarily painful. I don't like pain. Uh, maybe that's weird. Maybe I'm alone in that regard. But typically, um, I'm not big on the, the shoving things up orifices. Unless it's food into my mouth. That's pretty dull. Okay. I heard there's a species of octopus that you attach their dicks and throw them at females for the sex. I've never heard of that. That sounds dull. Um, what other fucked up... Do you know about right whales, Faraz? I can give the right whale lesson. How are you tonight? I'm chilling. How about you, occult enigma? Right. About none of these creatures? Okay. So, there's a species of baleen whale uh, called the right whale. Right is in your, your right hand, not ride. Uh, and the reason they're called right whales is because they had uh, extreme concentration of, like, oil and shit for lanterns. So, they were the right whale to hunt. Um, and so, that's where their name originates. But what these... What these degenerate creatures do in the ocean is astounding. They like to, uh... They like to compete with each other. For mates. You know, but, but you know... I, I think many of us can empathize with that. That's, that's just life, right? You gotta compete with other men folk for the fuck. Yeah? Very typical shit. Um, but unlike the humpback whales, which compete with and, and show aggression by blowing bubbles at their opposition, right whales perform in something called semen competition, which essentially right whales have gigantic orgies off the coast of South America, I believe it is. Like one female will just take like 7 billion right whale dicks and they compete by trying to have the biggest cock and to shoot the biggest load. Because uh, you see, right whales have gigantic members. Their wieners are fucking huge. They're bigger than most creatures are. Their wieners weigh more than, you know, most people in this chat. Maybe not Hubert, but they're fucking big. And they don't hurt each other. The way they compete is they try to have such a forceful nut that it pushes the other competing male semen out of the orifice. And so that's how right whales reproduce. And they just have gigantic fucking orgies off the, off the coast. It's pretty lit. I think humans can learn a lot from right whales. I think the Japanese have, judging by some videos I've seen on the internet. Uh, anyways, uh, I gotta look for F now. Sounds like a good time to me. Oh shit, hold on. So, yep, yep. And if you don't believe this, you can you can just look it up and you'll see that I'm not not really uh, fabricating shit. All this actually fucking happens. It's actually incredible. Okay. Tablecloth is pretty fucked, I know. It's showing, it's just, you know, leave him alone. He's perfect. He's just, he's doing his best. You see, look at this shit. You want to see what I have to deal with? Look at this right here. You see this shit? Everywhere. 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 Look at this fucking hair. You seek out this information or all these things just kind of come your way? I know a lot of random things, and I just kind of figure that stuff out along the way. Like, I know about one of my favorite uh, animals. This is a, not a sexual fact, by the way. Uh, like, I, I'm using this as an example to show you that the things I know are not exclusive to fucking sexual matters. Um, one of my favorite types of, I guess technically they're dolphins, is something called the false killer whale, which look really weird. They, they're really fucking scuffed looking animals. They're called false killer whales because they're, uh, I, I guess some retards managed to mistake the fucking killer whales. I don't personally see it, but they're they're called pseudorcas. Uh, I think that's their pseudorca, and they're interesting because they're one of the only creatures that, or only creatures amongst like dolphins and whales that have 
shown signs of like altruism. They've been known to go up to like doll, uh, divers and just like catch a fish and bring it to a diver because they think it's like a sickly whale or a dolphin or some shit. And so they'll hunt and try to feed divers and whatnot. So they're, they're really dope creatures. They're smart. Um, but the sad thing about them is they uh, they have a tendency, like some, no one really knows why, but sometimes their echolocation, whatever the shit, gets interfered with. And there will be just mass beachings of false killer whales from time to time. There will be like 50 uh, of them just on the beach, like an entire pod just killed. Because they, they're community-based animals. They're tribalistic. So if one breaches and uh, goes on the shore, chances are the entire fucking pack of them are going to follow suit. Entire pod is down for the count. Um, actually, I've seen those in real life, and they're pretty neat. They look ugly as fuck, though, but I like them. Maybe I like them because I'm also ugly as fuck and I can empathize with that, you know. They just, they're doing their best out there. They're sitting there bringing these people, they're just, you know, these people are probably sitting there snickering about how ugly the, the dolphins are. And they're like, here, here, here's some food. Don't starve, fellow gamer. Um, so, I, you know, a bit of empathy there. Hello, Chrysan. Which mile are you building tall geese? I'm having some difficulty with this shit. This is fucking hard as hell to get all these pieces together. Okay, this one is rough. What else? Let me think. There's also a, a an entire like family of whale that many people are not even uh, knowledgeable of. Like they don't know that they exist. There's beaked whales, which are extreme depth divers, and they spend most of their time like under the sea, and they look like fucking obese Walmart. Uh, bottlenose dolphins. They look, they're look. they really big, too. They're like 30 fucking feet long, I think, uh, in some species. But they, they're they really cool because there's not really a lot known about them despite the fact that they're huge as fuck because they spend all their time under the ocean. And when I say under the ocean, I mean deep under the ocean. Thank you for the 10 bits. As a man, I appreciate it. The what whale's beaked like a bird. Um... Uh, they, look, they really do look like corpulent, fat fuck uh, bottlenose dolphins. This is the model we're build we are building, by the way, for those who have asked. We're building the waist right now. We've got his little waist unit. You can see the holes where the leg's going to go. Uh, we've also got the legs right now. So should be cool. Those are the scavengers. I don't think they were recently found. I think we've known about beak whales for several decades. Uh, there's also one of my favorite creatures is another gigantic motherfucker that we don't know a whole hell of a lot about. It's called the Mega Mouth Shark. So you've heard of Mega Milk, but how about a Mega Mouth Shark? Like this thing can probably eat an unprecedented amount of ass because its mouth is fucking atrociously huge. That shit looks scary as fuck. You should Google. I can't right now because I'm at the table, but... There's maybe, I think, like, less than 50 have been seen uh, across the entire world last time I checked. Something like that. They're very rare. And most of the time when people find them, they are dead. Like, they're floating up to the surface or something. So, it's also a dope-ass animal. There's some in captain. I don't think so. I've never heard of this. Can you link me? Uh, the captive mega mouth sharks. This is this would be an astounding development if I managed to miss this. What shark mega mouth? I mean the basking no not basking shark. That's actually a completely different one. It's literally called the mega mouth shark. They're the same type of feeder. They feed in the same way, um, but they're completely different. Like basking sharks are fairly common to see. In fact, sometimes basking sharks get mistaken for like great whites and just people will kill them completely unprovoked because if they don't have their mouth open they actually kind of do uh look similar like bigger predatory sharks thinking of the frilled shark yeah frilled shark is uh they've had them in captivity but i don't think that they've lived very long they're they're old ancient fucking species of shark that are really weird they look really cool though apparently dolphins and certain whales can sound 
Interpret sounds similar to how humans interpret vision, where they can take much larger amounts of information from sounds. You know anything about this stuff? You mean echolocation, or is it, are you talking about something else? Oh. Because it's echolocation where they basically bounce sound off of things, and it kind of forms this uh, natural radar, right? Um, so if that's what you mean, then yeah. It's, it's fairly common amongst all species of dolphins slash whales. Okay, you are talking. I, I figured, but I wasn't sure. Because I know they have a particular organ. Uh, it's, I don't think the official scientific name for it is melon, but it's referred to as the melon, and it's uh, to facilitate like echolocation and shit, I think. Fuck, this nub is being a piece of shit right now. Hold on. I need to bring this closer to my face. It died. Okay, let me save this so I can check it after. If I if I click on a link from all the way over here, it's gonna be a pain in the ass getting all the windows set up. Like my my internet browsing capabilities are limited currently on this fucking desk. Okay, like bats. Yep, similar to bats, but a little bit more uh, evolved. I, maybe not. That's not the right word. A little bit more advanced. Oh, mm. well, I gotta stretch. I'm gonna need to get some drinkies soon. Also, I don't know how well you can see it, but I have Java moss uh, in the holes of the rock. I'm trying to get it coated with moss so it looks more natural, but it's it's slow growing. It's taking fucking forever to grow. I have not even noticed uh, any sort of growth at all in that. So I, I'm hoping that it's just getting acclimated to the tank and then the plants are going to grow faster, but it's going to be slow going if this is the actual growth rate for like the entirety of their lives. Pretty much never going to fucking <laughs> achieve what I want. Because I want the tank to look like a jungle. I want it to be uh, lush. I want it to be thick. But all these baby plants are they're doing well in that they're not dying, but they're not exactly growing, especially not to the point where I can propagate them. Is right whale cock banned on Twitch? Probably. Gulp reel. Oh, yeah, I know about the gulp reels. Those shits are dull. What's going on, Quish Mish? I'm just put in chia seeds. What's the mason jar? That's tea. It's unsweetened tea. I'm not a coffee person. I don't like coffee in the least. Never have. The only time I drink it is when I'm with Amanda. If I really, if I have like a headache and I need some caffeine, I'll take a sip. But barring that, I never drink it of my own volition. Okay, hello, the lady K. What's going on, champ? How are you? How are the wife and kids? Okay, so we need G23 now. Oh, baby. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right. I don't like coffee. I need it. See, I, I drink caffeinated tea, personally, and Diet Coke. The combination is usually enough to get me going. Oh, but I don't want to be addicted to coffee. That shit sounds terrible. Although, it really wouldn't be any different from now. Because, like, my teeth are fucking staying brown from the amount of tea that I drink. I'm British as hell, despite being in Texas. It wouldn't be that big of a difference. Tell us about the dolphin jelly. No. It's a no jelly zone. I'm, I've been talking about too many sexually charged facts. No one wants to hear that shit. It's disgusting. What is this? Is Tolomeo obsessed with fucking sea creatures? Beyonce, my wife, is great. Oh, man. I don't... I don't think I'll ever understand the Beyonce worship. My, my girlfriend also is, like, fucking head over heels for Beyonce. Like, she loves Beyonce more than me, it feels like, sometimes. Like, I know that's not actually true. At least I hope it isn't. But, goddamn, sometimes it's just... There's an obsession there, you know? I don't get it. I'm not a Beyonce person, I guess. Kinda got that sticker. Man, what a fucking retarded sticker. No one's ever even gonna see that shit. Can't find the article, here's a picture. I need 
to cook. All right, have a good one, dude. Thank you very much. Let's see. Conveying and receiving 20 times the amount of information we can without hearing. Oh, yeah, that sounds about right. Because things are actually louder under the water, um, I think, so they have more highly developed ears. Like, that's something uh, most underwater creatures of that size have a, have a souped-up sense, so to speak. Like, the shark's sense of smell is ridiculous. Like, they can smell blood from a couple miles away, I think. Um, it's pretty fucking nuts. It's really cool, though. It's hard to explain. The way she explained it to me is that just there's an energy in her performances that no other artist can realistically match and like something like that. It's more it's less so that Beyonce makes great songs, although her songs are good. And more the combination of being good, uh, at making songs or singing songs or whatever and the performance aspect of it. Okay. I don't fucking know. Hello. Simbath videos? Fishies, they're doing good. I mean, I do own them. They, I am the, the caretaker of the fish, so that leaves something to be desired for sure. Right. What a weird fucking infographic. Like, th these instructions are dog shit. Why the fuck would you ever attach it that way? <laughs> that sounds retarded to me. Sorry, pardon my French. I'm not allowed to say the word uh, retarded. Okay. Maybe this shit. Cult of personality, maybe. The beehive. Is this the only model for tonight? Yes. What are you making? I'm making the tall goose. Later, some nobody here. Let me show you. Hello, Sky. Sky 4. I'm just going to have the entire stream be this. That's this fucking boss. Look at him. Where are you not allowed to say retard? Thankfully, I am a retard. So I get to use the word. That's how it works, right? I, anyone who's watched me can say beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am impaired in several ways. So, take it back. And I'll own that word. Okay. Cannot read. No, no, that's hasty. You can't say that shit. Hello, the Wanderer. What's going on, my man? Yeah, dude, seriously, why the fuck would you ever put these stickers on? Like, you're never gonna see these shits. It's never gonna happen. Okay, so we need C13 and C12 now. Easy enough. This is going faster than I thought. We might be done soon. Put the furry mask back on. I don't know what you're referring to, Mouse Banks. I think as a furry, you might have that thing where you assume that everything related to animals is furry in nature. I want to get that checked out. I heard that's a deadly disease. Before you know it, you're going to be a rainforest. You're going to be yiffing with fucking yell play. And you're going to make a web series out of it. That's what it's going to be called. Yiffing with yell play, episode three. Hang out with my GF till she went to sleep. Nice. I know that feeling. She falls asleep. Like, I'm so boring that she falls asleep to me on, uh, Discord. Like, we'll talk to each other and she'll just knock the fuck out. So, I know how that goes. And then I listen to her make noises in her sleep. I've been told tales. Oh, yeah? What sorts of tales, mouse? Now you got me all curious. So now we got a little, little thruster pigs. Make more Gundams and here I was fucking off into the horizon. Also, I got an abortion on the Switch, baby, because fuck all kinds of that. Well, thank you for the nine-month resub, Atheus. I appreciate it. However, I recovered the abortion in his name is, is, uh, is Scythius, because he's going to be a dark Jedi. Isn't that lit? Isn't that fucking dope? Aren't you excited? Or you had a yiffin mask? I mean, I did a face review. I guess people think I'm a fucking furry because I, because of how my face looks. I guess that's what they mean. Here, hold on. Let me... I need to get drinks anyway, so we'll have an intermission here. Okay.
Oh. Hello, Joel. Come back. Sif. Come on. Get that ass in here, Sif. Sif, don't make me grab you. My dog had staged an escape.
Get in here, puppy. Whew. Okay. I'm back, fellow gamers. Did you miss me? Sif looks very uncomfortable. She made me very uncomfortable. She ran off to go outside. She took forever. Hello, Spilaw. What's good, homie? Thank you very much for the resub. I appreciate it, dog. Okay. Back to business. Did she fart on the way up the stairs? Not this time. Thankfully. Hello, Cogitus. I missed you. Well, thank you. I missed me, too. I missed me a lot. Alright, so right now we're making the waist. We got his little butt pack. Okay, hold on. Camera? Camera? There we go. So I, I still suck at using cameras. I apologize. Hello, Rudy Corm. We're building the tall goose. I'm a little drunk. How about you wishing I was drunk? That rat mask is hot as fuck, by the way. It's already like 95 degrees in the house right now. So putting that shit on? Oh my god. Oh no. What a dick. Yeah, that's me. I am what I eat, you know. Just they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. I have air conditioning, I do. Do you not hear it? The window unit can only do so much when you live upstairs. And you also, for me too, I have to turn it down. I have to have it in eco mode. Because if I don't, if I don't have it in eco mode, then it generates too much power and it surges uh, the power outlet in my room, which is dope. One of my favorite things that happens on a night to night basis is having my power to Let me tell you, fellow gamer, it's lit. Where the fuck is my piece that I'm looking for here? Oh wee. Look, there's actually a nice breeze. It was 107 degrees to get today, and that's no bueno. It was 100 and something today. Which... Please just... Someone... Someone please just... Start World War III and end me. <laughs> Fuck. It's too hot for this shit. And I can't even be shirtless because I'm streaming like this. Like, normally it would be fine because I'd have my shirt off. I'd be, I'd, I'd be all marinating, but it wouldn't be that bad. But you can't do that on Twitch. That, so when this is my ultimate goal. Check this shit out. Also, this is a joke. Twitch, do not take this seriously. I am not actually intending on doing any of the things I'm about to say. It is a joke for comedic purposes, so don't, don't flip your shit but my plan right now is to be the first streamer to die of a heat stroke because i have to wear a shirt so i want to make twitch reevaluate their no shirtless men policy that's my goal joke by the way joke by the way uh, don't ban me it's just memes i don't want to die I'm reporting you. You should clarify that you're 100% serious about that. So they changed the rule <laughs> and the distant sirens. Woo! Yup. What's going on, Snake? What brings you to this fucking land? I can't imagine you're super into Gundam models. Well, that'd be dope if you were. How's everything going, my dude? Good to see ya. Wasn't Tyler One shirt? I'm not Tyler One. Like, Tyler One is an alfalfa male. Me? I'm a lowly degenerate cuckold. I can't, I can't do that shit. You gotta be out of your mind if you think I'm, I'm big and bad enough to do something like that. What the fuck? Okay, I think I understand now. All right. Thank you for the three month resell, Puma Child. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Just popping in yourself, just hanging out. Friday night is hot as fuck. Sitting here, uh, subjecting my audience to the complaints of it being hot. It's pretty dope. It's one of it's it's one of their favorite forms of content. They love it when I come in all hot and bothered and, and just I'm whining and bitching about it. They've told me in messages before. They're just too shy to admit it in chat. 
Okay. So now I need A10. Shirtless should be legal. I think everyone should be allowed to be shirtless. That's just me. Um, but I can see how that would cause problems with the advertisers. But, fuck. Advertisers need to, uh, need to calm down. Okay. Let's get rid of pants while we're at it, dude. I don't want to get banned. Twitch, I'm fully clothed right now. Trust me. I don't have socks, though. I don't know if that's a bannable offense. Um, I hope you can you can be without socks. Because I'm not a socks sort of person. I fucking hate socks, honestly. But if I'm wearing shoes, it's one thing. I'm not, I'm not nasty in wearing shoes without any, any form of socks, but I would never wear just socks, you know? Just this degeneracy. It's pure, unbridled degeneracy. Okay. As long as your feet doesn't have a nipple. Alright, Giselle, have a good one, man. Take it easy. Bet Mixer allows shirtless streamers? Well, that's how it is, right? They try to... Mo most of the websites that aren't currently number one in the content creation sphere of things uh, try to, you know... They try to compel people, give them a little something, something. Oh, you can stream this way over here. You can break this rule that you wouldn't be able to on Twitch. And then if, like, let's say you had a website that allowed all of that shit. Like, allows all the shit Twitch doesn't. As soon as that became the biggest website for streaming, you'd be, okay, fuck this. We're not doing it anymore. You can't do this. Um, so, yeah. That's just kind of how it works in my experience. I mix my colored socks. That's degenerate. How much did I miss? You've missed the legs and a significant portion of the waist. So really not much. Not a whole hell of a lot. There's not too much to miss in these Gundam streams, to be quite frank. It's kind of relaxation chill time. I like these streams because I can, I can sit here and build at an extraordinarily slow pace, and people are just like, yeah, that's dope. As long as you're fucking talking about stupid shit nobody could conceivably give a fuck about, we're, we're A-OK -okay with that, Tolomo. It's fucking dope. What's going on, Texas Toby? Hell yeah, I am, dog. I'm getting in this shit. No one's ever taken my virginity. Need to finish off my death scythe. I got the legs done and then life happened. Yup, that's... It's happened to me before, too. Sometimes you just gotta leave it for a bit and come back. What color are your socks? I only wear black socks. I don't like white socks. Maybe that's a holdover from when I... when I would do security, but the only kind of socks you were allowed to wear were, like, black or navy blue or similarly dark ones. So... That's just what I wear now. I like them. <laughs> I don't like white socks, they're fucking nasty looking to me. Okay. What's going on, Lunny Lunny? Okay. Black is, I'm white as hell though, I just, I like black socks, cause like, let's say, hypothetically speaking, some, some person's cat is stuck in like a mud ditch and for whatever reason you're the only one who, could, who can go in and you, for whatever reason you have to wear socks. You, you, you don't have an option to forego the socks. Uh, it will, the, the, the darker colors of socks don't, you know, hold on to dirt as well as uh, white ones do. Like, white is nasty. Like, white white socks, you sweat a little bit and there's like fucking like sock stains. It's just like, fuck that. No, thank you. Mm -hmm. I really have a, a hatred white socks. Interesting. Okay. White is nasty. It's a very hypothetical situation, though, but it, it, it's, it's the best way to that I, my rodent mind can come up with to convey a very frequent occurrence in that when your socks get dirty, they show a lot less on darker colors. Like, white, white socks, even if they're really not that dirty, can look fairly nasty because they're they're fucking white. 
That's why I don't like white people. I'm white, by the way. I can say that. Okay. Where did you work? Security? I was a flex security officer, so I worked a lot of places. Just depended on, uh... Depended on where my boss wanted me to go at the time, basically. Oh, shit. Did I make a... A fucky-wucky? Gucci. I'm unsure what I joined back to. A Gundam stream. I can go with white clothes in general. Yeah, I don't like white. Is this the new Fortnite DLC? Yes. Anyone can see that? You never know. You always got to cover your bases. I feel like the things you can and can't say change on a daily basis. So you just gotta, you gotta be safe. Before you know it, you won't be able to joke about dolphin pussy gelatin. Basically a dictatorship. Literally every time I wear my white shorts, I get new stains on. Yeah, and it's like the thing is, it's really easy to stain things that are white. So like, someone will see them and just presume you're a slob, like you're a dirty fuck. Like, how the fuck can you get stains on white shorts? Uh, how 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 can you do that? You must be a pig. And they start making snorting noises. You like, and it's a, it's it's not a good situation. I'm not speaking from experience though. Gundam is this? This is the tall geese. It's the real grade version, so it's small and it's complicated. And concepts are great. I like the way white clothes look. I'm just, I'm a messy person. Full, fully gonna go ahead and admit that, that I'm not uh, a particularly clean human being, especially when I'm eating, I'm kind of a slob. So just imagine, like, wearing white clothes and going to eat, like, barbecue or some shit. It's fucking impossible. So, you know. What's going on, Yikers? Yeah, per Father of Pearl is going on about his skin marks right now. How nasty. How gross. TMI, fellow gamer. They call you a pagan slob? Yeah. I'm an atheist, that means I'm a Satan worshiper, which also means I'm a pagan. It's pretty dope. Okay. What kit is he building? I am building the tall geese. I wonder. I should probably put the kit in the title next time. Remember in my elementary school, my him teacher said guys had to wear black socks and the girls had to wear white socks, otherwise she wouldn't let an MF play dodgeball. Why were you playing dodgeball in, in him in him class? Isn't that where you're supposed to sing songs about Jesus and shit? What game is this? This is the game of life. This is where I I test my audience's patience by saying I don't feel like playing video games, so I'm gonna build a virginity protector and build a fucking model of a Gundam and see how many people actually watch this shit. It's lit. What's going on, Kale? How are you doing, fellow gamer? Too late to get a return? Yup, yup. It always is. You only get to play once, so you might as well make the most out of it. Alright. I thank you, Bort the Lonzo, for the 23-month resub. You build Virginia Pit protectors like you build my dick with great efficiency. I'm really, like, you say that, but I build these slow as fuck on stream because I'm just, I'm spending half of my time or more looking at stream chat. But thank you very much, Bored. I guess I'm not really efficient in building dicks either, which is dope. Thank you for the bits of Matt. Is this the new Armored Core? Yes. Oh, God, I love Diet Coke. Holy shit. Why am I here? I don't know. I don't know. Friday night, no one else is streaming, I guess. Actually, I have no idea who's streaming, but... I, that's the only reason I can imagine. Like, all your normal people you'd watch are, like, doing drugs, partying, having a real life. So that's that's why you come over here to uh, be inundated with my bullshit. I'm just waiting for FromSoft to announce their new Armored Core game. That'd be cool. The, uh... The dearth of good mech games is a sore point for me. It's 10am at my place. No one else streams this early. 
True, true. That's it. My time slot is my my biggest strength as a streamer. Just stream when no one else streams, so you don't have competition, right? It's fucking lit. Oh no, I fucked this up. Gotta put the armor plating on after. Okay. Ordered a Diet Coke with a sandwich from Jimmy John's about an hour ago and they forgot it. I would be so fucking pissed. Honestly, one of the most demoralizing feelings in the entire world is like ordering food and they fuck up or forget your drink. Like, I, if that happens to me, the day is not, I'm not even fucking exaggerating. Like, my entire day is fucked. It, it, it's so shitty. Um, just, and it's especially bad because I don't like sweet tea. And here in Texas, everyone assumes that you want sweet tea, no matter what. You have to specify like a hundred times tea without sugar, uh, unsweet tea, yada, yada, yada. And they still fuck it up. And every time I take a sip and it's, it's this sugary bile, I want to fucking cry. Okay. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta keep up with chat. Hold on, what's going on, Rome Bot? Also, mean there'll be less people to watch you though. Mm, no, no, not really. I'm just waiting for Sega to announce a new virtual flight. I'm waiting for FromSoft to announce a new Kingsfield. Numerous other things that are never gonna happen. That's how it is. I mean, it, Sekiro looks good at least. I don't know how you feel about that, but I'm personally optimistic for it because it looks different from Souls. It's not more of the same. It looks like it's actually gonna have some originality to it, which is something. I think is important for FromSoft at this point. Because I would I would be kind of dis... I'm not even going to say kind of. I would have been pretty bummed if there was like Bloodborne 2 or some shit. I would not have liked that. Uh, I wouldn't want another Dark Souls 2. Just... No good. I'm glad it's not another... Exactly, yeah. It's something different. And it, it always makes me chuckle, though, because... This isn't all people, obviously, but there's a, there's a significant group of people who are just... They have no fucking faith in From Software. Like, I remember when Bloodborne was announced. Uh, I, I I was a little skeptical because of the Bloodborne with guns thing. So I, w I was partially guilty of this. But it's just like... It's not going to be like Dark Souls. It's not going to have shields or magic. It's going to fucking suck. We want All we want is more Dark Souls. And that shit bums me out. About burnt out on souls for a lifetime. Oh yeah, dude. I you're you're newer to this stream, but when I started, I streamed about a year straight of nothing but Bloodborne, and then a year straight of nothing but Dark Souls three. So, I just I can't do it anymore except the short bursts. Like, I love I still love the games. Don't get me wrong. I love all of the Souls games, even even ones like Dark Souls two and Demon Souls. But I just I can't I can't play them day in and day out anymore. I can only do short amounts. And thank you for the 1100 bits, Yikers. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm glad they exist, but I don't think I ever want to play another one. I would play another one. Uh, even if, even if I w weren't a streamer, I would play uh, like Dark Souls 4. Because I do think the combat mechanics are something that they consistently improve. But I think that Bloodborne showed that they are best with uh, original ideas. Because even though Bloodborne was similar to Dark Souls, it was different enough that it, it felt fresh. To me, at least. You should stream Dead Space sometime. I, that game... I don't know how I feel about Dead Space. It was kind of forgettable to me. Like, I played through all of the first one. And I think I even got all the achievements and shit. Because I used to care about achievements when I was a teenager. Um, and... The only thing that stuck with me in that the entirety of that game are uh, the segment where the invincible zombie is chasing you through uh, some fucking place. And the very end, it, uh, jump scare. Later, see monkey kid. Have a good night. Hello, Shay. I'm not. My mom likes Little Big Planet. I'm not a big fan though. Get diecast versions of these models. There are some that are diecast, I think, but typically there aren't uh, versions that are just available like that for every model. your favorite Armored Core game? I like 4 Answer. I never played anything before uh, Armored Core 4, though. So I'm sure there are a lot of people where if you say that you like uh, 4 Answer, it's like the casualized, easy, fast version that just gets ridiculed by the old Armored Core players. So I don't know. It kind of makes me want to go back and play the older ones, but generally faster is better for me. Um, as evidenced by me preferring Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 combat to the original Dark Souls combat. 
But then again, I also play Mac Warrior. Like, Mac Warrior is one of my favorite games, so maybe I would dig the slower pace. I also played Chrome Hounds uh, for the 360 back in the day, and that game was pretty fucking fun. Wasn't Chrome Hounds also made by FromSoft? This bitch. Sorry, respectable females. I can't say bitch. Only played AC Arena. Armored Core 4 was fucking dope. Armored Core 2 was amazing. The speed is amazing. It was? Okay. Sag was it Sega the Publisher? Chrome Hounds was sick. My favorite AC has got to be AC Unity. I'm gonna... I don't know what to say to you. That's like... That's fucked up. We're sitting here talking about a good game like Armored Core. Like, I love Assassin's Creed Unity. Holy shit, I should... I. That's like pointing down to me. Like, that's ban-worthy. That's my version of pointing down. Once you do it and you're getting that ass banned. Okay. See, so I gotta, I gotta take care of the nub. Didn't really look at the cover. Were you born early enough to try out the old space sims like Wing Commander or Free Space? I remember I had a joystick. Sif, what are you doing? You, you drink too fast. You okay? Come here. You, you need to calm down with that. You get too excited. Hey, who's a good Who's a good pup? Alright. What's going on, Midget Athlete? Uh, anyways, I had a joystick and I played some... I don't know if it was XCOM, but I, I feel like there was some game with a name similar to XCOM that I played for the PC way back in the fucking day with like an old school joystick. Um, as well as... What the fuck else did I play? There were some weird ass games that I indulged in as a child. Nice ass. I mean, fish tank? Hey, thanks. X-Wing? I played one of those Star Wars games where you had to... I think you were a spaceship going through the little exhaust pipe of the Death Star, and it was really fucking annoying. I hated that game. X was a series. Have you ever considered playing the FromSoft game Steel Battalion? Doesn't that thing require, like, a ridiculous controller? Yeah, the one with the super big dick controller. No, probably not. I heard that it was just the only really appealing thing about that was the gimmick of the controller and the game itself wasn't all that great. It would be... It feels like I would be better off trying other things. Holy shit. Hello, King. At the wagging tail going by. Yeah, that's Sif. It's, it's too hot in here. Alrighty, so I think I might have the wrong piece right here. Let me look a little bit closer at it. No, this is the right piece. This attaches really weird. We're making the chest right now. Here, let me I feel like I'm not doing a good job of having the camera on the parts. Remember, I don't I don't if I fuck something up if the camera's all fucky and you can't say you can't see shit, just yell at me. Jump in the fish tank. I don't want them to die. My fish are my, my fucking boys. Ooh. I guess I got Fat Princess, too. They're rather lethargic tonight. Just relaxing. I don't even know where Fat Princess is. But Gobbler's just chilling in the corner. I don't know if you can see him. One expensive looking fish tank. It wasn't that bad. But it it was more expensive than I expected it to be. I like it though. It's one of the things that calms me down. Like if I'm having a bad day I can look at the fish tank and it's got this soothing, relaxing effect. Ooh. There she is. Who's that fat fucking princess? It says G141 and 40 now. It's fun having three people making cells for changing shields or weapons, ETC. Small price to pay for comfort. I mean, there are a lot of things in life more important than comfort. Like 
being comfortable for an extended period of time might even be a bad thing. I think if you want to, and th this is a laugh riot coming from me, I know. Like, this is this is one of those things I'm about to say where it's a say it, or do as I say, not as I do, where you don't want to get so comfortable that you're complacent. Then you stop growing as a human being. You stop thinking of new ideas. You stop trying new things. And that's, that's not good. You should be uncomfortable some of the time. Because then you, you have no stimuli that encourage you to grow. And broaden your horizons as a person. You have a favorite Gundam era series? I don't really watch the shows. The only one I ever watched was Double O. So I guess like by default... I have to say that. I'm more of just into the building experience. How I feel about these Virginia Protective streams? Chill and relaxing. I hate chill and relaxing, though. I want people to be, like, excited. I want to galvanize the populace. But I'm not very good at doing that. <laughs> not very good at getting people excited, unfortunately. I'm more, I'm more ambient than PCP. Bob, what are you going to do? That's just life. So let me this way. Is this how this fucking goes? No. Sometimes these instructions piss me off. I see Tolo hands. Yeah, they're fucking ugly and nasty hands. Look at these fucking things. They're, they're gross. These are these are the manlet hands. The hands that never do any manual physical labor, according to chat. The soy boy hands. The beta cuckold hands. The worthless specimen digits. You're a communist revolutionary. I don't think so. Cos communism is funny to me. I almost said cosunism, like it's fucking bloodborne or some shit. Not necessarily because of the ideas. It's because like the most ridiculous people in the world subscribe to the idea of communism on the internet. If there's so many people I could show you who have at one point identified as communists who are just like batshit fucking insane. Um, so, it would, it would be, it would, it would be pretty shitty to, uh, be a, a sane communist, I guess. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, I'm talking about, like, Ahuvia or whatever the fuck that person's name is, and then some other interesting individuals on the internet have been self-proclaimed communists. See, these are the same sorts of people who probably ne don't even have an idea what communism actually is. Is, but no, that's just it's a minor setback. Wrist looks a little yellow. Did you recently recover from a bruise? I don't know why people keep saying that. I did have a bruise on, I don't know what you're talking about, but right here on this side of my hand that I'm touching right now, I did have a bruise a while back. Fucking banged it into something and it hurt for a bit, but I don't, I can't see it in real life, so I think it's camera magic. Like, it might be the camera settings. I have... I, I experiment with the camera settings, so maybe it's, like, the saturation or the the sharpness makes it look a little too yellow or something. I'm not I'm not very good at the whole uh, production value thing, so you'll have to forgive me. Because um, I think the saturation looks the makes the fish tank look a lot nicer. So I choose to have it a little bit higher than I probably should because the main... The, 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 let's be real. The main focus is the, the fish tank. Like, that's the main visual appeal of this sort of stream. So I typically have the settings to where the fish tank will look as nice as possible. Okay. So let me get this shit. Oh, I just almost knocked that down. That would have been bad. Alright. What's going on, Khan and Bloodluster? You to do laundry, do it. Sorry, you got a ding, dude. Nah, it's all good. I'm not. I'm. At least I don't have tooth pain. That's the worst kind of fucking pain. So, take. I want everyone to take a moment. Go ahead, and just be grateful that your teeth don't hurt right now. Unless your teeth hurt. In which case, sucks to be you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. 
But that has got to be, like, one of the worst types of pain for me, is having your teeth uh, just aching all the time. Remember when I had braces for, like, fucking four years because my teeth were really messed up? They'd be hurting all the time, and it just... Thank God. I need to go to the dentist, by the way. It's been too long. Okay. Watch the stream too often. I gotta tell you about the vulgarity aside. You make some real wise commentary on shit. I respect a lot of what you seem to stand for. Well, I appreciate that. That means a lot to me. Um, sometimes I feel like... It, it, it's inevitable that as someone who does content on the internet, the majority of people are gonna see you as like some retarded, bumbling fucking con. And to be fair, I am. I'm not a particularly intelligent human being, but it... Sometimes it, it really does feel like you're just a fucking clown sitting there, like, juggling, and that the people are laughing uh, at you rather than with you a lot of the time. So when people say things like that, it does make me feel good. Please bloat my ego more. My, please give me even more unwarranted self-importance. Four years of braces? Oh, yeah. My teeth were fucked up. I look straight British. Um, like, my, my front... My two front teeth, like splayed outward um I don't I don't mean to be disrespectful when I say this uh but the best way I can describe it is if you've ever seen I'm a cutie pie it was a significantly worse version of the way his front teeth are um I used to get made fun of all the fucking time for it and it sucks so much shit my parents wouldn't get me braces um I would ask him and ask him all the fucking time and I didn't get them until I was 18 years of age so by that time, my teeth had settled to the point where it took a lot longer to get them, you know, remediated than uh, it would have been if I had it happened younger in life. What the fuck is going on downstairs right now? Fucking dumb and dumber. Okay. It, was, and it didn't help that I also broke the fucking braces a lot because I would eat whatever the hell I wanted. <laughs> I'll admit there was some, there was some personal culpability there. Cause I'm stubborn. I'm not gonna stop eating steak because I have fucking braces. Hell no. Your teeth still move back? No, my teeth are fine now. Uh, the only problem is that I drink too much tea and so they're stained. So I need to get them cleaned. It's been like five years since I've had my teeth cleaned, so... This is the box for the completed project. Alright, let me just go back up on chat make sure I didn't miss shit. What's going on, Osri the Witch? Tooth pain sucks. I had to get a molar removed because there's so much pain. Mm. Bone pain and genital pain are up there. Oh, come on. Genital pain is hot. You don't want someone to sit there and, and that fucking crunch your nuggets. Still doesn't feel, I mean, it's not that important for some people. Like, that's one thing I really respect about that guy is he doesn't give a fuck. Like, people, people will sit there and say that he, his name is I'm a cutie pie. Oh, and he's he's got long on hair. He's got he's got teeth that aren't straight. And like I respect having confidence like that. Like I really do. Um, I wish I had that level of confidence. <laughs> that, that's something very admirable to me. Okay, I'm gonna have to tap out from that. All right, take it easy. What's going on, Goof Man? My teeth move. Still, mine don't. You haven't been to the dentist in five years? No. No, no, I have not. I didn't take care of my teeth. I brush and floss, but I haven't been to the dentist. Like, my teeth don't hurt or anything. But I need to get them cleaned, you know? See, years of tea drinking is no good. Keep in mind, another another thing is... Well, actually, no, I won't say that. I'll, I'll keep that one to myself. think this is right? Let me check. Yeah, that looks fine. Um, God damn. Alright, I'll worry about this in a second. I need to make the, the opposite end. Actually, no, that's a bad idea. 18 and never been to a dentist? What the fuck? I'm going to the dentist in a few weeks, hopefully no cavities. How the hell do you not go to the dentist in 18 years? You, you gotta be fucking with me. Like, is this one of these epic memes I've been told about by all, all of the... the chillins? <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. Teeth are fine? Well, okay. 
I'm not saying this is necessarily the case with you, but you might have teeth like my dad, where his teeth were fucked up. But he didn't really have a particularly high... Uh, no, no, he didn't... He, he His pain threshold was very high for teeth. Like, his, his teeth could be all fucked up, and he didn't really uh, experience too much pain. So maybe you're that way. It would probably be good to get them checked up, even if you don't think anything is wrong with them. Just like my opinion, man. Because that's one thing you really don't want to take for granted are your fucking teeth. Like, I see I see some people, even my age, who are, like, losing teeth and shit, and it's so sad. Like, I'm not, I'm not even saying that in, like, a, a method of trying to be condescending. But I, some people just can't fucking afford dental in America, and it's terrible, and it's just... fucked up. Okay, I'm done. Let me put this on. There we go. Alright, so we got the body. The framework for the body. See, if you if you were so inclined, you could make all of the uh, the skeleton for the mech, all this gray shit, the frame, and just attach that and not put any of the armor pieces on and have like a functional standing skeleton with a real grade model. If that's your sort of thing. Mm. Alright. Alright. My grandpa is really good about brushing his teeth. That's good. Old people seem to care less and less as they get older. I'm at the bottom of the fucking barrel of the press. I really brush my teeth, and I know I'm going to... You need to brush your fucking teeth, homie. You need to brush your goddamn teeth. That shit's important. Because one of these things... One of these days, you're going you're gonna to get out of that shit, and you're going to... Yeah, I'm ready to fuck the world, but then you're going to have to unfuck your teeth. Brush your goddamn teeth. Fuck. So, this piece I have is not firmly in, and so I have to try to... Oh, wow. Okay. The cat is outside, and Sif has taken note of it. Like, if you... I don't know how, how well my microphone picks up noises like that, but you can hear my cat thump, Sonichu thumping around from time to time, and Sif always wakes up when she hears it. Shrimpathy? Oh no, Shrimpathy's dead. Shrimpathy did not make it. Okay. It's unfortunate, but I don't think I'm going to uh, attempt doing invertebrates in my fish tank again unless it's something really simple. I really was stupid to try with a vampire shrimp as my first invertebrate in the tank. What's going on, sausage? My feet. And when their right mind calls their cat Sonichu. Her real name is Sage. But I call her Sonichu because I'm I'm a fucking asshole. Like I'm just a retard. So Did you get eaten? No. Just uh he did not adjust to the tank properly. The tank was too dirty or something, I guess. Okay. Which is a shame, because I really like that boy. I think it might have been my fault, too. I think I might have, like, in my attempts to look for him frequently, uh, moving things in the tank around might have stressed him out and contributed. So, what model are you building? I am building the real grade tall geese. Eel in the fish? Yeah, he died too. I've been having really bad luck with my fucking fish lately. I have. It's not been a good year for fish. Uh, the eel lived for half a year, but he he went to. I don't know why. I don't. I think the eel in particular was just strange because he didn't eat much. Like I never saw him eat. And I had another fish like that, just a golden a golden garami. When I first got the fish tank. So what fat princess is but golden and significantly smaller? And motherfucker never ate, or if he did, I never saw it. And he lived for a while, but eventually I guess just became malnourished or something. Like I try and it's not for lack of trying either. I, it's not like I feed them only flake food. I feed them algae pellets, I have brine shrimp, I have sinking granules, I have blood worms frozen and dried blood worms and so I have a wide variety of food for these motherfuckers to eat but I could not get the eel to eat worth a shit 
Like, it just it just sucks because it feels like maybe maybe this is me being like the the DSP of fish tank enthusiasts, but sometimes it really does feel like there's nothing you can fucking do, and despite your best efforts, shit just dies. It's not a particularly good feeling, I gotta say. Okay. Alrighty. Ordered the Gundam Floros or Bail for my stream? Nice. Do you have leeches in the fish tank? No? <laughs> That'd be a fucking scary thing to have. I actually have heard stories of people ordering plants, and there's like dragonfly larvae, which I didn't know uh, this about dragonflies, but they're apparently completely aquatic. So you basically have these like underwater wingless dragonflies fraternizing with your fish, and I saw a video, and it honestly looks pretty fucking terrifying. Um, I hope I never get dragonflies in my tank. They look nasty as hell, and eventually they become adult dragonflies, and they swim out of your fucking fish tank, and you just got dragonflies in your room. Can you imagine? It'd be terrible. It'd be god-awful. They antagonize the fish? I mean, they're voracious, and they eat all the food. So food competition is a thing. Man, fucking dra fuck dragonflies. I used to like dragonflies until I found out about that. I guess it's better than getting, like, mosquito larvae, although the fish would probably eat mosquitoes. So maybe that would be a good thing. I know one of, I've heard one of the more effective ways of controlling a, a rampant mosquito population is to have, like, an outdoor pond with fish, and they'll eat all of the mosquito larvae. Like, because mosquitoes have to breed and like lay it in the in the water and so since water attracts mosquitoes if you have fish out there it helps koi are easy not sure about catfish i would like a koi pond but i wouldn't i don't think i'd be able to with the amount of dogs we have it would also be a huge fucking uh, undertaking too all right During summer in South Korea, there are parts where so many dragonflies are flying around that every time you move, you bump into them. That sounds terrible. Up time about two and a half hours. Makes sense, though. I always flung water at them in the pool, and the bitches never seem to give a fuck. Is this the Fable Gundam stream? Yeah, this is the third Gundam stream. What's good, Dongo? How are you, degenerate? issues here. There we go. This way? That attaches in such a strange manner though. I don't like it. Total was antibody. Yeah, I don't I don't like having a uh, a robot in here personally. It's harder for me during this type of stream and honestly it's been harder overall lately. But I try to answer everything in chat if I can and if not the mods usually pick up my slack. Three already. We're blessed. Well, it's going to be a long time. Uh, there's going to be a long gap in between this and the next one. Hmm. But I'll never forget. I developed an affinity for catfish because we went fishing in Arkansas one time. And the place we were fishing had, like, at least three water moccasins visible out in the, in the water at all times. It was a really scary place to fish. But we said, fuck it. Because what, what the hell else are we going to do? In Arkansas, right? Um, <laughs> so, we were fishing. I caught... I, I I was just catching little baby fish, right? A little baby sunfish or whatever the fuck. And I wanted to get a bigger fish. So I took an entire fucking earthworm and I, like, got it on and, like, stabbed it and impaled it multiple times with a big-ass hook trying to catch a bigger fish in this little-ass pond. And so, I finally got a bite. It took longer to get a bite with a worm that big, funnily enough, but I finally got it, and I reeled the motherfucker in, and it was a uh, it was a very, 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 very small baby catfish who had eaten the entire goddamn worm. Literally bit bit off more than he could probably chew. Um, the fucker was maybe like three inches long. I don't know how he consumed that worm. I really don't, but he was adorable. He was like the cutest fucking fish I ever caught. Let him go. And we'll probably got eaten by like a water moccasin or some shit, but it's pretty cute. Fishing a cool experience. I like it. What's going on? Dizzible? 
Disribble? I can't, I can't read that far. I'm like, I'm fucking blind as a bat. I'm sorry. I can't tell if there's an R in there or not. Um, but yeah, I like fishing. You probably wouldn't think that I would, considering I have an aquarium, but it's different when they're not my fish. As fucked up as that is to say. Like, with my fish, I, I care about my fish because I'm their, I'm their caretaker, you know? They live and die by my hand. Um, and it's my job to do the best I can to let them live healthy lives. So, if it's just a random fish out in the, in the lake, then it's not the same thing. Okay, well, we're making progress on the chest, if you can see. We've got some of the front plates on. Hello, hardcore. I like fishing in games. Oh, me too. I love Animal Crossing fishing. That shit is digital crack for me. Sometimes I'll take my sister's uh, shit on the plane and just fish for stuff in Animal Crossing on the flight. Okay. Man, I'm fucking out of it right now. I'm sorry. I need to eat. I wonder if anyone will be up to go get Whataburger. Sea salt or table salt? I like sea salt. Hello, I fly high. I'm out. Peace. All right, take it easy. My experience with fishing were hit and miss. You need good company for fishing. I would probably never fish these days because I would fish with my dad. Uh, that was something we did together. And you just, you need to do it with the right motherfucker, you know? It was like a family outing. It was family time. Um, I don't think, uh, I don't think my sister and my mom would be particularly keen on fishing. They never really liked it. They would just go and swim while me and an old man would fish. Those fish are transparent? Oh yeah, those are the glass catfish if you're looking at these right here. Those are, that's normal, that's how they look. You can even, you can even see when food is going through their digestive tract if you're particularly observant. Most of them have a little poop in them right now. They're some of my favorites. Ah, oh. <laughs> What the fuck, Noodle? Jesus Christ. That's some... I mean, fuck it. It sounded like it was an eventful fishing trip. If anyone cares enough to cremate me when I die, I want to be put in the ocean. Put my ashes in the ocean, fam. The transparent fish, they're really cool. They're... They just kind of look at you and wiggle. Like, the way they wiggle their bodies is cute to me. And whenever I get close to the tank, uh... Here. You know what, let me, let me feed these bastards. I don't think they've eaten today. So I can feed them and maybe you can get a bit of a... Uh, bit of a show. Oh. So let's see. Let me get a little bit of this. Don't want to put too much in there. Alright. I'm trying not to overfeed them because I have a habit of giving them too much. So put the little pellets in here, put them right in the front. The the two big fish love the pellets, so they'll probably come up and try nipping at them at some point. Ugh, I scared all my fish by banging the fucking lid of the tank. Ooh. All right. Anyone want their ashes to be fed to plants? Now that's fucking lame. And this is content. Yep. So I don't, I don't know how well you can see the fish tank, but they're eating right now. They're gallivanting around the tank looking for snackies. Okay. So, let's get 31. Did I cut 31 out? Yeah, here it is. Put me in the trash or something, man. I mean, wouldn't it be nice to have someone who least cared enough about you to put you away, right? Like, obviously, it's like, I'm not really gonna give a shit. I'm gonna be dead, but... Okay, I gotta get the nubs here. Hold on. Ooh. Better be a bloody rare plant, right? Like, it, it would have to be a pretty impressive plant for me to want my ashes to be used as fertilizer. 
Maybe, like, if it were a Venus flytrap or something badass. But... I don't know. I don't think uh, plants are for me. I mean, we're making good fucking progress. Look, see shit. Check this out. Like, this is what we got so far. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it in yet. Because, you know, I got, gotta do the foreplay first. But... We've almost got the chest and we've got the entire lower half. So we really just need the arms and the legs. Or uh, the arms and the head. Excuse me. I'm stupid. Nice to meet you. About one of those plants that eats balls. Or bats. Excuse me. For some reason I read that as balls. I mean, that'd be dope. I like bats, though. Bats are... Um, what, what would the anime enthusiasts say in this situation? I believe uh, Kawaii Desu Ichiban. That's a pretty sick. Violante, isn't that like a Godzilla kaiju? I'm such a fucking virgin for knowing that. Holy fuck. <laughs> that's like that's one of those things that you don't you don't uh, confess having any sort of knowledge towards because it just it makes you look like a fucking cuckold. Ugh. Do you paint them? No, I'm not a painting guy. I would suck at it. And I don't really have any place where I could paint them without getting things uh, completely fucked and filthy. See, there's, there's Gobbler, he's fucking happy. You can, you can tell that he's ready to eat. And that's how he eats. He'll, he'll sit there and just like <laughs> position himself vertically over the gravel and just snuffle for treats. Mm. Caves can give airborne. Oh, their caves can give more than that. There's so much fucking like ammonia from all the shit in there that I think you just die if you go deep enough into a bat cave. A bat cave is definitely not a place you should want to go. I'm pretty sure there's not much good to come from going in there. I'm, miss I'm missing a piece, dude. I need. I actually have a legitimate question for anyone who cares to answer. Like, I need help with something that's completely unrelated to this. Um, and thank... Hold on. I need to thank, uh... Aero Kitsune for the 500 bits. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's Fat Princess. She's cool, right? Big, fat fucking Garami. She's not mean to any of the other inhabitants, uh, of the tank, too, which is really nice. Uh, but thank you, and, uh, thanks for the football giveaway. See? Okay. So, my thing is, the chair I sit on, it's, the cushioning on one of the armrests is fucked, so I pretty much, my elbow's resting on solid, uh, metal, and it's really fucked my elbow up, like, my elbow hurts like hell. Um, so is there some sort of, like, computer elbow guard shit, like a gel computer arm guard that you can get for something like that, if it, that would work, like, is there, is there a method to combat that, because I, I think it's gonna end up, like, fucking me if I if I keep sitting like that. I don't really want to get fucked. This is a virginity protection stream. I would kind of be uh, going against the point of all of this. Alright. Bike elbow pads, flex seal, there's pitcher plants in Philippines. Oh, okay. Just put that on my shoulder. Tape one of those titties mouse pads on it. Replace the cushion. I think that would be extremely difficult with this chair. This, this is a, a strange chair, and I can't imagine replacing any part of it would be simple. But basically, I got a chair for obese people, more or less, because I don't treat my chairs very well. Uh, and I am getting obese, so I'm going to need to actually, you know. Bubble wrap your entire arm? No, that's what I'm talking about. Flex, seal, asshole, shut, take laxatives. I'm not really feeling like this advice is particularly good, guys. I don't know. I feel like some of these things might be a bad idea. Maybe it's just me. 
Also, hold on. Someone said my aquarium was nice. So I need to thank them. Give me a minute. Thank you, Angel Shapeshifter. I fucking love my aquarium. I, it's so sad. Like, I wish I was... I feel like I'm not making too much progress in being good at keeping fish. Because I, I try my ass off, honestly. Like, I... I have, like, a test kit. I do water tests. And I just... Lately, I cannot control the nitrates in my tank. Um, despite constantly changing the fucking water and, like, in introducing live plants. So that they could start uh, siphoning off some of that excess nitrate. I'm just... I don't know. Stop being a pussy? I mean, that's the thing, though. Is... Oh. If caring and putting effort into something makes you a pussy, then I, then I guess I'm straight up sopping. Ooh. Looks more alive after feeding it. Yeah, they, they love the fucking food, obviously. I'm surprised they're not going harder on the pellets. I don't think they, they see them yet. See, Fat Princess, this is what she does. As soon as there is a, uh, a feeding, she'll spend the next hour or so just looking for fucking scraps. Like, she, she cleans the tank pretty well, honestly. She does a good job. Hence the name Fat Princess. Okay. So what the fuck am I doing here? This is... Ugh. Alright. This part is finicky. Alright. Ever thought about looking into a sump tank? No, not really. What's going on, Justin... Uh, Justin Echoes? Shouldn't... Shouldn't, uh... I don't know. We'll accept you even if you are. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm glad that you can be, you could be confident in yourself. How's GDQ going, fellow gamer? Bikers in my jam. I just don't have the space. I wouldn't, I would need to move somewhere else to get an enclosure big enough to have a fucking biker. That's most likely not going to be happening anytime soon. Happy Pride Month, happy Pride Month, dude. Is Fat Princess the affectionate nickname Amanda gives you? No. I don't really get nicknames. Um, okay. So I think... Man, give me a second. Ninja Guide and Black Realm are very good. Nice. Uh, I think... I don't know if he's still there, but Dustin Echoes was supposed to go and be on, like, the couch or some shit for a GDQ run. Wondering if he's been, uh... Enjoying his experience. I watch degenerate gamers like you? Disgusting. You celebrate gay pride for a whole month? I mean, per me, personally, do I put up any flags or anything? No, but I, I mean, fuck it. Nothing wrong with Pride Month. Ugh. Fuck me, I can't get this piece going in. Okay, I'm gonna have to, like, reevaluate how I put this together because something's not fitting right. What on God's green earth am I doing here? Why the fuck is it being so finicky right now? Okay, I just made guac? Nice. Alright. How big is your tank? 36 gallons. It's a bowhead. I believe the manufacturer is Aquion. If I'm not entirely mistaken. I don't think I like the bowhead tank, honestly. Like, it's it's neat, but I, I probably at this point would prefer... Like a regular square tank. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it'd be something different. The Halo 2 run wasn't too cringy. Noodle Slayer. Yo, can you link me or run? I want to see what you look like in your commentary, Dustin. I want to check that shit out. I'm curious. I want to sit there and silently judge you. What the fuck? Why? This is... This is fucking retarded. Alright. 
Need to take a second. Uh, so, anyone got any dope ass plans for the weekend? Anyone gonna go out and crush the pink? Gonna do some drugs, maybe? Gonna get into some fucking bar fights? Talk to me. I'm working and shit? Damn. My birthday is on Sunday? Nice. You doing anything for your birthday? Uh, girlfriend gonna take you out to your favorite restaurant and buy you the most expensive steak imaginable? Be like, I love you, baby. Here's a tomahawk ribeye. Hey, thank you for the six month resub into face 98 for stupid rats. Okay, but rats aren't stupid. Come on, into face. Thank you very much, but the rats are not stupid. Butterfly crabs to your tank. Eh, maybe. The thing is, I don't know how to get. That sort of shit without ordering it online. Like, we have a very limited amount of places I can get something exotic where I live. Okay. I'm gonna fire up the grill and gorge on some burgers and hot dogs. Sounds dope. Birthday is today? I'm going to work toward tomorrow. Do you need a birthday song then? Then to beat Mountain Blade Warband? Are you a skilled alchemist? No. And go to Comic Con. I mean, that's dope. Snake injured herself doing some hood rat shit and they're constantly worried about her. Oh, that fucking sucks. Hopefully, she has a swift recovery. Dying of some kind of bubonic plague this past couple of days. So probably just hang with your rats. Oh, we're clean rats, though. We're not stinky rats. Which fist? Is, no, 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 no. We're we're making uh, this to prove to. To keep our chastity. There's no chastity fish. Gonna be a mermaid for a kid's party? That's fucking dope. I wish I could be a mermaid for a kid's party. You think I would be on a, on a list of fucked up individuals if I dressed up as a mermaid in public? That's what's up. Yes? Oh. Kidding me? And I, That's disgusting. It's hot as fuck. I like England for the weather. God damn it. How hot is it? Tell me how hot it is so I can gatekeep you and tell you it's not really hot. It's hotter in fucking Texas. What the fuck are you doing? I know you're I know you're acclimated to a colder climate, but you you shouldn't be complaining about this heat, even though it's far above what you're used to. Let me gatekeep you. It'll be fun. Show fingernail no, I bite my fingernails. I don't like doing that. How do you plan on beat Mountain Blade? I would consider beating the game to be conquering everything. Personally, oh my god, I finally fucking got it. Holy shit. At least I think I did. It's not wanting to stay. I'm, I'm so afraid I'm gonna break it right here. God damn it. It's so close. It's completely connected on this side, but this part's being finicky. It's been 30s for a week. I only know freedom units. Sorry. Tolo, have anything he's gonna do? No, tomorrow I don't stream, so I'm just gonna fucking chill out and eat a bunch of fucking food. I, I live a pretty mundane existence, as you can. My my life is very similar to my streams, and that there's it's just mundane, you know, just hanging out, not doing anything particularly exciting, just just existing, you know. I'm also offended that Empty Perspective doesn't want a song. Whenever whenever someone says they don't want a song, I feel like they're personally attacking me and my singing ability, or lack thereof. 86 degrees Fahrenheit, gosh, that is pretty fucking hot. I I personally, despite living in Texas, I'm uncomfortable with anything over, like, 70 degrees. Like I, can, I can obviously tolerate it, but if I, if I had a choice, it would be 40, 50 freedom degrees is my ideal. My birthday was three days ago, I didn't get my song, I'm sorry. Is your life like a fish tank? No, fish tanks are vibrant and exciting. Heard of the Baldi's game? That's what I'm playing Sunday, I think, Shay. But when you become God King, remember there are modules that are pretty neat. 65 degrees every day, like snow and cold winter. What do you do outside of streaming? Not fucking much. I'm just a dude who hangs out with my dog, my, my family, you know? I don't really do a whole hell of a lot these days. I'm just, like I said, I'm just relaxing. Just existing, you know? 
actually fucking got it. God damn. That song's so tight, I'm afraid it's gonna snap, though. Believe we did it. We've got the body now. There's just one last part we gotta put on the back end. This little cockpit hole. Alright. It's gonna be 90 in the Bay Area tomorrow. I need 50, 60 freedom units. Well, since everyone asked how hot it is here, yesterday was 100 degrees, today is 99, tomorrow's 100, the day after is 100, and the I think the day after that is 99 again. So almost an entire fucking week of triple digits. Uh, gotta say, I'm not a big fan. This shit is absolutely unacceptable. I do his work, game and exists. It's a nice fish tank. Hey, thank you, Jimbo. Glad you like it. it. It doesn't look as great these days because... Excuse me. Uh, I replaced all of the big-ass fake plants with live plants. So, to wait for the live plants to grow. Um, and right now they're all babies, so it's a long process. Thought about not living in Texas. I like Texas except for the heat, though. That's the thing. I don't dislike Texas. The part I live in is actually fairly nice. Okay, this is what we got so far. Here, let me put it right aboot here. Let me let me stand you up, you little bastard. It's Texas for you. Yup, yup. I can't wait till August. Let's build a city in the desert. Does Texas get all four seasons? Yeah. Usually. It's pretty fucking, believe it or not, it's pretty fucking cold during the winter a lot of the time. It goes below freezing most years. Um, at least where I am. And there's a definite fall. There's definite, like, spring in Texas is constant uh, thunderstorms. Like Dairy Queen? Not really. Are the DBZ models? Probably not. Just taking a second. Don't mind me. Okay, we'll do the head last. You gotta do the head last. So some places get more. That's true. There's some places like El Paso. I can't imagine it gets a whole lot of fucking winter. Although maybe it does. Um, so Texas is a is bigger than some countries. So the weather can vary. Like, I live in a, a particularly lush part of Texas where there's a lot of trees, a lot of rain. Um, not all places have that here. Fuck me. Can you come out? Get less than an inch of snow in EP Dubai. Must be so fucking dusty all the time. He has really long legs. Yup, yup. Most Gundams do. They have a fairly short torso. Really long legs. That's just the design, I guess. That's just how it is. Also, I don't know how well you can see, but fucking Gobbler's over here in the corner. Chilling out. And Fat Princess is gonna go bother him. My fish are a bunch of fucking retards. Take after me quite well. Couldn't live somewhere without mountains. I think I'd be in shock and awe from seeing a horizon. That's how I feel in L.A. Like, that's one thing I really like about L.A. is the mountains are really nice. And I'm, I'm just like, what the fuck? Mountains? Huh? <laughs> it's just unusual to me. Oh, God. Okay, so what the fuck am I doing here? What the fuck? Hold on. This part is fucking dumb. Okay, apparently I gotta take this part out. Jesus Christ. Okay, give me a second, I'm sorry. This is where I need to pay attention because it's easy to fuck up. How far in are you? I finished the chest and the legs. What's going on, Moscow? We're doing a model building right now. How are you? We're building the Sasha Gray currently. It's 
pretty good. It's pretty good. Is that right? Did I fuck it up? No, that part's right. So now I just have to clip this on, I guess. There we go. You gotta bend it right to get the frame of an arm. It's annoying because the instructions aren't always super precise. Also, those mountain homes are very prone to mudslides or fires as of late. They're so pretty, though. I live in a valley and love seeing mountains all around. I really like mountains. I just, I'm not sure about the, uh, all of the droughts and shit in L.A. One of the things about L.A. that bothers me on a spiritual level is that the river is always fucking empty. Like, it's the most depressing river I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. <laughs> it's so sad. I went there once when it rained in L.A. and it was... It actually had water in it and it was pretty cool looking, but it's just such a shit river. Is that questionable liquid in that mug? That's tea. Speaking of which, I might go to Whataburger after this and get me some, uh... Some Whataburger tea that actually has ice in it and get a nice-ass fucking burger. That sounds lit. Is a pink dragon girl inside of that robot? No. I don't believe so. They aren't so pretty when they're on fire? I mean, that's pretty, too, in a fucked up kind of way. Like, don't don't get me wrong. It's it's terrible that they catch on fire and it affects people's lives. I'm not, I'm not saying uh, anything contrary to that. But the fire itself is kind of pretty in a way, you know? Or am I just fucked up? Maybe I'm just a piece of shit. I'm probably just a piece of shit. Big Bear is dope, though. Nice thing about LA. Some parts of the year you can go snowboarding and surfing on the same day. That is pretty cool. As long as Whataburger open for 24 hours. Go bother Russ. Russ lives too far away for me to bother. Like, we live close for internet people, but that doesn't mean we're actually really all that close. Evacuating from fires blows. Oh, I can only imagine. It would be terrible. Like, fires are fucked up for anyone who's near them. Like, I, I can't imagine how it must be to be in Hawaii and, like, some people have lost their houses to fucking lava of all things. Like, can you... Just imagine waking up one day and you've got to evacuate fucking lava. That's fucked. That's no good at all. Gotta get this on farther, my dude. Oh, thank you for the $10 donation, Noodle Slayer. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Is it internet close or Texas, Texas rural countryside close? It's about an hour, maybe. There's going to be a Texas streamer house with Tolo, Russ, and Amaz. I don't think I could live with Amaz. I really don't. Like, I think I think I would just... I, I, I just don't know. I don't think I could live every day with Amaz. Like, I like Amaz, don't get me wrong, but holy shit. Okay. Like, just imagine having to smell his fucking peaches and Thousand Island sauce pizza in the hallway. Is Russ actually going to be moving close to you when he moves out of the ghetto? I don't fucking know. I don't talk to him about that sort of shit. <laughs> Not a good friend. I'm not joking when I say that I'm a dog shit friend, by the way. That's not me being, like, fake humble or a meme or whatever the fuck. Like, I'm... I don't usually ask people things unless they bring it up. Unless it's important. I'm not a particularly skilled conversationalist. Anyone who has uh, been my friend for any period of time will probably tell you that. Like, one of my my things... What's going on, Bootfrack? How are you? I'm completely comfortable in silence. Other people find silence to be awkward and uneasy. I can sit there and just have nothing being said, and that is 100% fine and okay with me. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Russ in the ghetto. What's going on, Tank? So, how the fuck am I supposed to get this bad bitch on? Hold on, I think I got it. 
think I have to cut a little bit of the nub. I'm sorry, I know, I know a lot of this shit is happening off the camera, but I, I really have to see and be careful with what's going on right now, or I'll fuck it up. Okay, see, part of the thing that sucks about this is the little frame for the arms will have, like, extra shit that looks like it could be a part of the frame, but you don't know if it actually is or not, so it's like, do I cut this off? Do I try to fit it? I don't fucking know. What do I do? And that's kind of where I'm at right now. So now I need A17. One of my favorite things to do with a friend is sit together in silence is occasionally show pictures and memes and shit to each other. Are we ever going to play Monster in a World Just the Two of Us? No, probably not. I don't usually play Monster in a World and I don't usually play with just one person either. Sorry. Maybe one day, I don't know. Model looks like a human lower body combined with a dog head. That's fucking dope. Hello, Lex Brofist. Ever accidentally snipped or- Oh, yeah. When I first started this shit, I had so many fucking disasters. Like, goddamn. One of my favorites is I fit- My first Master Grade was the Epian from, uh, Gundam Wing, if you've ever watched that shit. So, here's the cool thing about what I did. I did something epic. You guys are gonna love this shit. So I finished the model with no incidents whatsoever, and it was my first model of that difficulty level. So, I cut the- I don't know what it's called, like, the, the hilt of the sword wrong. Like, I cut it in half accidentally because I wasn't paying attention. So I fucked the sword. Uh, he can't use the sword. Like, even with glue and shit, it just, it's irreparably fucked, pretty much. So that big-ass sword, one of the biggest appealing parts of that mech, I just fucking, like, cut it and, and ruined it. It was pretty dope, if I do say so myself. Like, I have a talent for fucking things up. I, I have the ability to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory on a level that many people don't understand. No glue. Glue wouldn't work. The way it was severed is glue would not be... Even if you glued it together, it would not support the weight of the blade. Because I certainly tried. Some strong-ass fucking glue. Hello, Oak and Heath. Real plants look great in your tank. Well, thank you. I'm not I'm not a big fan of them yet because they're young, but they do look nicer. What is there does look nicer, but there's just not enough volume for me yet. Uh, one day. One day, hopefully, they'll grow. Although, I, like I said, I have a talent for fucking things up, so I'll probably just kill all the plants instead. <laughs> like, that's, that's me as fuck. I'm not particularly optimistic these days about that sort of thing. Alright. Nice new headers you got there. Thank you. You, like, actually use them anyways? I mean, you want to pose them and shit. You want to give them, like, badass battle positions and whatnot, right? Like, it's not like you're using it as a fucking toy, but you want to be able to pose it with a big-ass sword so it looks dope. Okay. Make me want to get into Gundam building. It's pretty fun. We have a, uh, a Gundam section in the Discord now, if you're into that sort of shit. It's not particularly popping. There aren't a whole lot of people who use it, but it is there if anyone wants to check it out. I'm fucking file these nubs down because it's not fitting properly. I almost tried to... Yeah, those are the glass catfish. Those... Uh, those motherfuckers are see-through. You can you can see them their shit as it's passing through their body. It's pretty amazing. Is that tea in the mason jar? Yes. Is there a final Gundam you want to build? I mean, no, not really. They go slow and do not use much nitrates and such. Wait, what's going on? Java for no. There's more than that. There's like uh, there's horn uh, not horn war. There's money war. There's Java moss. And there's various different types of, like, Sword and Anubius in there. Like, I got, I got ones that are supposed to be durable. 
like that's why there are a lot of Anubias and there are Java Fern as well, but there's other stuff is is supposed to grow quicker. Like particularly the the money war the creeping jenny is supposed to be pretty quickly growing. Um I've already I've already managed to propagate one or two of them, but it's still just the ones that I caught were are not growing particularly quickly. What's going on, Scarecrow? List of fish and aquarium specs under the stream. Well, this is an infrequent enough occurrence that it's not really a big deal. And honestly, the shit under the stream is so infrequently looked at that I don't really... I don't know. I feel like more often you would get someone coming in asking, like reading that and being like, Where the fuck are the fish? Put the fish on now, you know? Then uh, you, you would get benefit out of just having that for this stream. Because usually I don't have the cameras and shit set up because my fucking motherboard is USB 3 and apparently that means that with the way I have it set up there's only a finite amount of USB devices so I actually I can't have my keyboard and some other shit plugged in to the computer while using these webcams because of the bandwidth of the USB apparently. Um, I tried fixing it to no avail but maybe I'm just a retard. Like I even ordered a USB splitter and it just mm -mm, no good. When are you planning on building Legos? I don't know. He's more than halfway done, I think, so. Do you own any guns? No, I don't like guns. Guns scare me. I'd be really afraid that, like, my sister would get into, uh, League of Legends and then get, like, lose a game, have, like, a Trindamir med or something, and then just shoot me. You know? You never know when, you're, when your siblings are going to, uh, engage in League. No idea what you just said. Yeah, I'm pretty retarded. Usually I just... Sometimes I, I make word salad. It's normal. People just learn to tune it out. And I say so many fucked up and ridiculous and incomprehensible things that I think people just get used to it and they just don't even realize it's happening after a certain point. Because my voice is so calming and it doesn't matter what I'm saying as long as I'm talking, right? Cut this, cut this. We're doing the shoulder joint right now, in case you're curious as to what the fuck is happening. What Gundam should I start off with? Find one you like. Find one that you enjoy, and then just, uh, you, 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 you're like, man, that shit looks dope. I want to build that. There you go. That's it. the first one you got. Okay, so what the fuck? Am I high? Also, hello, Zig Luke. How are you doing, fellow gamer? I hope you're doing well. So this is what we got. At the little ass arm. Also mildly fucked up. Truer words have never been spoken. I could think of a couple words that I could apply to you that would be truer, but I'll be nice. I will be polite. How will you defend yourselves against home invaders? I have a fucking big ass metal bat. Like I'm basically, it pisses me off because I have that metal bat from a long time ago. And now CWC apparently, uh, <laughs> CWC apparently just carries around this fucking bat in their backpack in case like any trolls accost uh, CWC. Oh look, the Cory Catfish is out. Um. I need to get at least two more. I need to go to PetSmart tomorrow and get two more. I think the tank has recovered to the point where I can get two more. Hello, Hippo Stabber. Find your channel from your DSP interaction. That's kind of unfortunate, but mistakes into miracles, right? Like that picture of SpongeBob and, and Sandy, and she's pregnant. It's got like the background of 9-11. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. See little Sif here? That's kind of weird because she's laying down right now. Dude, I did all of the side tech content in God of War. Well, actually, that's not true. I did all the side bosses on Magalu. Okay. Which is what matters. Did I hear that right? Yeah. There's an image that's... I don't know how many people uh, remember it in my Discord, but there, like someone made a fucked up like pregnancy fantasy fetishes shit uh, on DeviantArt of Sandy Cheeks and Spongebob, and they're like holding uh, her Sandy Cheeks' baby bump. And the caption is Mistakes into Miracles with, like, the background of the Twin Towers. And it's a fucked up image, 
that I really shouldn't laugh at, but it's just like, how can someone be so socially unaware that they make this image and consider it to be a good idea? It's just, like, the fact that people can make something like that and upload it will never cease to amaze me. Hello, Hippo Stabber. Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm out of it. Thank you for the bits. I got my automated fucking responses mixed up. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I appreciate it, though. Thank you very much. Um, it's interesting to me how many people are, are chilling here who came from DSP's chat, though. It, it was an interesting time period, to say the least. Playing with fucking fire, but, you know, I only got a little bit burned. Alrighty. I need validation. I think that's literally a meme. I don't know. If it is a meme, it's not particularly funny. Oh, It's not worth it for the meme. Well, that's the thing. Like, the meme never materialized. Like, nothing, nothing ever fucking came of it. It was just stupid shit. You know? It's just like a whole lot of fucking wasted effort. Okay. Other DSP wings got to... Oh, really? I don't keep up with wings very much. I don't really keep up with DSP very much anymore either. Um, I really don't know a whole lot about wings in general. It's one of the, uh, I, I guess for lack of a more suitable term, wall cows that I never really got into. I don't. I think it might be because of the southern accent. <laughs> southern accents are just. I don't know. It's, it's ironic coming from someone who is Texan, but that happened to your shrimp. I'm not sure. I wish. I wish I had the ability to tell you. I think it might have been a combination of water parameters and stress. I don't enough toxic masculinity to beat the Valkyries in God of War. God, there's a meme I want to talk about, but I don't know if it's... Oh, man. I probably shouldn't say anything, but I'm tempted. My, the, toxi the toxic individual in me is sorely tempted to talk about something kind of funny. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Illegal meme. Yup, illegal meme. Is this a Gundam? Yeah, let me show you the box really quick in case you didn't see it. Uh, we're building the tall geese. So that's what he'll look like roughly when he's completed. As you can see right here, we've got the body and the legs. We're working on the uh, uh, right arm right now. So. My dream is for Mr. Tolo to stop by my stream one day and tell me how shit it is. I don't think I've ever referred to anyone's stream as dog shit to their face. Um... Personally, for me, this is going to sound lame, but I feel like uh, if you are going to insult someone and you have to insult their work rather than their own person, then you probably shouldn't be insulting them. That's kind of below the belt for me, I guess. Um, like, if I were to just shit talk someone, I would not go that route, you know? Because it's just... I feel like insulting someone's work that they put effort into and try to make good is fucked up and unusually cruel. Um, but that's just me. Like, I'll, I'll insult a myriad of other things, but not usually that unless I have a particularly large disdain for the person. Like, I would say that about, like, Craddock. Uh, but aside from that, there, there's still things that I would, I would resort to before bringing that card out, you know? Because my, my stream fucking shitty. Like, I... I <laughs> look at this shit! I, I, I barely know how to operate cameras and lighting. It's scuffed as hell. Honor when insulting someone? Yeah, like, I, you don't want to be a complete reprehensible piece of shit. Like, I just... Basically, the thing is, if you're going to insult someone and you have to stoop to that level, I really just don't think there's a reason you need to be insulting them, right? Like, if I really genuinely dislike someone to the point where I hate them, then I can see myself going below the belt. But, like, how many people really are deserving of that? Okay. And thank you for the sub, Fizzle Snarf. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Why not? I'm not even necessarily... Like, if you want to, Hippo Stabber, by all means. I just don't like doing it. I, I guess I have a little bit too much uh, skin in the game and that I stream. And when people say that, like, the stream that I put effort into and I work on to try to make as entertaining as possible is shit, uh, that's one of the things that someone can say to me that genuinely bothers me. 
So I don't like it when people say that about my stream. So I, why would I say that about someone else's, right? Or what? Because like I think that for me, I speak from a perspective. Or even if I'm doing something shitty, like I used to work as a security guard, uh, really dog shit job. At least the type of security guard I was, very unfulfilling and unsatisfying. But I, I try to at least you know put effort into it, right? It might be a job that people consider bottom of the barrel and not really useful, but you should you should take pride in the things you do, especially when you're profiting off of it. And I don't know, I guess I just assume people have that same sort of sense that I do. Stuff for the dog emotes, good. Internet code of honor. I think that if I'm going to insult someone, I should have a good reason for it. Um, it's one thing to, like, fuck off between friends. What, keep in mind, what I'm talking about is genuinely insulting someone. Like, if I'm actually trying to, like, attack someone. Not, not like, Discord shenanigans fucking off, like, oh, you suck at this. I mean, like, if I really genuinely have a problem with someone, that is probably not the first route I'm going to take. That's, that's pretty much all I mean. Other people disagree, and that is perfectly fine, but that's just how I am. Hello, CT. I So I fucked up, and I had to finish the construction around the ball joint. I didn't, so I have to disassemble it. Is that a Sif under the aquarium? She's over on the door. So I don't know. Nice Diet Coke. Thank you very much. That's a reflection. Your sis being lazy tonight. She's just, she's being, uh, she's being stiff, you know? Actually, hold on. Did I fuck this up again? I may have. Give me a second. God damn. I see the white, too, by the way. You might just be seeing the white of the door or the walls or something. I don't think you should be able to see Sif from here. Do you like my yaoi hands, Cite? Chassis has titty in it. True. What's going on, Puzzled Wings? How are you doing, my man? How are the wife and kids? Alright. Fuck me. How am I going to do this? Straight up fucking retarded. <laughs> Pardon my French. What kind of dog food do you feed? Right now, I have... God, what the fuck is this shit called? Ugh. Pure balance. Does light in your arms cast moving shadows? Maybe. So I had to stretch all the way over. There was a big oof, as fellow Redditors might say. God damn it. God damn it. Fuck this up really hard, holy shit. The expensive but good stuff, I'm doing good. He just kicking my ass. Oh yeah, dude, I'm right there with you. Fucking shit is terrible. It's like a hundred fucking degrees all day this week. Um, can't say I'm the biggest fan of it personally. I'm, there are some weird people, believe it or not. I've actually known people who like it when it's ridiculously fucking hot. And more, more than that, they like exercising and shit when it's ridiculously fucking hot. Like, what kind of... What kind of human being does that? Okay, so we got it here. I'm accidentally building the arm the wrong way, though. I'm supposed to be making the right arm, but I, I put it on like it was the fucking left arm. It's not a huge deal, but... That's what happened. Although, I guess I could just turn it like this. It's not a big deal at all. Oh, I hate sweating. Me too. Becoming a slime elemental. Ever heard of raw dog food? They send you nothing but raw meat. I thought about going to a butcher and getting some meat for Sif, but I don't know. Hey, thank you for the 40 bits, Blind Ashland. I want to go to Columbian Ass Camp. I'm near Dallas and I'm freezing in my house. See, I live on the second story and my air conditioning is shit. So, it's, it's fucking rough. It's not particularly fun. 
Okay, so G1 now. Total real talk, air bending, water bending, earth bending, or fire bending. Uh, I don't know what that means. I have an idea, I guess. Like, what, what are the powers of each? Can you just manipulate water? Is that what it's supposed to be? Vegan dog food? Dogs are not supposed to be vegans. Um, I don't... I can't say I know for sure how healthy all of this shit is, but the first thing that comes to mind is when that lady killed her cat by feeding it, like, a vegan diet or some shit. And dogs are not supposed to be vegan. Like, if you want to be vegan, if you want to subject yourself to that, and, you know, I, you know, I don't even dislike vegan on concept. Uh, like, I understand, like, wanting to do better for the environment to solidify a future for our, our children and their children. I can actually, in, in theory, I can respect the concept of being vegan. I really can. Like, I understand why someone want to do that. I personally don't want to do that because I'm a piece of shit. I'm selfish. But I think that if you do it the right way, it's, it, there's a certain sense of nobility to being vegan. The problem is that's not actually how it translates. And, like, if you... Dogs are not supposed to be fucking vegan. A dog does not give a fuck. A dog has nutritional requirements. So you better make sure you're meeting those nutritional requirements with that vegan dog food. Because if you're not, that's animal abuse. Uh, and cats especially, if you're, if you're feeding a cat a vegan diet, you can go fuck yourself. Because that's not healthy at all for a cat. I know that much. I know without a shadow of a doubt for cats, it's not good. I'm not 100% sure on dogs, but I can't imagine it's particularly healthy. Okay. Step into the tight latex and whip the element to do what you want. I guess water. Need protein. Vegan works well until you have completely exhausted your protein reserves and you go downhill. There's protein in plants. There's protein in Pop-Tarts. Humans aren't supposed to be vegan. I, yeah, but you understand and you can you have the consent to make that choice for yourself, Bivrak. A dog can't fucking do that. You can't ask the dog if it wants to be on a fucking vegan diet. And even if you could, they tell you, fuck you, I want meat. So if you make that choice for yourself, then you know I, I understand. Like I really do. I'm not gonna make that choice, but. I don't see anything wrong with being vegan, provided you're not going to uh, either force it on other people or subject your fucking animals to it. Alright. A human being can survive being vegan, a cat can't, and dogs' digestive systems are geared towards meat, you'll just fuck them up. My dog wants any human food. What's going on, Smiling Apple? We're talking about vegan dog food right now. And I am struggling to put this piece in properly. It's not wanting to go. Fuck this. All I need is the hand, and I can't get the hand. All right. Some nuts have more protein than actual meat. The problem is they don't have some important amino acids, which can fuck you up in the long run. I only eat meat, personally. I'm the opposite of a vegan. I'm a carnivore. <laughs> And hot Cheetos. Dude, what about meat hot Cheetos? Would that be the shit or what? That'd be fucking sick. Meatos. Never seen vegan dog food before. I assume it exists just because someone brought it up, you know? I I don't think I have either. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Seems like the perfect background noise to assemble some more Hammer 40k minis. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I do best is background noise. That is my appeal. Hot Cheetos are vegan? I guess so. Alright. There we go. Turns out I'm fucking stupid and I had the wrong part. Alright, we got his little hand. Look, look at his little manlit fist. He's ready to visit your mother. Jalapeno. I don't like the taste of those knockoff Cheeto flavors, personally. They're too... Yeah. Yeah. 
nine. There, now we got an arm. Very good. So he's a small boy. What's the best breakfast food? Cheetos. So let's see. Mm -mm. Let me get this shit. Now we just gotta get the other arm and the head and the backpack and the weapons. So we're, we're closing in on finishing this shit. My dog fucking loves Kale. What the fuck? Never heard of that before. Although I have a dog who likes pickles. Alright. Pickles throated individuals. I love CWC, by the way. Amanda gets mad at me and calls CWC my girlfriend now. I fucked up, chat. Like, if I bring up CWC, she'll be like, Oh, you're talking about your other girlfriend? I'm like, baby, don't be like that. <laughs> Come on. Like, you don't have that seaweed hair. I mean, she's not wrong. She really is, though. Ugh. Okay. Apparently Hot Cheetos have cheese and milk powder and some other animal milk products. Because, like... Oh, let me see. Fuck this. Fuck this final. Alright, let me turn this shit. What's going on, Abigail? She sounds jealous. I mean, who the fuck wouldn't be jealous of CWC? Let's be real. Mm, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. How do you feel about Gino putting the comprehensive history on hiatus? Honestly, I understand it. I don't like it personally, but I understand it. I per I personally uh, uh, liked the content he would do, but I mean, just imagine how shitty it would be to just be bombarded with qu questions and like comments about CWC every fucking day on your internet life. Like... He's probably gotten so many fucking threats and, like, all sorts of shit. Because they're, they're a considerable group of people who, if you say anything even that's not 100% unconditionally supportive of CWC, you get these people on your case. And you've also got people who want, like, a monopoly on fucking with CWC, too. Where if you, if you try to get involved and, like, make shit about CWC, you'll be at the mercy of them as well. So it's really, like, a volatile situation where you're going to have all sorts of fucked up parties trying to, trying to, for lack of a better word, detract from you. Um, just because you're trying to do shit involving CWC. What do you think of the too many game stuff? Um, I don't really think a whole hell of a lot of it, honestly. It's not particularly surprising to me. Um, I personally think that... Uh, I See, I, I can't even really say shit about it, because I don't even know like the concrete reason as to why they got kicked out. Like, I've heard it was because of selling merch. I've heard it's because it was like being too kissy-feely with attendees. I, I really am not 100% sure, so I probably shouldn't say anything. All right. Bitten by a spider, so see you all in hell. Do you even have dangerous spiders where you live, Abby? What are you talking about? <laughs> wonder how many people went to CWC for a BG. Probably zero. It was for kissing people. Yeah. I mean, obviously I can understand that. Um, it's a fucking dumb situation. Don't even know what CWC stands for. It's Christine Weston Chandler. It's someone on the internet who is notorious for being, um, strange. Let me put it that way. That's that's the best diplomatic way of putting it. And so a lot of people keep up with, like, the continual ongoings of this person because it's just, they find it humorous. Myself included. Although I found it more humorous back in the day than I do now. Now, I've, now I'm just invested in it because I spent so much time as a younger man. Uh, keeping up with it, that I just check in from time to time. Autistic? Yeah, he's autistic, but, like, I... See, here's the thing, is I fucking hate the situation where I, I'm a, almost, like... I'm sort of unwilling to use that word because so many people use autistic as just, like, a general blanket insult towards weird people that I don't want to make it seem like I'm doing the same thing. You know what I mean? Like, he is genuinely mentally autistic, but it's... Like, I don't... I'm, I'm just worried that someone will see it as me taking the piss out of autistic people and just calling random idiots autistic, you know? Which I don't do. I 
don't want to do, so I'm careful about using that word these days. I'm just a, a regular old soy boy SJW cuck. Because it's just, it's another word with diminished meaning now. Mom's illness to try to fish up for some money. Yeah. Yeah, that was a thing that happened. Okay. Where's Fat Princess? She's in the corner right there. I don't know why she likes that corner so much lately. She's been spending a lot of time there. Fucking silly ass fish. Okay. Snippity snip this bullshit. Okay, Gundam Stream Best Stream. I'm glad you like him, Joni. Thank you for the seven month resub. I, I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Soy Boy is an actual brand. Oh, I'm sure. That's got to be the most retarded insult ever, by the way. Like, the people who legitimately use soy boys and insult are fucking funny to me. Thank you for the 15-month resub, Vicious Hydra. Oh, absolutely. That's me. That's why I can't even come up with my own original jokes. Thank you very much for the continued support. Is dumber than cuck? At least cuck sounds like an insult. You know what I mean? Soy boy just sounds like some sort of Saturday morning cartoon sidekick or some bullshit. It's like, why the fuck are you calling people that? It doesn't sa it doesn't even sound insulting, honestly. I, I get that many people use it as a meme, but there are absolutely people who use it as like this genuine insult, and it's kind of funny to me. This doesn't sound particularly menacing or insulting. We just live in a, a society where everyone's either a soy boy, an SJW, a cuck, or an incel. Take your pick. Okay. Mm -mm. Soy boy feels like the new F word. It sounds comical. I suspected that I'm slightly autistic. My parents had me seeing this therapist for a while when I was younger, amongst other things. Um. Sometimes I've thought that about myself too, and I'm not just saying that for no reason. Like I, when I'm sitting, I like do the rocking back and forth thing sometimes. Like it's a nervous tick that I have, and that's apparently like a legitimate sign of being on the spectrum. Um, so who knows? I've never seen anyone for it though, and I don't really think it matters. I think that regardless of what I do or don't have, I, I manage to be just fine. <laughs> now everyone's gonna be like, Tolomeo is confirmed. To be a complete autist. But I don't know. Mm. Aren't we all a little bit on the spectrum? At least a smidgen. Okay. Snip this shit out. I, I know that. I know that it's not exclusive to autism, but I know that it's it's a Symptom. Tola confirmed to be a window licker. You are building Gundams? This is a fair point. But is building Gundams really that much worse than playing Skinner Box video games like MMOs and shit? You're why? Yup, yup. What's going on, Logan? Because at the same time, I, I am building Gundams, but I'm also building it in a social environment where I'm talking to numerous people, you know? So, you gotta take the good with the bad bad with the good or however the fuck that goes okay i have played minecraft before too i actually used to really like minecraft before they got in they, they started peddling the survival bullshit some sprays you can use to get rid of ticks good to know can you link me some i would be eager in uh learning about these and yes i'm fully aware that you're referring to the insect Moss ball just dirty or dying? I don't know about the moss balls. Those shits always turn that color, and I'm not sure why. I think it might be overexposure to light. Or it might be dirty. I have no idea. Keep up with the animes? No, I don't watch anime. I've only watched one Gundam series before, and it was when I was a, a little fucking baby, like a teenager. I'm 25 now, for reference. 26 next month, so it's it's been a minute. 
I'm not usually an anime person. I just, I like doing things with my hands, you know. It's just, it's therapeutic to me. My girlfriend actually got me into this bullshit, if you can believe it. Um, we went to a little Tokyo in Los Angeles, and she was telling me how I should try this shit, and it looks fun. And that's where all my troubles began. Okay, I definitely fucked this ball joint up. What the fuck is going on here? Hmm. Why the Gundam things? I like giant robots. I like giant robots. I'm a big fan of, uh, of mechs. Okay. Ah, hold on. That is one thing. Like, I'm not super into anime, but the animes I have watched have pretty much all been giant robot animes. How big of a difference? Well, see, that, there's no easy answer to that, because honestly, it really depends. Like, some 1-100s are actually pretty small. Like, the real grade Sinanju, which is a 1-100, or a 144, is about the same size as some 1-100s. And there's some 1-100s that are fucking massive, like the the new Gundam. Doesn't like anime? I mean, there are giant robots outside of anime, Hippostep. There's Mech Warrior. That's actually what got me into it, is uh, Mech Warrior is not anime in the least. It's a Western franchise, but that, they're all about the giant robots. So... It's not, you know, I don't, I don't see where we're having an issue here. Alright. I'm fucked, I think. I think I might have completely fucked this. Oh, hold on. Let's go on these Sun Life. Fuck me. I should have paid more attention to this. This is your fault, Chad. I was interacting with you too much. Ever get into Big O? I tried to when I was a kid, but my mom thought it was porn because of the name. She thought I was trying to watch some chick on, like, pay-per-view get gaped. <laughs> Alright. Battletech still Japanese mech designs? Um... Those are like the old shits, though. Like there are plenty that were not originated in Japan, and the Japanese designs in BattleTech, the unseen, are usually the shittiest, anyways. That robots outside of anime, sacrilege, I guess. So, can I rotate this all the way? God, I'm so fucked. I don't know how I'm gonna open a, a ball joint next to goddamn impossible without breaking it. No, I'm just kidding, I got it. Okay, so let me see. Are you gaping? What's up? My mom didn't want me to watch Big O when I was a child because she was afraid that it was a pornographic film or something, like Big O meaning Big Vagina or some shit. Um, so I never watched that, even though I wanted to as a kid. Because she saw it was on Adult Swim and she saw it was Big O, so I guess she just presumed it was pornographic material. Which is lit. Fuck me. Oh, no. We got some fucking problems here. Let me see. I could rotate this one. Why is that? So I fucked up somewhere along the line on one of these arms. I think it's salvageable. Big orgasm, true. Thought of an orgasm? I know, I'm just, I'm being fucking facetious. Oh, okay. Don't worry, I was only pretending to be retarded. Alright, this should work. Zoids was legit an underrated series. What's going on, Devious Damon? Good morning, Kisanami. I watched the shit out of some big old gaping hentai. A gaping dragon from Dark Souls, big O, I can get behind it. That sounds like, uh,. That was some quality content. Catch my drift. Man. I'm fucking starving. I ate Rice Krispies for breakfast. I'm an adult. Rice Krispies and a banana. I have to go to sleep. Alright, have a good night, his ass. Isn't Big O actually, like, half anime? Are we really gonna start, like, arguing that things are half anime now? <laughs> God. What a world we live in. Okay. 
My dinner last night was a bag of popcorn. Excellent. You like hot Cheetos, these Sun Life? Because that's usually my dinner. I'm a big hot Cheeto uh, addict. I'm a hot Cheeto addict. Okay. Your diet is so fucking weird. I know, I'm probably going to die at the age of 30, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Who wants to get old? Get old and watch those around you uh, wither away and die. No, it's time to be the selfish one and be the one who withers away and dies. Just w get the prospect of getting old is just so sad to me. Like, I, I don't know. Thank you for the eight or is it eight or six? Six month resub ride. Right? Sorry, I can't read very well from this far away, but I appreciate it, my man. Thank you very much. Andy Caps. Hot fries are dope, but I like hot Cheetos, too. I like the black bag super hot Cheetos. I like to call them the nuclear Cheetos. Liking giant robots, but not anything. I kind of liking peanuts, but not peanut butter. I'm the reverse. I like peanut butter, but not peanuts. So, I guess it kind of fits. One day I want to try Cheetos. Where the fuck do you live where you don't have Cheetos? The only thing Kyle eats in L.A. is hot Cheetos, Diet Coke, steak, and fries. No, 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 no. Okay, no. I steal your fries, but who the fuck buys you steak in California, Abigail? You can't pull this shit on me. I'm not I'm not gonna have this shit. Like how many times have I bought you dinner? You you do not get to be like, oh you steal my fucking fries when I'm the one paying. You don't even eat that shit. Steal your fucking leftovers. Like, well, yeah, I can't put it in the refrigerator and have shitty cold fries. Like, I'm sorry, Abigail. I'm sorry. What's going on, Amaz? Thank you for the resub, dude. Of eight months. Are we getting food? It depends where, where are you going to be in Texas. Texas is a big fucking place, my man. Uh, as long as we're not getting, like, fucking Thousand Island Sauce Peaches Pizza, I guess that's, uh... It's fine. Show Sif now. Okay, hold on. What's going on, Bar? We got all these big dick streamers bullying me into submission. Who's Abigail? Is a valid name? <laughs> Camera, hold on. Sif, stay. Uh. Okay, hold on. That was a fuck up. Give me a second. Give me a goddamn second. Controlling this with the mouse from this far away is a pain in the ass. You can see your little head, anyways. Hey, who wants a snack? Ooh. Who's a good girl? Who's a good Johnny? Is it you? Thank you, Homeless Jeff, for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Ugh. Tolo's going furry on us? No, she likes it when I make those noises. You see her tail wagging? <laughs> Who's a good girl? Who's a good little doggy who likes the spaghetti and the meatballs? <laughs> That's right. It's you. Okay. Oh. Alright, let me move this back. So there, I hope you liked it. Baru, how's your dog doing? It's Rory, right? Ooh. Mm mm. Oh, okay. Thank you for dog, no problem. Yeah, I bet, I bet Rory's big as fuck now, right? Golden Retrievers grow quick. We're actually thinking of getting another Golden Retriever. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Almost 70 pounds. Jesus, she's already bigger than Sif. Is it a she? I don't know. Because uh, Sif's, I think, 55, 60. He? Okay. So, she's four years old in December. So, that's sad. I wish I could make Sif live forever. Only like five months old. Yeah, Goldens get fucking big. Because we uh, we have a dog grooming slash boarding business. I don't know if you knew that. But uh, we've... The two most popular dogs where I live are Golden Retrievers and Shih Tzus. Like the little fucking Ewok dogs. Like there's so many old ass women who just love the little Ewok dogs. So we take care of them a lot. Like both them and the Golden Retrievers. And we've seen some gigantic fucking Goldens. Like, it, it can be pretty ridiculous sometimes. The yeah, size of actual Sith. That'd be dope. You're gonna get a sword? Hold on. Also, I'm, I missed a lot of chat earlier when I was showing Sith, so if anything happened, uh, feel free to let me know if I missed it. Because I can't... I, I definitely can't read chat from all the way over there. That's not gonna happen. Tolo, your fucking man. What about my fucking man child? Or, uh, excuse me, I fucked that up. Man, you fucked up and then I fucked up. You are fucking man child. True? True? And you're watching me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Little fat princess. I've got a purebred golden stud. Please don't call your dog a stud. Like, the, my mom calls our, our little shih tzu. Uh. A stud muffin. And when he poops, his name's Mr. Crumpets, I named him, and when he poops, she calls them uh, Crumpy Dumpies. Crumpy Dumpies. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Mr. Money up here? Oh, Money's still here? Damn, we got the entire squad. Holy shit. Ugh. Mm -mm. Man, oh man. I feel like dying now, is that normal? Um, no, probably not. You should get that checked out. Okay, so now I need G217. I wonder what kind of steak Amaz likes. Oh shit, Scott's here too? What the fuck are you doing here, homie? What's good? Hope you're feeling better. Ooh, all right. Everything all good? And then there's Cry here, too. What the fuck? Everyone get the fuck out. <laughs> no one's... A, this is a virginity stream. Only virgins are allowed. Let me join for steak. Sure, we can all go get steak. What kind of steak do you like, Baru? Amaz just said juicy, so he probably loves this filet. This basic bitch filet. I feel like Baru is probably a ribeye kind of guy. He's like me. Bone-in ribeye or get the fuck out. Medium rare. I feel like I probably asked him this before, too. I am good shit. Good shit. It's the one thing rats and pandas can agree on. Alright. Get this thing in. Cry, when are we gonna get drunk and play Super Bunny Man or whatever the fuck? Ugh. Hello, bear. Exactly how I get my good shit? No chads allowed. I'm having difficulties getting this piece in right now. Well done is communism. Yeah, well done with steak sauce is fucked up. And that's one of, like, if you get that, if you get your steak that way, no thank you. Alright. I don't call Scott. I think Scott's fucking cute. This guy's got a little twink, you know? Just want, you just want to grab... And he, he, he looks kind of short and kawaii. Like, Scott could be in Boku no Pico de Gallo. Like, that shit would be dope. Scott, you like ice cubes? Please tell me you like ice cubes. There's too many anime words. We don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be alright. Could go for some Pico de Gallo. Good shit. Just need to get his hand now. 
Nice aquarium. Thank you very much. I just need my plants to grow more. Hello, Reese. This is fucking weird having so many big dicks in here. This is, this is like when you go to the airport, you're traveling somewhere, and if you're anything like me, you got a micro cock. Like, it's just like a little, like a little scared turtle looking ass. And <laughs> you go to the urinal and everyone's like comparing dick sizes and you just, you, you don't say shit because you know, this is no fucking point, right? Like a little, little micro cock. Okay. I think it's this hand. I wanna, I wanna get the one open so I can put a weapon in that shit. Tolo, it's my brother's birthday. No meme this time. I don't know if I believe you. I'm gonna have to see a birth certificate. Okay. Have you ever heard of Aquascape Contest? Yes, I have actually. I... I resent people who have the talent to do good aquascaping. That shit looks so amazing, but... Talentless retard, by the way. <laughs> so... They can do some pretty impressive shit, though. It's kind of amazing. Alright. This bad bitch. Don't worry, Cry's dick is smaller. That's not true. I still maintain that Cry is the biggest blackest motherfucker on the planet like and the reason no one's discovered him in real life is because no one expects like uh you know such a chad to have that sort of voice and if anyone actually encounters him in real life it's just like you, you have an epileptic fit because it's just it's so dissonant from what you would expect you know what i mean do the asmr stream no Aquascaping is too frustrating. Yeah, I can barely plant the fucking things just normally, so... I'd have to agree with you on that one. Aquascaping's a big no-no from me. Okay, so how the fuck? So this dude doesn't hold his fucking weapons? Is that... I'm looking ahead to see which hands I should make for this. I, I hate having to redo the hands. Image of what Cry looks like. I imagine it looks like a potato. I know a potato-looking motherfucker. I wonder... I will, see, I, I, I can't name names, though, but I think Cry might be, uh... You, you know what? Actually, no. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna play with fire. So I'm gonna blue ball you. A potato with a huge cock. The tank looks tidier now. That's because it's got real plants instead of the fake ones. Oh, man. Those are some fucking louder than usual pops. I'm sorry. It's probably gross. What was the Gundam with the scythe? That was Death Scythe. What a, a shocking name, right? Okay. You know what? I'm not even going to worry about the hand right now. I'm just going to slap this fucking arm on, and we'll worry about the hands when we get to the weapon. Sounds like a plan. Oh, no. I, I got to disassemble this arm. It's all fucked. What you drinking? I drink unsweet tea and Diet Coke. I'm a weird motherfucker who has to have two drinks at the same time. I don't like sweet tea. I, I do not like anything with sugar in it, typically. So I got my shitty mason jar of tea. And I have no ice cubes because my ice machine breaks when it's hot. Normally I have that completely filled with, uh, with ice cubes. But fortunately not today. This is bizarre to me. Alright. I'm in Texas. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking weird. You, you don't... <laughs> you don't have to rub it in. I just... I've never been big on sugar. Your drink needs more vodka. I had vodka the other night. I like uh, mixing it with fruit punch, which is fucking weird. Tolo ASMR streams are really popular at the moment. You're gonna gain lots of new subs and followers. Also, you become uber rich. Cool. ASMR streams. I think Amaz should do ASMR streams. I think that would be lit. Amaz, if you're still here, can you make a chewing fat video? God, that would be so hot. Revoking. Oh, no. 
I mean, I've, I've been born and raised here. You can't just revoke that. I don't say y'all and ain't either. Does that, does that further the uh, the insult? I can't fucking stand any smart. I'm. People will swear up and down that it's not a sexual thing, but it. I don't know, man. I really don't. I I really don't. The fucking uh, the shit I see that has ASMR in it just seems so overtly sexual to me. That I'm I'm just convinced that it's like a an operation for uh, deviant art people to get their fetishes into the mainstream. Cause there's just so much questionable shit, you know. got an issue here, and I'm not sure why it's an issue. This arm won't rotate properly, so I messed something up in the frame. Tell me Bob Ross is sexual. Have you seen that fucking afro? Are you kidding me? He wanted, You know Bob Ross wants to bomb you with his titanium whites, right? Let me just say that his... I, I heard, I've just read trivia online that... He, he, he just, he, he loved eggs. He loved to fertilize them. Okay. Let me see, what the fuck is going on with this? I can, I'm just too stupid for this shit. Like, my, okay, so my problem is I put this in and it won't turn at the joint at all. I'm not sure why. I really don't have the faintest fucking clue. It's a mystery to me. Okay. Why couldn't Bob Ross be immortal? I mean, you gotta leave some for the rest of us, right? Like, what? who would we have if Bob Ross was still alive? I get that energy from people who just stream themselves eating. Like, I feel like this is mostly a fetish thing. But I don't know enough about it to judge. See, this is why I can tell you're not an American. Like, you don't need... To know things, to judge people. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, there's mistake number one. Um, you just you go in on that shit. You don't need to understand people to judge them. Just be ignorant. That's what you got to do. Do you like media about cults? I think you're gonna have to be a little bit more specific. Any other streamers we got in here? It's all it's making me all nervous and sweaty, dude. The judging me that man this Tolomeo fuck sucks so much shit. I hope he steps on a goddamn landmine. What an asshole. He doesn't even deserve that dog. He's making me all all nervous. Judging people is your god given right as America true? No offense, but I'm glad I'm not an American. Oh no, I'm taken, dude. Being American sucks these days. It's not fun. But at least we have Whataburger in Texas, right? You gotta, you know, you gotta keep a happy thought. Okay, so what the fuck is wrong with this? Someone who got ASMR from a man? Hold on, I gotta read this shit. Next to the player's throat whispering in your right ear, I can confirm it's not sexual, but it's commonly fetishized because sex sells, man? I don't know, I think Cry is hiding a secret boner here. I really do. Like, do you think Cry is the sort of person who would openly admit that he got, like, a sexual response from that sort of thing? Talks about cults. I like documentaries about goddamn near anything, yeah. My my favorite cult is the Juggalo clan. I'm a big fan of Juggalos. Dude, nice clan, thank you very much. The Juggalos are my shit. I think I permanently fucked this guy's arm up. I have no idea why it won't rotate. I, I have no clue on how to troubleshoot this shit. Cause I, I put it in here, it's same direction and everything, but it just won't fucking rotate. It's really rustling my jimothies. What is ASMR? God. Um, I don't even know how to... I'll let someone else tackle that. Just assume Cry is always hiding a boner. Tolo, show us some ASMR. All right, all right. ASMR. I'll put the rat mask on and everything for maximum ASMR. God, let me find the fucking... Check this shit out. Come here, you 
There you go, that's enough of that. I hope you liked it. I'm good at ASMR, right? Not sexual, by the way. Look at Sif. Look at that puppy. Met a cult leader once by accident. <laughs> Is his name Phil? Ah. <laughs> oh. Who's your good doggy? And some angel fish. I heard those motherfuckers are mean. It's Dave. All right, my bad. Hey, who's a good girl? Who's a good pup? Oh, you want scratchies? So why don't you stop streaming and pay attention to me? How would you rate my ASMR shekel? Tablecloth is coming off. I don't give a fuck. White noise. Can you sift? Can Sif yip for us? That's fucked up. Is that tea? Won't it get cold? It's supposed to be cold. Are you high? Oh, right. You're probably one of those, uh, those European individuals who is under the false assumption that tea is supposed to be hot. Ew. 10 out of 10? I'm glad. Hold on. I think I might have figured out the problem. I think it's supposed to rotate in this part, but I must have fucked it up, which means it's going to be virtually impossible to get this opened up so I can try to fix it. Tea is cold? No, no, it's supposed to be iced. Iced tea. Fuck hot tea. What the hell is wrong with you? So... This is unfortunate. Good guess, but no, his name is Michael. Met him in Hawaii on the beach. There's a dot called Holy Hell. Gotcha. I might check that out. Okay. Tolo's retardation knows no limits. True. Man, is it really easy to bother people just by saying tea is supposed to be cold? Like, is that really such a, such a sore point for you? <laughs> That's pretty funny. I like that. You guys make me laugh. Right. I broke a piece. However, the fashion in which it broke means that it shouldn't impede the actual robot. See, I tried to open it up, and part of the peg got stuck in there. Ugh, fuck. It's been a long time since I broke something on one of these shits. Like I said, there's multiple other connection points, so it shouldn't actually affect anything. How much is left? Well, I need an arm, the head, the backpack, and the weapon. So it really depends how much longer I I bloviate like a retard and spend on this portion. Say three hours at this rate, maybe. How about... fixed it, I think. Is it fucking hot in Texas so I could... Or it is fucking hot in Texas, so I see why you like cold tea. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't like hot drinks either. Not into hot cocoa. Not into hot tea. Not really into hot anything. Oh, except for hot guys, of course. Wink, wink. Come here, Scott. How many Gundams do you have? Way too many. Better get out of that house, homeless Jeff. The thicker the thighs, the sweeter the prize. The fuck? All right. Hot singles in your area, though. 
Not in a house, just a cool joke. What are the clear fish swimming in a group? Those are glass catfish. Those are uh, transparent little bastards. They're pretty cool. They are a schooling fish, so you should have at least six of them. Um, they're really neat, too. They're very... Th this is definitely a situation where I'm a person of ascribing human emotions to something that doesn't really have emotions, but they... They like swimming up to you and uh, asking for food, kind of, in their own little way. Like, they're they're cute. I like them. Fuck me. Okay. You don't drink coffee? No, I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. Okay. I told you, I, my tastes are fucking strange. Like, I eat hot Cheetos for breakfast. Keep that in mind. You're talking to someone who wakes up, says, What's for breakfast? And then it's like, Yeah, hot Cheetos. So when you when you were wondering about my uh, my dietary choices, my drink choices, etc., just remember that. Okay. Fish are watching you work. Yeah, they look at me like you see right now. Two of them are just staring at me. They're funny little bastards. I like them a lot. Those are probably my favorite fish. Hello, pickle gal. I won't say favorite, but. Because I, I really like Gobbler and Fat Princess, too. Gobbler's really fucking funny. I like all of my fish. I think the only fish I really am not a huge fan of are the little red tetras, just because they're little assholes. They're mean. They, they attack each other and bully each other. And sometimes they even bully other fish, too. They're notorious for nipping at thins. It's not a very Christian thing to do. I'll say that much. Can you burp and snort more? You're losing me. I hate any sort of bodily function. Like, I know you're memeing. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not actually, uh, you know, falling for it. But I don't like any sort of bodily noises on streams. So I do my best to avoid making them. Fuck, I had it, but now it's... There we go. Alright, I did it. See, look. I broke one of the connectors, but it's completely fine. It's... Still snaps on perfectly. Right. They're from a harsh environment. I mean, that's not an excuse to be an asshole, man. I'm from a harsh environment too, and I'm perfectly nice, right? Isn't talking? Well, you know what I mean. Like eating noises, slurping, sniffing. The the one thing I do do consistently is I sneeze, and I probably shouldn't, but I don't know. That's about as much as I usually allow. Because no one wants to go in with to a stream with headphones and hear like, woo, woo, you know, it's fucking nasty. It's just when I was a kid, my mom would always uh, she I, she was kind of strict on me as a kid when it came to things like that. Like I was not allowed to burp or fart. Like I was supposed to show extreme manners to everybody. Um, extreme, not just regular manners, but extreme manners. She did her best to make sure I was a polite human being. She failed pretty hard at the end of the day, but there's some things that are residual, you know? Okay, I gotta put stickers on, oh boy. This is where I fuck everything up. Alright. Yo, Cry, are you still here? Fish can't decide, though. They just have genetic aggression mostly. Yeah, they're, they're little... Like, I'm not... I'm not someone who believes that, like, fish have human emotions or thought processes or anything. Like, most of that is just we're projecting our own feelings onto them. They're little biological programs, basically, that are just... They just act. They don't really feel or anything. But they're still my little fish sticks. Alright. Cry's always here. I have an important question for the internet sensation. It's a good one, trust me. Okay. So I fucked up the sticker, but that's okay, because I'm pretty sure the sticker doesn't even fucking matter. Alright. Anyone get a clip of Snake rapping the DK song? What the fuck? Are you serious? That's fucked up. I want to hear this shit. 
rapping and he's probably like, DK, Donkey Kong, he's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. He's finally back to kick some tail. Huh. That is probably his rapping. Ugh. All right. So I'm pretty sure I fucked this up. That's okay. That's all right. What pizza places make the best leftover leftover pizza? Disgusting. Come on. You can't you can't be asking about leftover pizza. That's fucked up. All right. So this is the part where I'm really gonna screw the pooch, and this is why I usually don't do the small ones like this, is because. I'm gonna have to put on the, the little visor sticker and I guarantee you I'm gonna fuck it up. The fuck? Where the shit is it? Is it this? Yeah. Alright. Your octopus is dead? Oh, come on. He's asleep. Think Batman is a banned word in Snake's Dream? I hope so. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, you see this little. this little clear piece right here. I have to stick a line sticker on that son of a bitch. What the fuck? Okay. This is without a doubt the worst part of making these sons of bitches. I'm not going to be able to do this on camera. I'm going to have to try to do this on my own. I will show you the sticker. though. This is, this is the size of the sticker. I don't even know if you can see it. This little blue thing. So give me a couple minutes. I'm not going to be able to read or anything during this. Because I really don't want to fuck this up. Fuck me. It's not going very well, fellow gamers. It's not going very well at all. Later, homeless. Ugh. Take the piece out of its packaging. Fuck. Oh my god, this is gonna give me a fucking heart attack. I need, I need Amanda here. I can't do this myself. <laughs> this is fucking retarded. I think it's already lost its, uh, its stick factor. Oh, man. Alright. Snakes are good rap, right, Betty? Is. I'm, I'm glad that right now you guys are focused on the, the rapping thing, because this is going to take me a couple minutes. At the very least. You sticker here, piece of shit. Nobody loves you. It's not psychological projection at all. Let's get into the point where I have like two more tries, or it's gonna lose its uh, adhesiveness. sticking now. I have it in the right place. But I think it's lost its stick. So he will not have his cute little blue visor. It's completely fucked. 100% ruined. I got it. <laughs> Thank you for the 55 bits, Hippo Stabber. I appreciate it, dude. Try using the knife to help. Uh, no. I don't believe in the knife. 
That just fucked a sticker up. Okay, holy shit, what a what an endeavor. I just my hands are too I'm I'm too much of a butterfingers to reliably do shit like that. That's always the worst part for me. That's why I like the bigger models, is because the stickers are also bigger and it's not it's not retardedly uh difficult to get that in there. Okay, so let me get this bad bitch situated. I need E120, sorry, I'm, I'm trying not to mess things up. This is like, the head is probably the part where you're most likely to mess something up, and so I'm trying to focus, because I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to fall off my bike at the finish line, you know? That'd, that'd be kind of rough. Did someone get Snake to read Pomp Pomp? It'd be a Snake stream now, that's dope. I, I want to see... Snake do uh, Damien again from Monster Prom. He did really good there. One of the finest voice acting performances I've ever seen in my life. All right. Man, just got he's got talent. What can I say? Okay. Yeah, that actually works, huh? Let's see. Did watch anime? What genre would you want to watch? I want to watch Boku no Pico, for sure. I see, look, he's got... It's very difficult to see. He's got his little blue eyes, his little sticker in there. You see how small his overall head is? Like, it's the size of the point of my finger, and that little blue line is a sticker I had to put on a transparent piece of fucking plastic. Mm. It's pretty lit. And look, look at this, this uh, set of stickers. Look at how much there is if I wanted to put all the stickers on. Whew! Christ almighty. No, thank you. Alrighty. Now we need A26. You know what will always confuse me? The fact that Amaz is racist against burgers. He, just, he doesn't like burgers overall. Oh no, Brunner. Those those stickers take as long as the robot does to build, usually. I think you're sorely underestimating the amount of effort that takes. Like, I know you said minimum, but it really is, like, the most extensive part, usually. It's fucking crazy. Is Tolo okay? What? What happened? Hello, Neo Spartan. Had an outfit. Oh, okay. you mean a Maz? What the fuck? See, you guys are just conditioned to ask if there's something wrong with me. Fuck. Fug. Oh no. This shit's got bad knob marks. I hate this fucking shade of red. Give me a sec. Hmm. Streamer, what the fuck is wrong with you? A lot of things. What do you mean specifically? Punch a fish, make a wish? I don't think I've heard that one. Where is that one from? Alright. Who would punch a fish? That's what I'm saying. Like, what does a fish deserve to be punched? Or do to deserve being punched? Because I can't fucking talk today. I'm sorry. There, we got his little helmet now. He looks kawaii as fuck. Oh, I put it on the wrong way. <laughs> you, you kind of looked cool, though. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Need to buy a virginity protector to protect my sacred virginity from the hose on the surf. Bless RNG. American Dad. Gosh, it sounds like something CWC would have. Or, or say, like, I got a fish, would you like to make a wish? I got a fish. Like, I remember there was one video where CWC just went on and on about this fucking fish. And I don't think that's ever going to leave the recesses of my mind. I think that's going to stick with me until the day I die. I'll be fading out of this life, and the last thought that will go through my head is, I got a fish, would you like to make a wish? Christ. 
the old, I miss the old days of Quuck. This shit on right here. And then there we go. Alright. The main body is finished. Check this shit out. We need his weapons and his little backpack, but the main core suit is finished. And he's ready to fuck. He's ready to procreate. It's a long time for such a little diddly ass gundam, huh? Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads. I love that song. Shit is so amazing to me. Okay. So we are at the home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. So soon you will be free from this curse. And then you can find someone worth watching. I bet you were extraordinarily excited for it. Don't don't get too excited, because we still got a little bit left to do. Gundam from Gundam Wing? Yes, this one is. Okay. Bet he can't wait to show his backpack off. Do you think backpacks are like Gundam dicks? What do you think, Sif? Respectable. I can understand that. Okay. No one else makes a Gundam's actually just heading to bed now. Good night, good night, Renee. And weapons are definitely the dicks. Is this an annoying fucking noise or what? It is kinda goes to show what kind of person I am. I hear something that makes a somewhat annoying noise and I just do it again. Okay. Let's do four and Have you been excited for DDQ? What the fuck is DDQ? I don't even know what that is, homie. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I'm not very knowledgeable. I'm a very ignorant person overall. Um, there are a lot of things that I just don't know. So, if I apologize because many of your questions have just been like, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Um, so, I apologize for that. Do I have to make two of these, or is there another part on the opposite end? Yeah. Oh god, this is this is a prolonged process. Holy shit! You're burning Gundam? No. Later, smiling apple. This is Dark Souls. True. True. All right. What do you guys think I should eat when I'm done with this? You should choose my fate. Alright, so we need G10 now, which is this one. Kinda feeling some burgers or some jalapeno poppers. A well done steak. Why the fuck would you say that? What's wrong with you? Does anyone in here not ironically eat well done steaks? Dilation. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm gonna eat. Delicious. Okay. Bacon and eggs? Spinach, no. My dad likes well done. He medium well. Cheddar was nothing but well done. See, that's, that explains a lot of things in water. I, I see things more clearly now. I like steak rare. Okay, good shit. Medium rare. Why the fuck would I eat raw meat, brown only? You know, there's it's a spectrum, right? Much like the one that I'm on. There's in between brown and and raw. They call it rare. Some steaks have to be well done, otherwise they're a health hazard. Well, fuck those steaks. Those steaks, that's don't get a steak at Denny's then. That seems like a pretty simple fucking solution to me. Yeah, if you if you order a steak at Denny's, you're gonna 
you're going to uh, want to avoid eating any uncooked meat, so. All right. Snippity snap. I'm sorry. Towards the end of this, I always get to the point where I stop showing it in the camera. I just knock that motherfucker out. He's dead. He's fucking done. Steak is good with ketchup. Game Boy, I've never seen a such a conglomerate of wrong opinions until I met you. It's actually impressive how many how many terrible things come out of your mouth. Steak on ketchup. Although you don't believe any of this, I know that much. You just say things to, to get attention. I don't believe a word you ever say, Game Boy. Hello, Leslie. You made a chimera, what would it be composed of? Sif and Captain Wiggles. Captain Siffles. Everyone knows the steak is good with mayo. Yes, I heard steak is also good with, with uh, dog poop. Delicious, right, fellow gamers? It's a delicacy. They love it over in Indonesia. Okay, no, fuck you. You don't get to just say you like ketchup with steak. That's fucking hate speech. Alright, G16. Okay. I'm fading. I'm dying. I'm losing energy quickly, I'm sorry. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be go be able to go on. Hmm. Mm, yeah. Okay, so where's four? What the fuck am I oh it's right here. Put this thing right there. There you go. There you go. G1. Steak is good. Steak is pretty fucking good. I'm a fan. I really want steak. I'm excited for Amanda to come over here. Because we're going to get some. Can't stop now, your virginity tea dog. He's weak. Strike? No, no rat strikes. No rat strikes, Hank. You told me you'd behave until at least August uh, 15th, I believe it was. So, you, you are under contract, motherfucker. Can't stop. Oh, all right, all right. Read the same thing twice because I'm smart. Okay. Where the fuck does this one go? Right here? This is such a clusterfuck. Holy hell. Oh, man. genuinely confused right now. How the hell is this all supposed to go in the same space? Hold on. True, I have it on my calendar. Good. If you get up and stretch, you should get up and get that second win. Hello, Steven Mass. No, I think I just need food. I think I'm at the point where uh, lacky snackies is in effect. You can't, you can't lack snacks. It's no good. Alright, I got it. This is just a very fucking finicky piece of, uh, piece of shit right here. Okay, so I need G7 now. He needs some Cheetos. I need, like, real food. I need, like, a burger or something. There's just no, no homo, but the feeling of a lot of meat in my mouth is just, mmm, delicious. I just, I love getting a triple meat, triple cheese Whataburger and just taking, like, the biggest fucking bite out of that shit. So, like, there's nothing but, but Whataburger in my mouth, you know? Just all the cheese, the jalapenos, the bacon, just the, the entirety of it. The mixture is just mwah, delicious. Not as delicious as Fergie, but still pretty damn good if you ask me. 
Fergie should make a burger joint, like Fergalicious Burgers. That shit would be lit. I think I need to be Fergie's manager. There we go. Look at this son of a bitch. See, it pops out of like all these thrusters and shit. It just doesn't afraid of anything. So you can. Oh god, look at that. Wow. Fergers, yup. What a burger. You, you piece of shit, I'm fucking starving now. Hell, dude, how do you think I feel? I'm forced here. If I if I leave now, I'll never be forgiven. Like people will be sent to my house to kick me in the dick. So I have to finish. Or consequences will never be the same. Cuz you talked about steaks true. I wasn't hungry before I started watching. Now I crave the biggest fucking burger waiting for the pizza to come. Oh, pizza sounds good too. Maybe I'll make a, a DiGiorno. Use that metal bat to protect yourself. You can use the, the several dogs, too. Throwing dogs. Is there a Gundam that has a giant has his lower body? Oh, I can't speak, sorry. Isn't there a Gundam that literally has a giant head as its lower body? It seems likely to me. that I, I feel like I've seen that somewhere before. I don't know exactly which one it is, though. How this goes? How the fuck? Oh my god. This shit is fucking ridiculously complicated. Holy fuck. It's one of those things that's gonna have so many moving parts that it's never gonna work right. Like it just it has too much movement, so it'll be impossible to get right. Like look at this. Look at this shit right now. Look at how many how many uh doors and, and shafts and shit. And it's supposed to all close down in this nice little pylon. I don't think it's going to work. Okay, so I need D1 and C1 now. Okie dokie. Let me snip this shit out off screen. Give me a sec, because this is a small piece and I don't want to fuck it up. And then C1. If you get three strips of the eight-piece nuggies, I usually get two sets of three strips. Three strips is not enough. Like, if you're a growing boy, if you're a fucking man, you are, you, you are not filled up by a mere three chicken strips. That shit's just not gonna happen. So you get two fucking meals. And it's still only like $10 or some shit. It's like $10, $11 for two chicken strip meals. And it's the best. That's why I fucking love Whataburger. That shit gives me such a chubby. You don't always gotta be filled up. When you eat once a day, you do. If you eat in one day, you need you need to to devour. You need to consume. There we go. First booster is done. I made some super hot fire blueberry strawberry pancakes. What the fuck? That's a lot of shit to have on pancakes. In America. Yeah, Mata, you wouldn't understand. You're one of the Canadians. Canadians don't believe in big dick meals. That's a fact. Alright. So, we can put this on, on him now. There we go. So he's got half of his little backpack now. What an adorable little boy. He's ready for kindergarten. Ain't nothing wrong with eating big, big dicks, y'all. Exactly. See, there's a, You can't say you've had a true meal until you've consumed an entire BBC. You just can't. It would, it would be intellectually dishonest. You don't want to be that, do you? I don't think so. Okay. Now we gotta rush, rush, rush. E2. Where the fuck is E? Um, I think it's this one. Yeah. One day I want to try doing a thing where I just cut all the pieces out beforehand and try to assemble the shit. It'd be next to impossible, but it'd be fun. Low-key avoiding coming to America because you can't eat a lot in your portion. Sizes are supposedly who you goddamn right they are. Especially in Texas where everything's bigger. 
Did you watch that VOD of the girl showing all of her dragon dildos? No, I can't say I have. Uh, there are plenty of places where you can see that and a whole lot more for free. So, I don't think I will. Never really understood that. And why people go on to Twitch for sexually satisfying material. You, you realize you're on the internet, right? I actually have heard, and I don't know how true this is. This is something that's hearsay, and I, I have no way of verifying if it's true or not. But I remember someone told me that there was one country that has like a strict filter where you can't can't go to any pornographic websites or, or anything like that. So there's some dudes who come to Twitch because it's like the most sexually exciting content they can get with their fucked up internet filter. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but you know what? Someone said it and they were confident about it, so I'm going to choose to believe it without any evidence. Okay. I think it was like Pakistan or some shit, but I'm not sure. I probably fucked the country up. Alright. UK? Jesus Christ. How did I walk into? I mean, how can you walk into an internet chat room? <laughs> What's going on, Sammy? We're doing Gundam building streams and talking about stupid shit that nobody can conceivably give a fuck about. You're welcome to join us. God, okay. My hands are all sweaty now. Can't do this shit. Alright. Crazy, arrogant, and dumb people. No, I was being entirely facetious. I don't know if it's true or not. It's There are a lot of people who will believe you. If you, if you say something completely fucking retarded with the utmost confidence, there are a lot of people who will believe you and not fact check you. That's kind of what I was aping on. Memeing on. So if you're skeptical about something, you should always fact check it because you can you can be a confident liar. That's something that not not everyone who lies is like a a fidgety nervous wreck where you can you can look into their eyes and tell that they're they're dishonest. I can just tell about that boy. All right, A nine or A five? Yeah, this one. Alright. Sounds gay, I'm in. Welcome to the club, dude. This is the maximum homo lust zone. Nice to have you. N nervous, nervous truther, but a confident liar. What? Dude, that must suck. I'm just always fucking nervous. I'm just, uh... I'm just that way. I'm just a beta chi uh, child cuckold. Essentially. Did I get the wrong piece? Oh, I did. Okay, G25. What if I tell someone they should give me money? Mm -hmm. Mileage may vary. Anyway, Gundams. Yeah, Gundams are fucking dope, right? Biggest problem is that I stumble sometimes, but when I don't, I sound like I'm 100% sure on what I'm saying. Yeah, you gotta have that, like, retard bravado, you know what I mean? That's something that I have occasionally. Like, if I want to, I can I can turn on the retard bravado, where it's basically... You're saying completely retarded shit, but you sound 100% serious. Because people tell me that I always sound serious. Like, when I'm... When in my head I'm being clearly facetious and sarcastic, people will think I'm being 100% for realsies. And it kind of fucking sucks, honestly. Like, I feel like sometimes, especially now with the, the new rules on Twitch, I gotta be abundantly clear when I'm just taking the piss and joking. Because in my mind, I'm, I'm being very, uh, very obvious, but... I'm just too good at saying retarded shit. A lifetime of experience, you know? <laughs> oh. A G2. We're almost done, dogs. Don't worry. Some people are just too... Well, no. It's hard to detect sarcasm on the internet. Even I struggle sometimes. Like, there's some people who just seem like they're like actually retarded when they're being sarcastic. And they're not actually retarded. They are indeed being sarcastic. But it's hard to tell at first, you know? It'd be difficult to discern. Why so serious? See, that's the thing. I'm not even really that serious. Like, I, I'm just... 
I'm being facetious in like half of the things I say, but it's just not everybody picks up on that. I'm just a shitter, you know. Okay. Let's smack this thing and put it right here. Right here. Where the fuck am I putting this degenerate piece? Everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be okay, chat. Don't you worry. Like the long yellow boy in the tank. Yeah, it's Gobbler. He's a, uh, it's a weather loach. His gimmick is when it's about to storm, he freaks out and starts spasming all over the tank. He's only pretending to be a person. Yeah, we all know Australians aren't real people. You, you can't fool us, Pop it at. Holy fuck. Okay, I need to move this closer to me. He died now? Yeah, he's just chilling. Like, it's nighttime, so he's gonna be just fucking off. He's more active during the day. I don't even know if he's supposed to be a nocturnal or uh, diurnal fish, but that's just how he is. Okay, okay, we got it. It's completely fine, but I need to... Uh, I need to get this piece on quick before it falls apart. It's one of those things where you have to fit, like, four pieces together that are loosely fitting, and the only way to actually secure them is to uh, put on the last piece, so you got to kind of be quick about it, you know? Because if you're not, then it'll, it'll loosen up and you'll be fucked. That's no good. It's no good at all. Especially when building a virginity protector. Australians suck. Take it from your local kiwi. I thought that Gobbler had had been dead in my tank several times. Like, there's been a lot of situations where I look at the motherfucker, and he's just limp, impotent, and motionless on the ocean floor. And I'm like, oh, my, my favorite fucking fish died. I guess I'm going to drudge him out. And I pick him up, and he doesn't react. And then, like, halfway through picking him up, I'll just be like, hey, get the fuck off of me, you piece of shit. And it's honestly kind of terrifying. I want a cat. I liked cats more when I was a kid. I'm not super into cats these days. I don't mind cats, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. I feel like with cats, it's such a fucking Russian roulette on whether you're going to get a nice affectionate one or if you're just going to have some aloof cat who just couldn't give a fuck less about you. I guess you have to get them when they're really young and have them imprint on you. I don't know. Because some cats are really sweet. Other cats are just, you know, they don't do anything. It's like if I wanted something to not do anything, I would continue being myself. I don't need an animal to do what I do every day of my life, right? It seems kind of counterproductive. So now I need D1 and C1. And then we're done with everything but the weapons. And by weapons, I mean the, the shield and the gun. So we have maybe 15 minutes left. So it's going to be coming to an end soon, and you can all go to sleep or, or continue partying or whatever the fuck it is that you feel fit to do with your life. Hello, Beast Knight. And get along with most cats. Yeah, I'm, I don't mind most cats. I just don't know if I want a fucking cat, you know? Like, it's just... I, I could see myself wanting a cat of a particular persuasion, but there's no guarantee that I'm going to get that particular persuasion, you know? That's kind of what I'm trying to get at. Because with dogs, more often than not, the dogs the dogs are friendly and, and happy all the time, and so they're pretty, they're pretty safe. Safe choice of a pet. Being a virgin, gotta stay protected, true? I don't know what to do with myself. That sounds fucking dope, dude. You should play fucking Dauntless for all ten days. That's my advice. I should do a Dauntless sponsored stream. That's actually a fucking option. 
subject people to Dauntless, the most exciting game of all time. Okay. Motherfucker, I want, I'm just kidding. I'm probably not actually going to do that. I feel like that would be too hard of a sell, you know. Dauntless is pretty fucking boring to watch. And it's not the most exciting game in the world. Like, if I, if I can't get people liking Monster Hunter, what are my chances of getting people liking Dauntless? You know what I mean? Like, that's a oof, yikes, XD from me, dog. Okay. It's like Fortnite Monster Hunter. Ever think about moving up to a saltwater tank? Are you saying my fish aren't really pretty? Are you really gonna say Gobbler isn't really pretty? That's fucking hurtful, man. Honestly, I don't think my skill level's high enough. I have enough trouble maintaining uh, a freshwater tank that it would be kind of silly to go to a saltwater tank when I'm not even good at the freshwater, right? Maybe one day. Like, I would like to in the future. I would want to get blennies. Blennies are probably my favorite saltwater fish. Um, they just look ridiculous. Like, they look like little fucking retards. Um, and I empathize with that. Why do I seriously doubt that, Hank? Wait. What do you... What did Hank say? I'm, I'm doing bad at keeping up with chat. Hold on, let me let me take a minute to uh to chill. Not that your fish aren't nice. I don't know. I kind of like the aesthetic of freshwater tanks more, honestly. Especially if I can get these real plants going. Cause maybe I'm wrong, but isn't the selection of uh, saltwater plants kind of limited? Isn't it's just fucking rocks? Don't tell me Tolo Dis Pavlova. What the fuck is Pavlova? Glowy fish are nice. I actually don't like glowfish. Glowfish look kind of unnatural to me. They got this weird look to them. Like, the idea is neat, but they just look too artificial for me. Get it? Artificial? <laughs> So funny joke. We need these bad bitches. Okay. Get a sewer gator. Fair enough. Yes, yeah, saltwater a whole nother level. Not really. You can get anemones and all kind of stuff. Yeah, no. I just... I don't know. I think if I were to get a bigger tank, I would be more inclined to get a bigger freshwater tank so I could get something like a biker or an arowana like the big scary predatory fish because saltwater fish are are beautiful don't get me wrong but i don't know i feel like a mix of them being harder to take care of than freshwater fish plus some of the the higher end freshwater fish looking completely badass would endear me more to the freshwater shit but that's just like my opinion man Is a dirty American? True. Why am I dirty now? Why are you being racist and hateful against my country? What did I ever do to you, Esau? I've been nothing but polite to you, and now you're calling me a dirty American. Like, I don't think my feelings have ever been so... hurt. Okay, this is pissing me off because I want it to go in farther because it's the smallest little scene. There we go. Okay are cheap too. Some of them. Some of them are. There are some pretty fucking ridiculous ones if you want to get uh, some more specialized shit. But I, I imagine saltwater ends up being more expensive if you go high end with them. Sorry for the alarm noises and everything. Big sorry fellow gamers. I call all Americans that. How does it feel to be a oasis? We ever make a Gundam to put in the tank? I would be worried that it would fuck off and like hurt the fish, you know? Like what if what if fish are allergic to Gundams? I'd have to like sterilize the thing first, and I don't know. I think that would look pretty fucking lame, honestly. I like my tank looking more natural, as natural as I can get it, I guess, with like plants, rocks and shit. Um so the idea of just having a Gundam randomly in there isn't super appealing to me. 
About the weirdest thing I have is the fucked up octopus. Okay. Why would you ban Facebook, Mom? Ridiculous price, water and toilet paper, sure, too? Yeah, but that's different, don't you think? Like, some, some freshwater fish are really fucking rare. Adding some moss on the octopus? Maybe. I don't think I could anchor it to the octopus, and I wouldn't want it to... Uh, I don't want it to take over the octopus, you know? Because if I put it on... If I put moss on the octopus, it could just be a situation where it gets to be, like, the fucking thing, and you can't even see the octopus. That's no good. I wouldn't really like that. I like my octopus the way he is. Pet octopus? Yeah, you see him? An otaku figure, is that what this is? No different from a furry. If I didn't know you wanted me to be a furry that bad, man. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll be a furry for the right price, for the right Patreon perk. Golden TP? That shit doesn't fucking exist, though. You're just, you're just being difficult at this point, Bivrat. Come on, now. You, you, you're just... You're just arguing for the sake of arguing at this point. Okay. Which I respect. I'm the same fucking way. Good morning, exploitation. It goes wrong as... Well, fish jump up a lot in price when I first went. Two clownfish and a mandarin fish, two tangs. Turns out the last two are not only very expensive, but a very bad starting choice. So they're hard to maintain and don't last very long, if not well capped. Yeah. Sounds about right. Extremely disappointed. I missed out on the Dauntless Partner Program. I don't know how you're ever going to survive, Br Brune Earth. Your entire future has been robbed from you. I'm sorry, but come on. It's the Dauntless Partner Program. I I'm being a dick, but god damn it. Finally a safe space for my virginity. Hello, Lorden. Or Yorton? Oh, fuck. Why are you obsessed with that smiley face? Because he's happy, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with being happy, Hank. Just because you and I are not happy individuals doesn't mean we have to, you know, take it out on everyone else. I made my stupid Dorito face fuck off. And no prickly wicklies. This is a kind chat. We're all supposed to be loving to one another and be great to one another. We're supposed to be good Christians. Misery loves company, ain't that the truth? Okay. Didn't know so many people had rat emotes? Yeah, there's a lot of fucking rats. Well, Russ Money's got a rat now, too. They're spreading like the plague. So now, it's just, it's the new cat block. Before you know it, fucking Lyric versus Game's going to have a rat emote. It's gonna be ridiculous. I have, I think I've successfully infested Twitch at this point. Golden Rat Shack. Is there a form to reinstate my virginity? Wow, look at this braggart over here. Yeah, oh, humble brag. I lost my virginity. Wow, fucking. This is supposed to be a safe space for miscreants. I would kindly ask you to stop. F-23. Rats will instate the new world order? What the fuck is this fedora? It's a soccer fedora. You broke up. You don't have any proof of that. Where the fuck are you getting this from, communism for dummies? What are you talking about? I have no idea what you're insinuating. Ugh, okay. Show me Russ Rat. I don't think he has it. It's the ten dollar uh, emote. It's an expensive uh, rat. It's not for the regular, the regular Russ subs. He's going maximum shekel drive. Okay. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, this... Oh shit! What the fuck? Hold on. 
hell's going on with this? Oh no, I fucked it. God damn it. Hold up. Oh man. It's a clown rat, just looked pretty dope. Gold rat, somebody has to have it here. Hank, what is your fucking problem, dog? Why you gotta be posting trigger fish like that? You're not supposed to be triggered in here. This is a safe space. This is where no one no one can get you down with the prickly wickly feelers. You're supposed to be safe here. Let me see. Fuck this. This is confusing to my small manlit brain. I mean, 27, 30, and 21. This is 21. I don't like the color of this gun. I'm, I don't know. I usually like putting swords on the robots rather than guns. Because I think that the guns usually look kind of low quality compared to the rest of the model. Like, if there's one thing I would paint every time if I painted it, maybe the guns. Fucking clip this shit. There's a lot of noise down there. Holy fuck. Hello, Garrett Blackjack. Build a perfect grade freedom, please. You gonna buy? <laughs> I have a perfect grade banshee. I can do that at one point. Okay. Let's see. Do this shit. Snip this bullshit. Alright. Yeah, okay. Let's see. I'm sorry, I'm trying to... This this has got, like, a lot of pieces going on, so I gotta focus more. I'm trying to finish so you can be free from this degeneracy. And you could go on and pursue more important matters in your lives. Okay. No foul language, please. Yeah, this is a Christian stream, okay? I don't want to see any mean words. I don't want you guys to be a stumbling block towards any of your fellow gamers. That would be unacceptable. We have half a page left. Please don't ban Uwu. It's 5 a.m. What else am I supposed to do? Take a nappy. Get some sleep. That sounds good. I slept all day today. I, I'm, I've got like the fucked up sleep schedule where I sleep multiple times a day again. And so I spent way too much time in the, in the land of dreams. Which is unfortunate. F28. I'm looking forward to Amanda being here, though. I'm gonna go bowling and shit. It's gonna be lit. Oof. I'm gonna go eat fucking good food. We're gonna go... Do a lots of shit. Make sure to go to, to church tomorrow. Okay, it's tomorrow? Okay. You know what I should do? I should become a real-life streamer. And my gimmick could be going from like church to church like church congregations live streaming church do you think that would be sick or nah my friend likes your fishies what about you you like my fishies too tell your friend i said thank you my friend's better than you because <laughs> right. you can see some crazy shit in texas churches you can see people speaking in fucking tongues uh, like getting consumed by the Holy Ghost, having like a Holy Ghost explosion. Like you never know what you're gonna find at church in Texas. It's pretty fucking lit. The Holy Ghost. Praise Jesus. The Holy Ghost. Save my life. The Holy Ghost. Praise Jesus. The Holy Ghost. Fuck my wife. That's the kind of shit you'll hear at the Pentecostal churches. Alright. Love the fishies too. 
Um, no. Church is pretty fucking boring nine times out of ten. Probably even higher than that. It's only really good if you're an atheist, honestly. Which seems counterproductive, but it's so fucking boring. Like, actually listening to, to like, legitimate lessons from the Bible. So you gotta go there. And be like, I'm an atheist. Try to convince me otherwise. Now then they'll go, like, fire and brimstone on you. Like, we're fucking, you know. It won't, it, the she-bears are going to come out of the woods and maul you, Lise. And you're going to die. And then what are you going to do? Then what are you going to do? That's the real shit. Oh, my God. Check this shit out, dudes. Okay. All right, let me... There you go. Thank you for telling me about the reflection. Check this shit out. You see this little tiny hole? You can't even see it, right? How do I? There's a hole there. It's hard to see. It's extremely difficult to see, as a matter of fact. But I gotta put a sticker in that hole. Wait, hold on. Hold the fuck door. Are you serious? Dude, you wanna know something lit? Actually, never mind. I'm not, I'm not going to say it. A sticker? Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Which one is it? Oh, five. Okay. God. All right. Right above my thumb is sticker number five, the little blue circle. I have to place that. I have to precision place that in a hole on that part. That's some fucking bullshit. That's some fucking bullshit, dude. It's impossible. It's why... God, these are... This is the main reason why these little ones really piss me off sometimes. I think I fucked the sticker just trying to take it off of the sheet. Alright, look at this. On, you see the sticker on the metal blade? Look at how tiny that is. Okay. Never peeled the plastic off. Yeah, yeah, you got me. I was going to say something about it, but then I realized it didn't matter because it wasn't covering the lens of the camera anyways. How the f Dude, this is fucking impossible. This is actually impossible. Like, how in God's green earth are you supposed to do this shit? Alright, I have a strategy. I have a plan. Gotta poke it with the exact knife. Fuck. I'm messing it. Oh. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> this is so stupid. Holy shit. If I get this, I deserve a fucking Pulitzer Peace Prize. Fuck. Can I ban Brune Earth now? No. Hold on, pessimistic. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear pessimistic archer. I dropped the fucking sticker. I'm never finding that thing again. There's no way in hell I'm gonna find that sticker. That shit was so small. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and blame Pessimistic Archer for that sticker drop. I'm looking for it. I'm looking on my shorts. I'm looking on my shirt. Fortunately, my shirt is blue right now, so that's no good. All right, well fuck that sticker. I didn't even want it anyways, little bitch. God, I can't believe they expect you. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to place that shit? I genuinely don't get it. That's some real down-in-the-dump shit. So, is this not supposed to... Hold on. Can I have this backwards? Yes, I do. Pink ears? Oh, do you see Sif ears? Are you using tweezers? I guess so. I could. It would still be really difficult, though. 
be some T Dog Must Die shit. Okay. Give us Sif now. Our daddy taught us not to be ashamed of our stickers. Pop it out. What the fuck are you talking about? Did you take too much fairy bread again? Yo, Lise, you said you're like one of those, uh, those New Zealander folks, right? Also, we finished the gun. How do you feel about fairy bread? Is that a New Zealand thing, too? Fingers? This, did you see how small that sticker was, though? Like, look, look, at, look at my finger compared to the size of the fucking stickers. Now, you see that little blue circle? The little white part was the actual sticker. That's how small the fucking sticker was. We have it here. Oh, you love fairy bread? God damn it. I can't... I can't think highly of you anymore. I'm sorry. Okay. That's unfortunate. Sad. Sis, stop breathing like that. Thing us Australians and Kiwis gonna be on. Sif, do you like fairy bread? She's hyperventilating just thinking about it. Like what you did to this poor little dog. Can't confirm fairy bread is great. Dude, what the fuck? This fairy bread nonsense has gotta stop. I might eat hot Cheetos, but goddamn, at least it ain't fairy bread. Count my lucky stars for that one. Okay. I think it'll come with some tool to assist in the removal of those stickers. Tweezers are, from what I heard, the best option, but it's still, like, when you're dealing with something that fucking small, I really don't think it would help that much, because honestly, usually if, if they're not that small, I'm pretty good at stickers. Like, here, hold on, let me show you something really quick. Let me show you one of the other ones I did. Hold on. Give me just a moment. Okay. So check this shit out. This is a sand rock. Um, it's hard to see, but if you see every... Oh, God. He's too bright. He's too subjected to the light. But do you see, like, every little line and white spot is a sticker? It's too fucking bright. God damn it. Oh, let me fucking... So, let me try it in the other camera. It might look better. Yeah, so if you see every every little bit of red is a sticker. It was like maybe 70 stickers on this son of a bitch. I actually didn't fuck a single one up, if you can believe it. Like, when the stickers are this big, my method works really well for doing it. But it's not so effective on the smaller ones. Do not image search fairy bread. Yeah, it's fucked up, right? It's like some diabetes elemental shit, and that's coming from an Amerifat. Like when you when you have an Amerifat telling you to calm the fuck down, that's why you that's when you need to calm down. Haggle what the fuck is a haggle slag? I feel like at this point I just showed that for the stream and literally no one gave a fuck because we're all talking about fairy bread. <laughs> Like everyone's mind is elsewhere. I could just be sitting here going la 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 and it wouldn't matter. I'm just gonna repeatedly make that fucking noise for the rest of the stream, okay? Alright. You know what's worse though? What's up? Is it Salmiaki or whatever that fucking licorice shit is called. I, I bet you're not gonna be cultured enough to know what that is. You kinda. Alright. Paying attention, but still to give a fuck. Yeah, that's how I feel about these Gondam streams. I really feel like at this point, I could seriously just, uh. It's the same effect as just streaming to a, um. Black screen. Like, I can just have the aquarium on and just not even bother with the Gundam and it would be like the same level of entertainment value. Okay. That's another reason why like when I when I disassemble this setup I'm not really particularly uh enthused to get it back up. Alright, so let's see. Let me put this shit up. I need to get his hand now. 
Alright. Okay. Let me just finish this up and I'll close the stream. Sorry. Let's get this shit. this one out earlier trying to get this going. Got this massive sieve hair in my way, which is one of my favorite things. <laughs> my entire life is consistent of sif hair. Consisted of, not consistent of. I can speak. Please believe me. Hey, thank you for the uh, one-year resub, Ishii, and I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. How are you? All right. So I have to do this off-camera, fucking it up. Okie dokie. Probably was not a good idea to do it in this order of operations. I'm just going to take the fucking arm off. It's, I don't, I'm afraid I'm going to apply too much force and just break the entire thing, you know? That wouldn't be very good. Leading experts say that that would, in fact, be the opposite of good. Oh, man. Okay, so what the fuck do I do here? This is kind of confusing me. I think I actually just lost the piece. Alright, we don't want the gun anyways. It doesn't fucking matter. It's not a big deal. And just use the sword, I think. So where is this supposed to plug into? I don't get it. Rough, rough, rough. Rough, rough, rough. Oh, I see. That's clever. There's like a little hatch under the shoulder. Alright. So weirdly articulated, I don't get it. Okay. Um, there's the last fucking piece. See, the little handle for the gun fell, and I don't think I'm gonna. Oh, actually, here it is. I got lucky. Dude, this shit is just falling apart now. But the hardest part of these, these models is usually getting, uh, like the hands and the weapons and everything set up properly. This is one of those parts where I should you should really glue the hand. Because you can you can detach the entirety of the hand if you want to use something else. But for like any particular given part, you probably want to uh probably want to just glue it so it doesn't fall off because it, it will fall off. Like it's it's breaking at like three different points right now. <laughs> A little bit finicky. And it looks retarded, too. Okay. Oh, um, when Sif getting a Gundam model? Probably never. That'd be pretty dope. I like I like things that involve Sif, but... I can't envision that ever happening. I, his head fell off. That's impressive. See, the thing is... I have the gun attached, but it makes the shoulder look fucking retarded. Like, see how his arm is just like... <laughs> Alright. I, I think that I kinda like the, the idea of the sword more. Honestly speaking. This seems like some... And you, you know what? Dude, fuck that. Look what you can do with the gun. You don't even have to have his hand holding it. You can have it like attached to his shoulder, and so you can have the sword, the gun, and the shield. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Fuck that. That's lit. What's going on, Responicus? Okay. I'm not even gonna mess with that shit right now, because I wanna, I wanna eat. I'm hungry. 
chat has devolved into talking about fairy bread, so I'm pretty sure that's that's usually when it's about time to just uh, say, all right, it's it's run its course. You gotta pack your fucking bags and uh, yeah. Okay. Where's the? Here it is. All right. Cut this thing up. I almost said cut this bitch up, and that wouldn't have been bad. That wouldn't have been any good at all. Yeah, Tolo is a misogynist because he referred to a plastic piece of, of shit as a bitch, which meant that he thought it was a woman. Clearly, he wants all women to die. No, that's not the case. Surprisingly enough, maybe for some of you. Okay, so we got the sword. Thank you, Sloby Orphan of Cause. I feel like this is... Oh, okay, this is the tier 3 sub. Thank you very much. I was wondering if... You... I feel like I've seen you resub like three times lately. Not that that's a bad thing. Uh, but thank you very much for the golden rat sub, and I hope you enjoy it. Hank really likes it when you show him the golden rat. He really loves it. But thank you very much, dude. Put this shit in right here. There we go. So we got his little sword. The thought of all women dying is devastating. Yeah, the, the thought of all people of a specific, uh, Class dying is devastating regardless of whether you're sexually attracted to them or not. Ah. Oh, God. One of the little armor pieces on his shoulder fell off. Holy shit. Alright. Fuck. I can't get this hand to stay on. This guy's got a lot of weight on his arm, holy shit. He's got that stupid fucking gun and the sword. Alright. There we go. I don't know how well you can see him, but this is what we got so far. Ooh, can you imagine if I actually had to date men? Wow. So, I'm sure they feel the same way about you, it's okay. Probably best for all parties involved, truth be told. Okay, so D1. I'm sorry, that was mean. I shouldn't be mean to people in chat. Okay. Let's see. What the fuck? Oh, okay, I think I get it. There we go. That was weird for a second. I had like a fucking... <laughs> an aneurysm trying to understand that for a second. Holy shit. Alright, thankfully the shield is only... Th Three parts. Okay. Imagine if people had to like Tolomeo. Yeah, that'd be pretty shitty. Scary noise, but I think it's mostly good now. Right. Is that Gundam T posing? I don't think that's what that is. Right. So now I just gotta get the little attachment thing set up and we should be done. Okay. Let's get 48, it's like a little bar thing. I'm guessing this is what's gonna attach the shield to the body. Ow, I just fucking cut myself. Right. Fucking hurt. 
hurt. Nipping my own fingers. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to actually get a hand for this thing. That's gonna be irritating. Thought it was just gonna attach to the side. All right. So this is the other G, so I should get. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? It's two. That doesn't make a lot of sense. It's a completely different size, but they're supposed to be in the same part. I'm confused. Let me check again. Entirely all I see. These were completely pointless parts, basically. They're just holders for the fucking sword. Who in their right mind would give a shit about that? Okay, so if I. Oh no, hold on. Alright, so I need F now. I just have to make the connector, and then that's it. Okay, let's do this with haste. And then I can put the stickers on some other time. That'll be a project. Maybe one day I'll be particularly bored and I can just do that. If you're in the right mood for replacing those dumb fucking stickers can actually be kind of therapeutic, although maybe not one that's that small. The size of those is kind of annoying. It's a wee bit irritating. G2-12, and that'll be it. Maybe actually, one more piece after we fit this shit all together. Okay. Do you have a display cabinet? I have a couple of shelves. I need to sell them on eBay, though, for like $20 so I can buy a Whataburger. That'd be sick. Because I don't really... I, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird in this regard, but... I don't care that much about the finished product. I just like the, the process of making it, you know? Like, I wish they were cheaper and I got no finished product. But I got the building experience. Bless you, Seth. You okay, puppy? All right. Let's see. Now we gotta we gotta give him a little action pose. Oh yeah. Oh, his fucking head fell off. That's my favorite action pose: being beheaded. Dope. Okay. disassemble them. No, you would break them. Most of, once you like fully assemble it, it's not really meant to be taken apart again. Like specific parts you would need, like specialized tools to actually uh, do that. Alright, there it is. We're done. It's finished for better or for worse. What's going on, fat abhorrence? I'm digging the name. So, here it is. It's Putting this shit right here. Oh no, don't fall, don't fall. You were standing before. Alright. Um, 
So someone earlier, I doubt they're still here, but someone earlier was asking size comparison 144 versus 1 100, and this is it pretty much. Like the, the 1 100 is significant. It's like the 510 versus uh, 6 foot. All right, that's it. We are done. It is over. You were dismissed. Alright, take it easy.